Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is
Hello, good morning. I'm okay. Speak to you here.
Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. We are live. We're live for the seventh trial. Well, two events have already taken place. We've had the 3,000 meters steeplechase men and the 5,000 meters women. Um, the 3,000 steeplechase was a decent performance, though we didn't have any qualifiers in Africa. However, the 3,000, the 5,000 women, all the top three finishers were qualifiers for the Africa senior. So we had in position one with the time of 15.43.33, position two, 15.46.76, and position three, 16.10.58. Uh, just to update, update our viewers, for, for this time around, we've ha we have more women who have qualified for the Africa event than the men. I think on the qualifiers list that was released, we have less than 10 men who have qualified. So Francis, what do you, th what do you say about that? Women emancipation. <laughs> Thank you to all our viewers who are watching. I know uh, some of them are in the US. It's a bit late for them, but because of the love for their athletics in Uganda, they are there watching to support us. So we have the 400 women, which is starting now. And um, uh, our champion, Shida Leni, is taking a break from this event, trying to get in more training so that the next time around she can be able to hit the qualifying time. So in lane one, we have Anaino Vicky. In lane two, we have Katushabe Jacinta. Lane three, we have Dwaru Rose. Lane four, Nazri Emily. Lane five, Oroma Peace. Lane six, Bumanga Susan, lane seven, Nadunga Maureen, lane eight, Akol Scovia. So we, I think we have only one hit for the 400 uh, women. We just sent and Banura Maureen all opting for the 100, 200. So today we should see better times, hopefully, in the 100 and 200 for the women. So if we take from personal best, Nazri Emily stands out, she has a personal best of 53. 12, which she ran uh, many, many years ago in 2009, and uh, since then she's taken a break, she's given birth, she has two kids, but she's still able to get back on track, so do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a, it's a challenge on the younger girls, if they cannot put her out of action, then I think uh, they have a problem, and I must give it up for her, I mean, um, take a break, give birth, and come back and still run at the at the top level like this and you know she's still a big gun i must give it to her definitely she's uh, she's actually one of the national record holders now for the four by four she was on the team ah, yes, that yes, won the, yes. the bronze medal because she did run the second leg there um, that uh, cemented that position a so great, definitely a great first leg run by stella Wongo yes, in that race. i yes. felt she did a very good job she she ran like an angry liar and i still praise myself i coached them yeah, right. No, it's true. I, I, I worked with them the whole time because I, the first experience we had was when we went to Yokohama. Yes. So I trained them to Yokohama. So after Yokohama, we just carried on training up, leading up to the Africa, all Africa no. games. Well, I, 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 bl I blessed you. I prayed for you. So, uh, <laughs> you I'm, didn't even know me. So they, it's not possible. <laughs> And so we're waiting for the 400 women to kick off and the 400 men should be quite exciting because on the initial start list I saw Opini Leonard yes, opening new season in the 400 season and, and uh, of course versus Opio um, so we should we, should, we also have uh, Mike Macambo here but uh, the Kenya is hoping he hits the qualifying time for the Olympics so definitely those are some of the things to watch out for. And I saw on the initial uh, start list for the 100 meters, for example, I saw Adome Pius. Yes, Adome Pius is and around. I thought that was a very good thing. Yes, he's come back. Unfortunately, I have not seen Tassis. Uh, I think Tassis opted not to run, but you know, you cannot, uh, you, you, you never know, it depends on people's programs. Because two weeks between competitions is quite, sometimes it can be a short time. So let's watch the 400. Emily is in line four, so she's really built to take this race. I don't see any challenger for her in this event. Even if she jogged it, uh, she could decide to just run the first 200 and jog and she'll probably win it. Well, you never know it running, unless some, there's a surprise coming up. And off they go. Well, like I said, uh, Nazri Emil is, all, is carving everyone by the first 400, uh, 100 meters. But then the disadvantage with such a race is that you run, you are alone, and that's what Shida has been facing. She has been running, she's alone, 
And after the first 200, there's no one to really push her to, you know, to go. Do you see anyone challenging Emily? I don't. At this point, I don't see anybody um, rising from wherever to chase, give her a chase or run for her money. Uh, she leaves it alone. And yeah, definitely. Like I told you, she could, she, she, she could literally jog right now and there's no one who is going to catch her. But I, I can see she's not aiming for the win. She's aiming to run a good time. So yeah, we are Emily Nanzi as I predicted winning that very very comfortably. But it's also good to see her back. I think the the last couple of trials she's not been very well. And uh, yes. And actually even today she you could when when I was close to her you could she had this terrible terrible cold. But she was like, you know, I I, I still need to get out there and run because I've not been running for quite a while. So yes. It's good to see her um, back. From an athlete's point of view. You are experienced, and um, what do, what does it feel like? How do you feel if Nanziri should be a veteran? Nanziri should be in the evening of her career, and yet she can still come here, beat these young girls hands down. What does that make you feel? No, I, I mean like uh, age is just a number. Athletics has nothing to do with I'm a veteran uh, or you are still young. It's all about what you put in. So as a, a, as a veteran, as they call us, if I am training and still um, posting excellent times, even faster than the younger ones, yes. then that means maybe I'm more talented than you or you just need to step up your work. So there's, there's going to be no discrimination that, oh, you know what, Mildred is too old, let's take the younger ones. But you have to beat me. You have to show that you're better than me. I mean, you see in Jamaica, um, the, the little kids will come and beat the veterans, and that's how they take out the veterans. But if you're not beating the veterans, they're not going to put you on the team because you're younger. Exactly. So how does that make you feel? Because I think um, success without succession is sometimes viewed as failure. Not really. It's, it, it, in athletics, athletics is an individual sport. Yes. So if there is no one who is beating me, it is not failure. It's not like maybe they're not talented. They don't have the natural talent to come and take you on. So it means that after you, and then, then what? Then there's nothing. No, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's nothing. There will always be people. It's not like there are no people who can run. It's just that there will, there, there, there will be no one who will probably last as long as you. Because we have athletes who come one, two, three, four years, and then they off the top, off the scene, you know. But then you have those who persist, and there are not many athletes who persist in any in any yes in any country. There are few athletes who persist at the top level for a long time. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, athletics is a is a tough sport. So even like when you go off injury and everything, coming back is not easy. It's a t you, you really need to have the mental strength to be able to come back every time. But I think we still, we still have a lot of work to do uh, as clubs, as the federation. Uh, like you said in the last trial, we have a very small pool of athlete, athletes to choose from, from who we choose. The, the, because this is a national trial and then we have one hit for women. I think this is a bit of a challenge to us because I mean, I would expect many, 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 as many as four, five hits, uh, you know, so that, you know, you have variety. That is one hit and... Well, I think this is the only time we've had one hit. All the other hit trials have been having two, three hits. And, um, well, the people who have been opting to run, I think Nashiba has gone for 800, Jacent is doing 100, 200, which is where she should be anyway. Yeah. Uh, Maureen is doing 100, 200. Really, to be honest, in 400, we've never really had a big pull um, in our athletics, especially for the women. Why? That, that's a, that, 400 is a brutal race. 400 is a tough, tough race, so <laughs> I don't blame when people my, choose not to run brief, it. In my brief running career, I, I take it that, um, I always took it that the 800 meters is the toughest race of my life. Because you have to run to 400 meters twice. Um, if you are a sprinter, and you know, even 800 meters and a sphere 400. 400 is a brutal race. It's like, like you have to sprint that whole track. There's nowhere to relax. Exactly, but 800 meters, you sprint twice. 
No, 800 you have somewhere where you can relax, and 400 <laughs> is not there. Unless well, if you're Rudisha. When I watch, when I watch, uh, when I watch that uh, world record um, race, the, the current world record race, Rudisha ran, I get goosebumps because they did the first lap in 49. And this is what many decent, sometimes I've seen decent runners do a 49 in 400 meters. And then they had to go. Like I've said before, Rudisha is, a, is in a world of his own. Like, he, the, he, it is only Rudisha and a few who, ra, who sprint for 400 twice in 800, you know? Because he runs 48 and then he still brings less than, uh, below 53. Below 53 and it's, it's, cra it's crazy. It was crazy. You know, you watch the rest and you could see he was in charge. And when he noticed people coming behind him, he knew he had to engage an extra gear and then he did it. And <coughs> boy, oh boy, that was, it was a race. I, <coughs> and everybody in the race probably registered their pictures. Yes, they did. Everybody registered their pictures. Because I remember Nigel Amos was in that race. He was, yes, he was second. That is still his PB and, to and date. He has never come close young, to it. And the young Kenyan, I don't. I, the, the, the one who took the bronze, bronze medal, what it, was his name? And uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Athletics, lasting for a long time, is not easy. So when you see people like Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Alison Felix, you know, uh, Kim Collins, these are legends. I think it comes uh, if you look at of, Nigeria, Blessing Okabari, these are people who have been there for a long time. I think it comes with a lot of discipline, perhaps. Yes, you it know, does. You really have to be very disciplined to stay at the top level for such a long time and still be able to command, you know. So I, 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 I think, I think I do it. Chilean, boy. <laughs> and she wanted, she took that gold medal, like, you know, it was like a walk in the park. And here everybody was saying, um, every, there was a lot of talk about the British. Um, yeah, Dina Asha Smith. Dina Asha Smith, yes. Asha Smith, Asha Smith. She was, you know, she, to be the champion, so yeah, there was a lot of hype about it. Yeah, but there's something if you if, if you watch athletics, there's something you need to know about Shelly and Fraser Price. She's a championship runner. Yeah. She has that mental strength that even I could remember the Rio Olympics. Even when she had a toe injury, battling with a toe injury, she still fought and, and got a bronze. But and the ease with which she took this gold medal was what yeah, I because agree. because she gave she birth. She never seemed to be under any pressure. Whatsoever. Exactly, she it, to be like very, that, that. That's one of the things to. Everything was just smooth. As an athlete, that's one of the things you want to develop. You want to develop mental strength where, during a competition, you run your race. You're not under pressure. So we have a lot of people always their races are affected because of the mental capacity. Yeah. So if you look at um, Asafa Powell, there was a study about him. Asafa Powell was very good, but he, he always, they, what they call choking. They, they, they call it choking, which I find annoying. But anyway, during the big competitions, he would never show. Okay, he would he be was, there. He was there, but he was... So, so that is also like another element that is, he, he, he lacked the mental capacity to push through to in the big championships. I'm Meanwhile, Bolt was sorry. different. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but... In the mega championships, every time Paul was in the final, but he kind of looked confused to me. Oh, that's what I'm. That, that, that's the, the thing. I can, I can read his face, and you see his. There is something, you know. He's as if he's. He here, would let the pressure. I mean, like let's face it. Everybody, everybody. And then when Bolt, I think so. You know, Bolt is busy dancing, doing all sorts of things, and like, he was... Every, everyone has a way they overcome. So Bolt, you know, the dancing, the thing, what, 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 that is how he, he came he, he came himself down. If you look at Johan Blake, he goes like, rah, the beast, and... So everyone has a way, but, so, but otherwise, if you just sit there and the pressure can really get to you, where you end up messing up about. And it is something, by the way, like, Every top athlete, every top athlete is under pressure. Yeah, Once you're on that start line, go in the cold room, everyone is under pressure. But it's how you handle the bigger the athlete, the, the more the pressure. Of course, like if you're built for, so for example, like here, I'm the 400. Of course, I said Emily is definitely to win this. But actually, in such a race, she's even under more pressure because everyone expects her to win the race. Exactly. So that puts you under more pressure. And then you need to learn how to control this pressure and actually get the best out of it. And that's how you succeed as an athlete.
I don't know if you recall the athlete called Kojo. No, I don't know. Kojo, Kojo um, oh, well, those were our days to run, but... Uh, yeah, those were the 1900s or something. Yeah, we, we used to run. Yeah, in the 1900s, before we were born, like all of us here were not there, we didn't even know we were even this. <laughs> so, but yeah, sure, we, we would run so, them on Kachaka, Kojo, not even... <laughs> Kojo, had, he, he always had a quarrel, because the national champs were always held in uh, Chamberlain, and his quarter was one. Why does Kamonga come and not run? Because Kamonga was an active athlete, he was the star, he was the face of Ugandan athlete, uh, Uganda athletics. And um, Kamonga was always around, but he was, you know, he comes in with his Nike, his Nike, Nike runs and, you know, I mean, everyone looks at Kamonga and says, wow, you know? And Kojo's problem was always one. Why does he come and just stand around and never get down on track? And his point was simple. We know we probably cannot beat him, but it helps, it helps us gauge our extent, our reach. If I run against Kamoga and he beats me by one, two, three meters, then I know, okay, I know I have so much work to do. I have this much work to do. And this was, it's a motivation. It's a motivation. So I take it from what you're saying that the pressure is so much because I believe Kamoga is under so much pressure. What if I get beaten? No, I don't. I, I, I disagree. I do not think Kamoga is under pressure. Once you say Jambogo, that's it. I understood exactly why he wasn't running, avoiding injuries. Our tracks here, our grass tracks are not maintained to a standard where they are potholed free. Now, if our grass track was like, for example, you look at the, the Nambole, the, 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 where they play the football, yes. it's absolutely pothole free. You will run on there and you're sure nothing's going to happen to you. Now, I've run in Chamboko many, many times, okay? Chamboko is a place where you are literally dodging potholes. And, and back then, so it still down. wasn't as maintained. So what is the point of coming to run home to prove a point and get injured yeah, and miss out the rest bigger, of the season? I'm actually in the same situation right now. If there is any event on a grass track, I will not compete. Okay? Because I know like the, the risk of injury is higher. When you're developing athletes, yeah, you, you, you're able to still maneuver on these grass tracks and manage. But there is a certain level you get to, and it's no longer just running for fun. There is something you're aiming for. Unfortunately, at that time, probably, probably Nambole wasn't yet, you know. Nambole was just not accessible. It to, was not accessible to, to, to people and, to uh, run, we, yes. We, we had MPs like, we always had MPs like Agri Awori coming to the national trials, and then they would make a lot of noise. Why? They would make noise in Chambogo. And then when they go to Parliament, where they should make the real noise about UAF by using Nambole, it was never, you know, but they would come and, you know, make noise and we would clap and we would, you know. But anyway, I understand if you say it's if from the point of injury and from the point of the fact that he's an international athlete with, with a busy schedule, uh, the calendar, the international calendar is, uh, you know, is one that you respect a lot when you reach that level and you don't want to miss out on the, you know. And actually, you know, when you're, when you're Johnson. fit, yeah, when you're fit, the, you're so prone to injuries that even just like a small twist, you know, you can have a small twist and think it's something very light, it will affect your performance, especially being at the top level. So being at the top level, you want everything to be top notch. Like we were running from outside, weren't we? When George was checked again, said he's coming to run, they had to bring us inside. There is no way. Oh, now I you, know why. There now is I absolutely no way you're putting your Olympic hopeful, you, you, your you, world your record face. holder, your face on the outside track, which has some holes uh, somewhere, mm -hmm. and he gets injured. How do you miss that Olympic gold? Because, and yet you have a track inside. It's absolutely not possible. You know? <laughs> so I finally know the reason we came inside. Of course. Okay. Once Joshua said he's coming, even Nambole had to rethink, you know? When he sneezed, somebody got a cold. Of course, and, 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 and those are some of the advantages of reaching that level. You know, Joshua has reached a level where he has influence. I mean, he told Nike, I want to build a truck. He's having his own truck, his own leathers, you know? And if we could have more people use their, their power Thank that you. they have. We, we, we don't even need to wait for government to construct for our stadiums. Thank you.
because um, then people will be struggling. Um, I want to use the example of uh, football. The late Majid Musisi. He stuck his club because he did so much for the club. The stadium they built is built because he, he, he had a trademark celebration of moving like a crocodile on the pitch. And the whole team would line up uh, you know, behind him. It, it was a trademark. The stadium that the club built is built in shape of a crocodile. But that is in honor of a Ugandan. How many Ugandans know that? Not many. Because and they we... wanted to do something similar for his club, sports club villa here. They wanted to come and do something like that. But yeah, the politics. Know, there is politics, there is this. Yes, How there's, do we there's too much politics and bickering uh, in some of our sports. And so that's yeah. why. Uh, so but I, I do hope Onyango can use his uh, position, especially in when it, now that Uganda was almost having to go to Kenya or South Sudan to play the World Cup qualifiers. I hope he can use his position, even in his home area in Toronto, to construct like a, 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 a national stadium Something, you know, in yes. his honor. Yes. He can lobby fans from government, from his current club and all that, and do something uh, about that. I guess it comes that. down to a bit of exposure because um, many, many, many of our athletes or sportsmen and women sometimes lack the necessary exposure. I actually, I admire a lot when I see sports personalities out there with this blah, 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 foundation this, foundation that, and they're doing this, and they're doing a lot of work, community work. And for me, it, it humbles me. I wait to see that happen in Uganda. I'm but I think, I think um, one of, I, ca I can just tell you straight away, one of the reasons that doesn't happen is a lot of our athletes, when they get to succeed, they go through a lot, they suffer. So in Uganda, so people still have that mentality. I've had it from so many, you know, which is a very wrong it's mentality. Wrong. It's very wrong. Me, I take it that you don't have to go through what I went through. I am there to make it better for the next generation. Exactly. And if we all have that mentality, which is the, which is the mentality Joshua has, which is absolutely amazing, because you can see he's, he has this uh, Christmas run he has for the kids to, to pick up the young ones. He's developing his own yes. track. He negotiated with the NN team to settle in Capturoa because he knew if he went to, if he went to Netherlands, it would be him to benefit. But if he shifted the whole team, to, to Kapchora, Kapchora, they would benefit. Musagala benefited from that. Halima benefited from that. You know, like, the, 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 those are some of the things we want. We need to stop being selfish and only thinking of ourselves, you know, and think of the bigger picture. Yes, we sometimes need, need you, you, you might end up creating someone who beats you, but that's because they're naturally more talented than you, which is okay. But why is it written that you, should never, you shouldn't be beaten? Oh, there are some people who <laughs> never want to lose. Like, they yeah, absolutely... We, we, and, and we, also, that's we why all like, don't want um, to lose, but... It's not a crime to lose. Yes, and that's why like, I also have respect for Bear Lucy. Many people may not know her. She was the national record holder for the javelin. And I think uh, she, at the time she narrowly missed her bronze medal um, in the All Africa, where they, they, they stood the same distance, but on count back, she lost uh, the medal. The next one, she finished fifth. She was always among the top eight, you know? But she was never been like really recognized as... Anyway. Uh, anywhere or her performance will really put up there. But Lucy went and picked a certain girl from Gulu, brought her and was grooming her for javelin. I think COVID kind of spoiled things. Uh, things and you know, she was living with this girl in her house, taking care of everything and coming and training her. Now that is what we want. She was grooming. You see, as a parent, um, assuming you came from a very poor background, you want to work hard and make sure your children never go through what you exactly. went through, yes. something like that. And I think it would be the same attitude here that, you know, okay, we have 400 meters coming up. There seems to be some kind of confusion. I don't know with the lanes. I don't know whether there are people standing on wrong lanes or something like that. And I think uh, there's an athlete who might have come out in the wrong heat. Ah, okay. It's, uh, you know when you see people going and you, also, you just follow, also follow without eh? knowing that you're not in that heat, so it mm -hmm. might have happened. That Could way. that be tension? Well, yes, sometimes also tension, lack of preparedness, and uh, many things. How, 
much I would have loved to see a 400 meter race in my lifetime that involved Davis Kaboga, Francis Ogola, and uh, Pharaoh Felix Okello. Yeah, it would have been. A, I'm pretty sure Felix is probably watching us from the US. Shout out, Felix, if you're watching us. Uh, here, maybe you should come out from retirement and come and. Uh... Just, 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 just kneel with these guys for, for, for once. Just put your knee down. And he's show always them. sending us, uh, in the other speakers, but he's always motivating us, sending us work, uh, gym workouts. And he likes saying, work, 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 work. <laughs> That's, that's his uh, fellow. <laughs> and by the way, he's uh, one of the biggest sponsors for, Tata, for the Tatan Banners. Uh, thank the you. The Tibetan He always sponsors the 200 and the 100. So thank you, Felix. Uh, shout out. Even Andrew Parker. He always sponsors the 400 uh -huh. as a former 400 meters. So shout out to them and thank you for supporting Ugandan Athletics. And I also really wish we were talking about uh, giving back, motivating. I really wish all our former athletes could do the same. Okay, Tony, I know he's watching. You know, we have so many. Um, I know Mutekanga is doing something. He started this Mutekanga Foundation in, uh, in sport. He's trying to build sport and uh, promote sport, which is really good. I wish more and more of our former athletes to do that, not waiting for government. Definitely, we know government has a responsibility, but we shouldn't sit, and co co sit down completely and only wait for government to do something. Otherwise, we'll never get somewhere. True, true, true. And you know, you don't have to do so much. Do what you can within your means. Yes. For those who are based here, a simple appearance in saying hello is, for me, very good. Very, I, I feel good when I see you. A legend here when I see no, but let's take an example of you. Okay, fine, let's face it. Not, not many people know you in athletics. Like, if you bring your name, they will never recognize you. But for the passion of the sport, even okay? Google fails to fail to get me. Yes, no, Google will not even <laughs> see, even if, even if we type your name and, and uh, uh, even if we sugarcoated it. But put in caps lock because you have the love for the sport, you came up with this live streaming thing, which is now bringing athletics to many viewers. You know, if everyone had something they would do, we shall get back that discussion. So we have the 400 men hit one. So in lane one, we have Ivan Ampire. In lane two, Ongen, Ongen Felix. In lane three, Owo Charles. In lane four, Wokorach Godfrey. Lane five, Baramba. From South Sudan, lane six, Gonyi Emmanuel, lane seven, Good Tong Abraham, and lane eight, Abim John. And this man has gone off lane Good Tong Abraham. Lane that, that's seven. Good Tong Abraham in lane seven. But then you, learn, you have uh, Ongen Felix running really, really well from lane two, and uh, I bet he's going to win this. Ongen Felix. But Gutong seems to be hanging on. They all, uh, this is where you have the lactic. Now, this is where 400 is painful, you know? And he wins it. He just hung on to win that. Gutong Abraham, the Kampala University. Gutong is he Ugandan? No, it sounds like a Sudanese name. Joel or Tim come here today. Um, no, Joel or Tim was in the 1992 Olympics. You know the thing is, like you talk about him, but I don't know him. He's never, he's never really. Yeah, he's never. Yeah, I expect. He, he's not yeah. been here. Well, Joel with all due respect, among the, the former runners, the people I see, Kamoga Dashua, 
I know his face, you talk to him. I see Takute Maizole is here volunteering with uh, whatever. Justin Baiga actually now is constantly, always uh, Around. officiating. And uh, like, even if you're doing other things, you can still volunteer a little bit of time and come and, you know, talk to some people. Maybe you are a role model to some, to some people. Some people yes. And you being there actually does help to to motivate them and... Uh, hey, I hope Joel or Tim, you're listening. Um, Francis Omo, you should tell Joel or Tim. I know he should be somewhere there. You should tell him. He should be here. Yeah, like just showing up and coming. Joel or Tim, he say he ran in the same boot as Tim Johnson. And you, should, you, you know, actually, sprints in Uganda have died. We do not have role models. Like, we, we, we had people running with all the top runners, but right, we don't have them anymore. The only person we can relate to is Kamoga and Akibwa. Unfortunately, Akibwa is late. But even with Akibwa, credit to his son, even if the children didn't take up athletics, during the Akibwa Memorial, he shows up here. Every, Every Akibwa yeah. Memorial, he shows up here. He wears the father's medal, he shows up. That is motivation. His enough. son. Yes, his son. He, he, what about his, his brother used to do long jump um, in our not, days? I'm not very sure, but actually where I work, when I just joined, there was a granddaughter of Akibwa. She was so talented, she was in primary. I always took her for my secondary events for the younger ones, <laughs> under 13, in the really, trust me, she was so good. I do hope, she, they later on moved on to the UK. I am not sure if she, if she continued with the, she pursued her sport, but she was so, you talent, know, mm -hmm. pure raw the generation talent. that followed, the generation that followed Kamoga's generation, for me, um, a lot of the boys went to the US, I know, and never ever ran for Uganda again. And many of them went, did good times, did good things, but somehow they never came back home. So I have my personal beef with the US universities that took our boys. No, actually, that you shouldn't even have that personal beef. Most what of those people, have? when they go, first and foremost, they're on their own, okay? Yes. Secondly, they go and they run. When they qualified, when they qualify, they're told, well, the ticket from the U.S. is too expensive, we can't sponsor you. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Or oh, sometimes they're told, you guys, you're out there, you have more opportunities to compete. Let's give chance to people who are here. Now, tell me, if you are out there training and doing everything, okay, and this is what you're told, how do you expect to get the motivation to continue training to represent your country when you've not been given the chance to do so? So you cannot blame the, kid, the people who are out there in the US. If you, if you talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, each one of them will give you that same, that, that same answer. I think this is the last this hit. This is the last hit with, I can see Leonard Yes, Opini. I see Leonard Opini, I see Opio in lane eight. Um, I see Opio in lane, lane, eight. lane eight. Leonard in lane six. And Leonard seems to be very relaxed. Uh, you can see him prepare his vlogs and it's just, he looks really relaxed. So we have a lane one on lane Kennedy, lane two, then say lane three, Oquid Eric. Lane 4, Chemong Godfrey. Lane 5, Oroma Wilson. Williamson. Lane 6, Opinion. Lane 7, Deng Ku. Uh, lane 8, we have uh, Ibrahim. Sembe from Kenya, he does the castle on, so he's trying to get points. But I didn't see a peer in that line, where did it disappear? So Pierre as well. Yeah, I did see a peer, but then uh, somehow it disappeared. That's 
quite a shame. Um, I did want to see Opio was really going to pull Opini for, and um, maybe we would see a 45. Today. Well, I believe the the the, the, uh, the one who has replaced him should be strong enough to. No, he's a decathlete. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you he's not that strong. He's because he's, I've, I've seen him in the in the in the long in the long jump. He's gone for the discus. I think he's just trying to. Uh, he's Kenyan. I think he's just trying to get points to be able to. <laughs> As you can see, OP, uh, uh, yeah, no. opinion has already carved them just before they're 100. And it looks like it was a Dim John who took the, the day in lane from lane five. I has not picked up an injury. Uh, I'm not sure he doesn't look very fine. Looks like he's, uh, he's having a problem with his. Uh, you can see the leg is strapped, so he must have run on an injury. He's definitely not okay. Shout out to Mr. Dan Wapima watching from the, from the UK. Uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, I wish you can also come here and run and see your talent. <laughs> So thank you to all our viewers who are supporting us by watching us as uh, more and more of you watch. You encourage us to keep doing this because we know you appreciate and uh, always looking forward. Up next is the um, 800 meters women. Uh, this is the, the race in which Uganda is a world champion. Yes, Uganda is the world champion, but uh, she is not running in this one, but Musaga is running in the 800 men. Yes. Oh boy, 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 boy. It, what a race. Musagala versus, uh, versus uh, Chiptegei versus uh, Etiang from Kenya. The three horse race. It was beautiful. It, I think it, it was an amazing race and for me uh, I was very very happy for Musagala because it clearly shows this training has gone well because opening up a season with 336 uh, just slightly out, uh, shy with the, of the Olympic qualifiers is amazing yeah, so although he has already qualified for the Olympics that, that, he doesn't some, need to qualify some, 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 somebody uh, exclaimed that evening as we went home and someone said uh, Musagala with that department of his you can't beat him. Call it his department. <laughs> Very funny. I am not sure it is his department. I can guarantee you at the national championship, if Joshua came and ran again with Sagala, it would be a different race. Because then at that time, Joshua is 100% fit, and uh, I would give it to Joshua. I would actually love to see that. But you're not, you're not going to see it. I know. <laughs> I know, right? So many things we would love to see, but we can't see them, huh? Well, if wishes were horses. Well, uh, the beggars would ride them. Exactly. So. Sweeter. Why don't I do talking full time? <laughs> or, you are do, or you are following. Fine then. But are you getting the times? 
Get the times. And then if you're not whatever, you'll be coordinating and get first the times. But whatever, whichever one you bring, you will take back immediately. Again, this is where I have my own my own theories. Um, I say after Halima, after winning Anyondo, who ne who is next? I'm pretty sure someone will come up. I mean, it took a while uh, because before, remember, the Queen of 800 was uh, Grace Virunji. Grace Virunji. You know? So there will there'll always be someone. But I see Nasiba is now kind of switching to, to, to the, the 800. 800. Okay, so we have a question here from uh, Orishaba. Unfortunately, we are not going to, we cannot explain to you why we do a trial. As a student, I think uh, what you could do is first go Google athletics, understand athletics and the concept of athletics, why people train and for what reasons. Because when if I explain to you here why you do a trial, if you don't understand the basic concepts of athletics, I am going to be speaking gibberish. You will not completely understand. But just in short, the trials here are organized for people to qualify. We have the Africa Senior Championships, we have the Olympic Championship, Olympic, Olympic, uh, Games. Olympic Games, and we have the World Junior Championship. That's why the trials are here being organized. So that is you a summary. Only, it, you cannot use that as you your can only, you, you can only qualify from a competition, that not is. based on history. Not, and there is a time frame. Between this time to this time, people will be qualifying for this. So you must find some or somewhere to run. So the Federation takes it upon itself to organize these, uh, these races and perhaps maybe the problem is in the word try. Okay, three and rotate. But anyway, uh, Kose, Kosege is working from Malawi. Thank you. Um, it's good. We didn't know we have fans in Malawi, but yes. And you see that other thing with athletics. Athletics, really there is no one you know on track, as long as you see athletics, you want to watch. And that's the beauty of the sport. It's you don't have to know people. Game. It's a very beautiful sport to watch. It's, I love it. You don't have to know someone to be able to. If we had a lot of these regional competitions, regional championships, regional this, regional that, and like I think you said, you mentioned something uh, the other time we were here, and we said, I mean clubs. How many times do we have club championships actually? Well, how much, how we don't have do them. They are waiting for the federation waiting to for organize federation one, but that's not but. the job of the federation. As clubs, we really need to do something. And just a quick through uh, 800 women. We have Akelo Priscilla, Akelo Raima, Ndiwa Chesang, Nabiri Nasiba, Perina Claudia, Naf Nafamba Florence, Akima Georgina, Cecil Felina Agor, Chemtai Shedrina, Nab Namsumwa. We have Cheptege Hilda. Are they going to build up the Cheptege? Times. I know. I don't have the thing. And then we have the Ragamba Sharif. It's very interesting how the starter always says stand up, even when they are standing. I think he's very, he's very used to calling up sprinters. Huh? Stand yeah, up. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the starter is the current national record holder for the for the walking race. The 50, uh, Mr. Nals Bichingo, he, he's, a, he's a former prisons... Yeah, hardler as well. Yeah, he was also a hardler, steeple chaser. He used to hold that record until it was broken by the Chep... 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 Yes. Though right now the record is held by... Um, Not Jacob, or ja uh, No, no. Jacob, Jacob doesn't do with her own stupid Yes, Arab Khan. I thought you were meaning Chiklimo. I don't do like, no, 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 no. 
No. Uh, Benjamin Kiplaga has the record with an 80381 world class wow. Actually, India has also took him out and made him to kind of uh, go back. I think he's a good. You can see. You can see today he was definitely coming back from um, from an injury. Definitely, this race, the lady in orange, the orange top. I'm um, pretty sure she's going to win it very comfortably. So the 400 men, the first first one we had the 4773 and the queen we had the 4808. Definitely you can see Opinion is not, not very well. And we also Dolly hasn't yet featured yet. So I don't think that her hamstring is okay. The year started. Like standard straight. <laughs> Yeah, oh, sorry, Nasiba is in the old blue. <laughs> Not in the pink. Now, that's what the, I, I, I hope my dear friend is watching. Now, that's what they call color combination. <laughs> but he promised to change, so I'm, I'm really looking out for Musagala this time around. The promise is going to. To, 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 to design better, and he's sponsored by Nike, so he definitely has the outfit. Enough gears, enough yes, I, I think gears. he was spoiled for choice. You know, sometimes when you have too much, you're spoiled for choice. But uh, Mr. Msagara, I am here, you can hire me as your fashion designer, and uh, you pay me some little money, I have no problem. Actually, I even offer for free. For his sake. For his sake, yes. So with, there we have Nasiba. Nasiba is actually mostly a uh, 400 meter runner. She actually ran a PPL 53. She was um, she, she was on that third leg for the for, for the for the women that won that bronze medal in the All Africa Games. So I think this this season she's really trying to switch to 800 meters. But to qualify for Africa, she needs a 206. And given that she's running alone, I highly doubt she's able to make that time. Because there where she is, she definitely needs someone to be pushing her. Because you can tell the is a class of heart from, uh, from this one here. Exactly, and, and of course, like, when you're alone, you do feel like you're running, but definitely she's losing a lot of time. Let me see, let me time her the last flying 100. You can find she might even run about 15 seconds, which is very slow, you know. But if she was definitely running with someone, uh, she would run much, much faster, because that's 10, 11, even, even more than 15 seconds. So I timed her in 20. That's just me. But definitely if she was running with someone, that would have been much faster. And unfortunately in 800, if Halima and uh, Winnie are not running, the 800 in Uganda is dead. It's literally dead, true. You know? True. The good thing with Halima and Winnie, how they manage to push each other, push each other because they're training partners, so they both come and run together. But now we have Winnie and you uh, gearing up for some races. Halima is hasn't yet opened her season. We're not sure when she'll be able to open her season because of some minor injuries she had, which she has overcome. But when you're now a world champion, don't just come to run. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Kenyan is there to be in the game. I guess. You know, was a, I got a bit confused. I saw his name in several events on the start list. Yes, he's a decathlete. Because we, we cannot do decathlon. Now it makes sense. So what they do, um, they just go and participate in different events. But unfortunately, there's, we don't have pole vault here. And uh, we don't have the hurdles. So he's missing out on those two events. But at least it helps him to get... Yes, and also use it as a training session. Because each day they have to do five events. First day, five events. Second day, five events. And then they, there's also the one five, you know? So it is good training for him to be able to... Boy, it's a tough... It's a tough event. I don't even... I don't even... I mean, like, I, uh, the late Peter Okot... Morning. Vice chairman. Uh, yeah, the former vice chairman. He, he always told me, you know what, Mildred? 
you can excel in the in the heptathlon. And the reason is, I have a, a five eight five point eight in long jump. Uh, short put, I have about I think a twelve on a good day. But most of the time, I do about a ten. If I if I come and run a hundred, and I just go and throw a short put. I'm and, of, and of course, the two hundred. Uh, you, you well with, with a twenty four. I don't like the hurdles. The high jump. So my, my, my biggest problem with, with that was all of the 800. I cannot imagine running one lap after yeah, doing okay. seven, eight events, six events, and then I have to go for another lap again. That, that I've, I've, I've never come to terms with it. So. <laughs> you don't mind the high jumping? The OK, I can, come the, I can overcome the, the phobia for the high jump, because normally when I'm teaching in school, I am able to do some high jump. But then if you tell me the hurdles, yes, I can jump over the hurdles, fine. I'll, I'll be able to, 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 to manage. But then now the 800, no, 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 no. In high school, that's what I read, they used to run 800 meters. No, in high school, I used to run 400. And then, uh, of course, I would do both relays, short and long. Yep. And that was it. I can still do the relays. The 400, if you tell me the relays, I don't mind. Tell me to do a, for, a flat 400. <laughs> I do remember I went to Sudan, Khartoum, of all places. And they entered me for a 400. Do you know how cold Khartoum is? Yes. For a week, I felt like they had poured pepper in my mouth and they had opened my mouth and poured a whole can of pepper. And my chest was just burning. I, 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 I mean, like, respect for people who, who, are, who, who compete in Khartoum. Man. If you gave me an option, I would probably not take it, you know, because it's, it's tough. It's tough there. So the next time I refused, I went and ran 200 <laughs> meters, which I won. So that was quite uh, good okay. for the Khartoum Grand Prix. I told him, yeah, I, I'm a and big person. And the Khartoum person. Grand Prix, I don't know. Uh, I've not heard of it in, lately. Actually, that was the... It was a good hunting ground for Uganda. Yes, it, no, for, for Africa. But then, like, uh, they changed the uh, management in the... Uh, there was a change in management. And now the new guys don't quite... And then there was kind of a understand. fight. And, yeah, there was a lot of, you know... Well, you guys Dear viewers, can... thank you very much. We now have the pleasure to uh, welcome and introduce a very big man in the... <laughs> <laughs> How is this? I'm very well. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the eight hundred. Yes, yeah, the big man yes. has to settle in. You don't just. So I came out when they were doing 400, um, Ocha, eh? Ochan, Achan? Oh, yeah, Ochan, yeah. He I won that in 47. I was about asking what time. So Na Nasiba won that in 212.13. Uh, and I think uh, for our viewers this time around, we are, we are posting the, typing in the results as well. So that's also another improvement. So uh, with every live stream, we shall keep on, keep on improving. improving. Uh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> to do that one hit me straight in the heart. Because the gun was right there. Man. <laughs> So that's the 800. Those, those are the next upcoming talents, um, I would say. Mainly the under 20s. Uh, is there anyone? Uh, but no, I don't say is there anyone 2045 for him. I said no. Not at they are, that they are pace. coming. They are coming. Not at that pace. <laughs> that pace is not the Olympic pace. It's uh, too hard. Olympic pace. I can't run with them the first 400. They still beat me. <laughs> Yeah, do you have the legs for the next 400 is the question. That's the thing. You see that guy at the back? Eh? That guy, that would be me. <laughs> when it comes to 800. Wait for me, you guys. And then you always wonder, like, what do those people there eat at the front? 
Rudisha, what type of training does he do? What type of threshold sets does he do? I think if you did Rudisha's training, you like to end up in Mulago Island. Properly, properly, properly. Even Joshua. Mm. Ask, you talk to Musa Talawanje yeah. about Joshua's training, mm. and he will tell you, mm. don't even think about joining them. Mm. When you come, they even tell you, uh, I think you go to like group six. Because mm. <laughs> you might die. You might die. Mm. And, when, and, and, when, and then the leader is saying, actually, you might die. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Your heart can just... Be and will bury you, mm. actually. Yeah. <laughs> the body will be shocked, say, eh, I've never run this hard. Hmm? The heart has never pumped this. I never time. understand the distance and long distance running. They will always time themselves. I think they just don't trust the time the timers. It's a habit because they always do it when they are doing training sets. So it becomes a habit. It's, it's, it's just conditioning. It's like a... Yeah, that would be me finishing. Then I'd fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to try one day? Mm. Okay. That ambulance, yeah, needs to be moved literally Cross here. Up to the line. Like right there. You see where that, that, that empty tent is? You need to put the ambulance there. And you need to have four ambulances. Like one needs to be, I might not finish. Yeah? Because I might collapse from there, like somewhere there. <laughs> no, let's be honest, me, I can't run 800. I already. Uh, 800, I can run it. But I remember we, we, we used to, when we used to train with Coach Noah, I hated the off-season. Noah sang, sang it. Yes, Mr. Noah sang it. We, you had to do 600s. I'm a 100-meter runner. You're making me do 600. That would be like I would have torture, nightmares at oh, night, yeah. thinking of the workout. Mm. Like so I have to run even 100 for, even six for 500, times. Even for a 400-meter runner, 600 like, sets are The sets for 600 are quite... Um, six times. And you know, 100-meter runners, we don't know how to run slow. You want fast. You want yes. You want so, it. Because the body is, is is adapted and triggered to, to explosiveness. So yes. it, now now try and ease and mm -hmm. it Ooh. doesn't work. Yes. And then by the time you remember that actually wait, I have six more one hundreds to go. Oh, and yet I've been blasting off like this. You say, oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> then lactic oh, pains you. Yeah. All towards the end. Who is that? His daughter. <laughs> yeah. I like the consistency with which it comes to compete all the time. Who? Oh. The one that... Uh, the little boy. The little boy who is starting to be representing. Yeah, the agent. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. So that one, he, he has the, um, the mental strength and yeah. the life. Yeah. So what he needs now is better guidance. I don't know if he, if there's somebody who has picked him up. Where is Mr. Mushere? He's from Barra. His, his, father, his father is one of the officials here. Yeah. Yes. That, that, that guy with, that yeah, guy holding both white yeah, and red flags. I sensed so. Mm. Yeah, he, he was a runner. So he, he's definitely going to get good guidance. And I'm pretty sure he'll be the next person who'll be like that. that it, by 2028, we shall be billing him to qualify for the Olympics. That's in uh, Los Angeles, right? Mm. Yes. Ah, 1984. 19, mm -hmm. Was Los Angeles? 30, 32. 32 was also Los Angeles. Yes. Mm. Now we have it in 2028. They should have held it in 2024, but they felt they were not ready, so then they switched with Paris. Yeah. Then because Paris. the IOC kind of changed. Now instead of one, of one Olympic, they, they, they award two. So you have more time to prepare. But the Olympic. The, let's first let's the race first start and then we we'll get into the discussion about Olympics and hosting Olympics. It has become a conundrum as I'll be explaining. Has it. always is even the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games literally takes around certain countries because it's so expensive to host. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Meanwhile, Mr. Gansi, an Olympian, huh? someone who has swam for Uganda in the Olympics, is fearing the gun. <laughs> Not fearing, it just reminds me of the 1986 war. Every time it goes up, I fear I should be under the bed. <laughs> so I was saying, um, there's a discussion now in the social media that the Olympics, um, 
the Olympics have become too expensive. They have. Um, and, 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 and we can see the evidence um, as far back as Athens, the countries which hosted these Olympic Games, when you go back to the facilities, they are worse looking than our Nambole. Um, grass and wild animals are eating grass in swimming pools. You understand? Yes. So um, it, it has put a financial burden one on the host cities plus the country. Um, to maintain the facilities is as good as having an Olympics of its own. Yes. And the things have become run down. So now host cities, that's why you see, if you look at the graph and the statistics, the number of host countries that come in to bid for the Olympics, the number is decreasing drastically because people are saying it's not viable. And there's also another argument that because you know IOC makes its money through um, TV broadcasts and sponsorship, when they get the money, most of it they take it back to themselves and they don't give it a good share to the host country. So there is there's a bit of not good sharing. And now there's a new talk, a new saying now that why do we have to punish these athletes to come and perform for us on the on world stage for them to come and bust their bodies in front of us but not even get one that seat. is exactly what i was going to say i have never understood the whole point of not paying all, all i mean people train for four years yeah. actually not even eight, eight years mm. To make it the Olympics, yes. and then you're like, oh, thank you very much. You are an Olympian. Olympian. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's fine. Yes. But if you look at the money that is pumped in, Olympic solidarity. Huh? No, no. It's it, a it needs to change. It, it's a complete report. It needs to change because the World Championship. Yeah. I am coming. I win a race. I'm winning sixty thousand dollars. That's what hurt it. I don't know for swimming what is. Sixty thousand. Dollars. Yes. Why won't I bust my heart out yeah. to train for sixty thousand dollars? And I know every two years I can get sixty thousand dollars. If you break a world record, it's a yeah, bonus it's of a hundred thousand dollars. Do you see that? Like, and this is the same discussion which America had with I don't know if you know the NCAA. Yes. The NCAA has been using collegiate athletes. Yes. That's and they make and a lot of the money. Two, and the two sports which are big on that is American football and basketball. And so you, know, you know what has been happening? For many years, these college athletes have just been given scholarships to go to universities, yeah. but they don't even make one money. No, actually, the NCAA rule, because I, I was on the NCAA, mm. you should never have uh, participated where you, you're paid. So if I have gone like for a Grand Prix, like before I was talking for the yes. Khartoum Grand Prix, yes. if I've gone for the Khartoum Grand Prix before going to the US, I would have been disqualified to participate in the NCAA. Why? Because I've got money. Yes. Now, if you look at top athletes, if you look at Brianna Williams, Brianna opted not to, 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 to run the NCAA. She signed a contract with Nike, but she's still um, going to college. She carry as well. I've done the same. Mm. So a lot of athletes now actually are opting out of N the NCAA because some of them one in the NCAA, one amazing world class times, but they cannot even participate in the world circuit. By the time they are done, their bodies are beaten up mm. and they can no longer perform. There's a documentary which I watch, I forget the title, I look for it and tell it to the viewers next time. There's a documentary which was looking in how unfair the NCAA is. How do you make the collegiate athletes, yes, you've given these scholarships to the universities, good, but they're not getting any cent, but the coaches who are coaching them are getting millions of money the, the, at the, the universities. All of them have, uh, the, all the schools have big, big contracts yes. with the clothing companies. The clothing company, they're either Nike, Nike or Adidas, Adidas or New Balance, mm. Puma, and they're making they spend huge sums of exactly. money in buying that. So that same analogy is the same analogy for Olympics. For, okay, for the NCAA, I can maybe understand it. And, and actually, they do give quite a lot because yeah. the U.S. is quite expensive. Yes. So imagine when you're on an NCAA scholarship, your tuition, accommodation, feeding, uh, books, yes. medical, everything is paid for. Yes. Now, in, because, when I look at it in that regard, it's okay. I don't mind. Yes, they may exploit them. It is fair. But with, with the Olympics... I have never understood why yeah. they make so much money and, and you know like even the broadcasting rights, I think it was NBC, yeah, is it still exactly. NBC, yeah. that has taken over yeah. the whole broadcasting right and the, 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 the monopoly mm. and then they're selling to everybody else so they rip off people. Yeah. If you look at Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola is like the, the main supplier yeah. for drinks, mm. nobody else can enter. Mm. McDonald's is the main supplier for, Visa, for, for, Atos, for you know, yeah. yes, mm. Visa and all that. Mm. But actually I have to commend Visa, what Visa did this time, it selected athletes from different continents. Um, 
because I think divine uh, divine or do was on that for mm -hmm. Africa blessing mm -hmm. Okabari, yeah, Okabari and they, they literally promoting them and sponsoring them towards the Olympics, mm -hmm. which is excellent. But that has never been there before, you know. But we still need prize money. True. That money needs to because be shared. Because the argument is this: the, gonna, the, the environment has changed from the days of Pierre de, Pierre de Coubertin. The guy who created this whole thing called yes. the PLC. It is now not for what it was for. The world has changed. It has become commercialized. And they can't hide away from that. Yeah. Because once there's TV broadcast rights and sponsorship, there's money exchanging. Meaning it's commercial. It's it something is, it is commercial. The so Olympics you is keep, commercial. You cannot keep out the, the, two pe the people who are making the Olympic Games what it is. Without the athletes, we have no Olympic Games. So you can't say you're not paying these guys something. Yet they're, without them, you're not having the games. You know, actually, at least for, at least for athletics, you can't. like before they go to that, they have like a lot of diamond leagues and all that. How about swimming? Ah. You know, like swimming. Swimmers, yeah, swimmers. Swimmers. Compared to runners, <laughs> swimmers compared to runners, they are not the, actually for them like, it's so unfair. Swimmers is so unfair for swimmers. So you want a Michael Phelps to come and win you like 15 medals or whatever exactly. medals, mm -hmm. but you're not giving him even a cent. The guy has spent. I don't know how many years investing in his time mm -hmm. to qualify for the Olympics. He comes and wins the Olympics. He becomes the face of the Olympics. Uh -huh. Usain Bolt becomes the face of the Olympics, exactly. you know. But then, afterwards, you're like, okay, bye, thank you. Mm, you're now uh, an Olympian. You're, you're now putting, an Olympian. Spot at the, at, 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 yes, at, and you can add O-L-Y at mm -hmm. the end of your name. Yes. yes. And, uh, and then what? No. No, it, it definitely, that talk and, is to and, change. And, no, that talk has already said Because, actually, what I, was, what I was going to say was, if that is still the mentality, then they should do it like in football. Mm. They do not allow professional players to come and play. True. They only allow, is it three? Yes, and that's why I was going. You see, no, this they, one, they, they, it, no, it's not about professional players. It's under 23, but mm. they allow three over age mm. uh, players. Yeah, but you see, uh, this, this, way, this way the Olympic thing also got it. You see, the Olympics originally was for amateurs. Which is fine. But the environment has, has now changed. changed. The world From has the changed. the time we started allowing Nadal, Federer, Serena Williams, the like of okay. coming in. You, you, you tell me right now who can win, who can win the, let's look at tennis, okay? Let's first leave athletics. Yes. Who? will come and win if Nadal is there, yes. Djokovic is there, there, Fedra is, is there. there. Yes. Who? Yes. For the women. It has to be one of those. Four. If Serena Williams is there and all the Russians, because Another if you Russian. look at all the top Kovac, names, Kovac, Kovac, I will Kovac. bite my tongue trying to pronounce their yes. names. Yes, those ones, the Eastern the Europeans. The, 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 I think this is the last hit. And uh, we were talking here earlier about uh, Mr. Gala's dressing. I hope he's smarter in your eyes. Of yeah. course. Uh, he, he, you see, this is, this is what makes people grow. He listened to the criticism last time, okay. okay? And this time around, he's like, I am going to design and actually come out. And he's looking really good in the maroon, you know? He's matching and uh, all Nike, because he's sponsored by Nike. I'm pretty sure Mike will even also, Nike will be... Right here had serious issues with Mr. Gala's. Yes, sir. He was wearing that that uh, th that tight, and then you, you uh, last season remember the Nike which had the green and green. the blue. Yeah, yes, yes, that's what he was wearing. Yes, I remember. <laughs> so Milton was complaining a lot. So the guy isn't smart. He is. No, he, 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 the, 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 I, I looked at him and the combination was just so weird. It just looked. But yes, we have Musagala here, and um, of course there is Farid, there is Osuje. But I don't really see any big competition from Sagala in... Last time you only three minutes 30, okay? Three minutes 30? Yes. Yes, so if you can dip, I think he wants to dip under 30 now, is it? No, it's, this, this is the 800. Oh, sorry, this is 800. Oh, yes. So 140 something? Of course, uh, he can, he, 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 he's most likely to do a 145, which is a very good uh, time for him. I don't, I don't think he's trying so he's to qualify. Yes, he's using this for speed work. Because actually, I was talking to him, he was thinking of, uh, with time moving of, um, over to the 5,000 mm. meters. Mm. The, the middle distance runners do that. But sprinters, we never move up. We move down. <laughs> we never move up the 400. We run away from the 400 down. Or you move away from the 400 and go to 800. You run away from the 400, not go to the, the 400. No, 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 no. Always. Why the long distance runners tend towards the... Yes. So why, why are there two guys in one lane, uh, yeah, lane, there is a free lane, lane six, and there's a free lane? I don't understand that thing. There are actually two free lanes. No, I are think you? when they assign the lanes, the other person might have seen Musagala at the start and decided I am not entering in this race. This race today. <laughs> I'm not going to die today, I'll die tomorrow. Oh, 
they don't understand the, the whole thing. Trust me, you, you, sometimes you look at the start and like, you know what, maybe tomorrow, not yeah. today. <laughs> The announcer, the announcer has mentioned this. Listen. Let's make our plan. So I'm not sure if Mufi, if uh, Farid is going to set Musagara. But I can guarantee you, if Farid hang on to Musagara. Who is Farid? The guy in blue. In lane one, lane two. Lane two. Yes, Farid. If I read in lane two and Osuje in lane four, if those two hang on to Musagala, they'll post amazing times. Like actually, I expected to see Abu uh, running today. Yes, I was about to say, where is Mr. Abu? Because in the all black, that's not Abu. Because definitely, if Abu was to. That's Abu. Is that Abu? Yes, that's Abu. Okay, so that's this. Him. This should be yeah, this should be an interesting race then. Interesting race. Yes, I actually need to time this. I'll, I'll not wait for the time. You know that, that there's something that are very exciting and you cannot wait. That's a boy. I know, I know those spikes. Okay, here again, heart attack when the gun goes off. Set. <laughs> you will die. I will die. You see? She is in her tracks. We don't want to go back to 1986. <laughs> Oh, oh, I yeah, and, and, hello. and it's actually, it might be that uh, Abu is, uh, I mean Musagala might be pesetting Abu, because I do remember when Abu qualified for the World Championship, that's what happened. Okay. Musagala peset him up to 600 meters, mm. and then rode him on, and, and uh, then Abu ran a PB of 145. But of course, as you know, with injuries, after that he got a really bad, nasty injury, which set him all the way back. I see Osuja is hanging on to... To Musagala, but um, Musagala is just run, uh, Musagala is just pesetting. Musagala is not running. He, that's a 51. They've crossed to the 51, which is good. Not Rudisha time. We cannot compare ourselves to Rudisha. Um, okay, Abu. So Farid is is hanging in there. Abu is struggling. Yes, Abu, Abu seems to be struggling, and then you can see his shoulders are up. So his head, his once you put your shoulders up, you tense up and you can't run. Yes, Abu said his back. I told him, Saga was first setting. The way he was running, he wasn't running to, to finish. So Osuje... Okay, Abu seems to be calm, but, yeah, but he's he has left it too late, I don't Yeah, see. he's left it too late. Osuja is taking this one. Oh, Osuja is taking Abu this is one. Osuja is, is taking Abu this is one. Osuja, Osuja, Osuja. I told you he left it too late. <laughs> too late. He left it too late. Yes, he left it too late. What time do you think they posted? I, I had them on the 147. Okay. 147.29. Abu, if he had gone with them, he kept up with the, yes, yeah. he, they would have probably yeah. maybe posted the 146, 145 is not an easy. You know, with the world class people run 143, 144, and looks easy. 145 is hard to run. Ask Musagala, the very first time he qualified for his world championship, that made him now a world class athlete. Mm. To run that 145, he had two Kenyans come here to pace at him. But they ran with him and finished with him, though he beat them. And that is how he managed. So 145, they pushed him. To the they pushed him to the end, mm. you know. So most. I feel like Musagala himself should have pushed these guys on. No, now Musagala, of course, has moved on from the 800 because it was his first event. And sometimes in training, maybe the coach told him I want to run a 500 because that is 500 meters. Mm. And and him running with these guys, he's able to run this 500 and get the time, mm. push for the time that he really wanted, other than doing a time trial on his own. So athletes do that, you know. You know, world-class athletes, like you said, Kamoga used to come and uh, you're Tambo and just wear his Nike shining and looking at you. <laughs> the guy had good cool stuff. Mm. And we didn't have so many sports That's, shops. Yes, up around the time, yeah. We didn't have so many. So whatever Kamoga had was the... Was the class. Yeah, yeah that was the benchmark. If mm. you think you had no, it's anything. just like now. If you wear anything, Uganda, Nike, Nike athletics. Mm. You can't get it anywhere. True. Even if you brought million of dollars, Which you can't get it anywhere. Another point. In, in the case for Uganda, we in Uganda we have slept on duty. I call it sleeping on duty. A lot. On merchandising. Right now you can go on the internet, sir. If you have your money with a good card visa, you can now go and buy the full American 2020 Olympics apparel. Mm. 
full. Yes. You buy the jacket, you buy the, depending on how much. And that's how, how they make back are. the money. And that's how much they make back the money. We should be investing in merchandise and apparel to give back. Yes. Either, 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 either a dealership with Nike, with the Federation, I don't know, some understanding. And they do some, some, yes. some financial share. Even if they make a replica. Yes. Yes. That's what I was going to say. Uh, Nike uh, US, that makes for us, with the, the truck, will not accept to make that. They ask you to contact any other Nike brand, like Nike, because I remember when we were going for the Commonwealth Games, yes. they did contact Nike that makes the athletics kit to make for Team Uganda. They, they were like, no. So then they used the Nike Italy to make for us our kits that we use for the Commonwealth Games. Which is also not, because when you look at the kits were actually quite good. I, I love those shots, the, the shots they gave us. They were really nice. So what we need to happen is since we're in the Olympic Committee, because our federations maybe, I don't know, they, 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 uh, they have a smaller bargaining power. If you went as the Olympic Committee of Uganda to an organization, plus National Council of Sport, which is quite good to see the National Council of Sport and the Olympic Committee working together. If they went and they said, okay, Uganda is sponsored by Nike. We want to do some merchandise, mm. you know, um, make for us a replica of this. We have approval from, mm. from this. Mm. It, it, it can happen. Oh well, yeah, because I, every time I put on this Uganda jacket with Uganda, every time I say, jacket was it dear, was it all that one? People every want time. them, you so know. So the demand is there. The demand is there. It's the supply lacking. It's 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 all over. Yes. A lot of the replicas we see, let's say the, the Uganda currency is the most exactly. famous. Exactly. But those replicas are not really, really, really like uh, done through the federation. Yes. No, it is not. Is but, but but the thing is like uh, what we're trying, we understand that. But what we're trying to say is like for these ones, you know, people want, like the, the people who who, who, who who like things for truck and whatever, uh, people who are very picky. Yeah. They want the exact, original, that stuff, that original stuff. You know, and they know it. Mm. Yes, they, they, know it. It. they know it. Yeah. yeah. They know what they're buying. They know yeah. what they want. So, so you, you're, you're going to make a rip, uh, okay. You're just going to make something off the street. They're not going to buy it. No. And then you're going to lose the money yeah. you've invested in. You know. So you're much better off because even Kenya, this is what Kenya does. They brand them. They, they made a partnership with Nike. Nike produces shoes in their national colors. Yes, I saw them. I saw Kipchoge exactly. shoes. Very, Thank you. Mm. And we actually, have, actually and we, we have a we should, very good opportunity with Joshua. That's what I was going exactly. to say. Why? We should get Joshua to do. But, but anyway, black, black, yes, black, black yellow, yellow, yellow red. red. Yes. No, Puma did that. I remember yes, Puma. Puma did that. We did have shoes which were custom made for Uganda with the Ugandan flag on it. Mm, that's true. I remember so that Puma. You Puma. Like you see that from Puma? Yes, definitely. I, I, maybe no, but okay. Nike does that for America. Yes, he does it for America. You know, it does it for America, it does it for Kenya, but, but then again, America See, and Kenya... America has two interesting um, apparels that feed into it. There is the Ralph Laura, which is a brand which, which dresses the Olympians. For example, we, we, here we call it ceremonial dressing. Yes. Competition kit, but competition Se kit is actually Nike. You understand? Yes, it's the same with the, the UK. Yes. The ceremonial dressing, which is the equivalent of our Kikoi, uh, no, 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 not Chikoyo. Uh, like, um, okay, like you see, for um, us here, Nike Uganda, we have uh, athletics. We, we we have a ceremonial dressing, which is the black and yellow mm. jacket. The black tracksuit is what you wear for medal ceremony. And then we have the red jacket and the black track, mm. which is what you use for warm up. Mm. That's what he's meaning. Now, the US for them, they have another deal with another company yes that designed for them a very nice uh, kit and then when they now each when each sport is going for their competition then each one of them wears what, what their sponsor gives them okay this race now is the this is the five the three thousand meters okay. okay let's go yes. You sat on the program. Who are we looking out for here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and you sat on it. You're looking for a program and you sat on it. I'm pretty sure there is. I, I see. Oops, sorry. I was thinking. No, those are the national records. Oh, okay. Osuje and um, the second person have uh, qualified for Africa Senior okay. Championships. So Osuje did a 147.25. Okay, great. Great, great, great. And uh, the second person, 
Abu. Was it Abu? Yes. Mm, yes. Abu. Abu, yes. Abu also. We did the 147, 47. Okay. 147, 74. For my thing, things upside down. Yeah, 74. <laughs> I'm the one who's seeing things upside down. Okay, so Africa 800 meters is 147.30. Aye, Abu is out. So Abu is out. We only have uh, Osuje. Who was in by five micros. Yep. You know five micros look like just five micros. It was, it was a clear <laughs> distance, as you could see it with your eye. Okay. I, I, I think Abu definitely, to, to had, me... If he had kept close to the bowling No, path. I think the 147, um, 74 for his first 800. Osuje has run about uh, six 800. He even went to Zambia to compete in 800. I think the next trial Abu is going to run very well. Um, but also there's a possibility of the Africa Senior Championship being moved from the first to fifth towards the end of towards the end of June. So that gives him time to qualify. And actually before you came we we're just talking about um, how more women have qualified for Africa than the men. Women these days are a powerhouse, I'm happy. We have the 100 meters, men and women. Ah, uh, Kev, right. um, the person I think we need to look out for here is, is, uh, that, is that Kenyan guy still? Mike Makambo. No, o o Otieno. Actually, that Kenyan guy, after he left here, you know, he's now a, a world silver medalist in the 4x200 relay. He went for the world relay? Yes, he went for the world relay. I saw him. And Team Kenya uh, got a yes, silver medal. So I big up to oh, Mike. Uh, to I thought, I, thought I, I, I knew the. To that Mark video. Otieno. Right. On, on that silver medal with his team and that actually sparked a very big debate where like why don't we get such opportunities as well you know it's all about opportunities for us especially like sprinters some of us may not be good uh, individual runners but when we run as a team mm. you know we make better runners so there was a huge debate among the sprinters and uh, uh, trying to make sure like um, we get the opportunity right. as well there was this other Kenyan who is a sprinter. Uh, what's the other name? The one before the one who came on the scene was a sprinter. Is a sprinter. Ma, ma, ma. Does his name start? Then. What's his other name? Starts with an M. Ma. Omoya. Is it Omoya? There's a good Kenyan who came recently and was doing good sprints, even good 200. Ah, uh, he, he, he's still around. There, there are a couple of Kenyans actually running today. Yeah, there are sprinters who have come out of woodworks now. No, but you see the thing is with the Kenyans also, like, um, you know Kenya initially only thought of long distance, you mm -hmm. know, and middle distance, even in their trials. Yeah. But uh, we have some coaches who came up, you know, and were like, we're going to break this myth. And of course, one of the, of the coaches, shout out to is... Uh, Peter Gatana. Mm. Actually, you know one of his athletes has qualified for the Olympics in a relay for Denmark, you know? <laughs> and uh, he's, uh, the, 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 that same athlete is going for the, for the, for the, for the, U, for the World uh, U20. Mm. He has a, a, a 2048 wow. in a 200. So basically, they, they came up and they were like, you know what, we need to break this myth. Yeah, we have sprinters yes. and they have invested. They came together and worked together. And right now, there are so many sprint camps uh, because actually Peter is training two of our athletes, Adomi Pius who is running today, mm -hmm. Okot Benson who ran last time, uh, did a PB twice in the heats and the finals with a 10.50. Uh, Where is Adome? Adome is around, he's running today the 100 meters, I saw him on the ah, start excitement. list. Exactly. Ah, uh, so then uh, of course we have another person also who's moved to Kenya Tassis or yes, with another yes, coach. They, they, they so for, for them they have gone ahead and they're like, you know what, we're not We're going to wait for the federation. Yeah to pick us up. We are picking ourselves up, yeah. the Federation will find us. And, and, and now point, the yeah. Federation has picked them up. Mm. And, I, and I was coming to that point, when you look at our history, and I, when I say our history, I mean in the athletics history, Uganda was a powerhouse in sprints and middle distance, if you go and do the research. 
which means that, yes, I know now we are majorly long distance, of course, but people are thinking that we're only good at that, but the sprinters are also there. They just maybe not been given those chances or those opportunities, but the boys or the girls are there. They are definitely there. So I'm them. happy to see that our people are wanting to get, because getting into the mix with the Kenyans, because you only improve by mixing with the best. And it's good that our boys went with the Kenyans and trained with them, to gain there. It's very hard for you to train alone at home to think you'll beat people. No, no, no. But I also like that uh, Kenyans acknowledge that Uganda also has good sprinters. So they occasionally send their sprinters here. Because every time the Kenyans have come here, I mean, last time Marco Tieno, if she didn't qualify for the Olympics, he did it a, 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 a 10 17, which was um, the, the, um, because he's done a 10 11, he's, he, then, then the 10 17, and then he's done a 10 19. So his second best time of the season. He did it here, and that clearly shows that in Uganda, when you come, mm. you know, uh, it's, it's it, our weather first and foremost is very favor favorable for sprinting. Yeah. Even if our track is a bit old, it's actually quite good for uh, for it's a fast track, mm. and I'm pretty sure if we got one of those Mondo tracks, yeah. you, you would see you, you you would see people flying here. Oh, <laughs> boom! Oh, bounce off. You know? Mm, bounce off into a wild record. <laughs> I know, like, yeah, it's great. I believe we have a sprinting powerhouse here. In fact, the way we can get back into sprinting, if you want to have a cake, if, if you want to get back into sprinting, uh, we, we get back using the using the, the, the relays. That, that is, thank you. That, is a, that has exactly been an argument. So we, we were like, okay, fine. Individually, we may not yeah, be good. We, may not be there we, we looked at just the previous trial. We were like, Okay, we have a Tarsis who did a 10 for 8, even if it was wind aided. Mm. It's fine. He ended up doing a 10 52, mm. still a PB. We had a court who did a 10 5. Mm. Okay? If we look at PBs, we have God with a 10 6, we have a Buto Solomon with a 10 5, mm. we have um, Isa Musa with a 10 4 3, mm. which is a uh, 10 4 5, which was that record before it was broken by Adome with a 10 4 3. Mm. I mean, just those athletes get them together, train them for a year or two, work on the exchange button and all that, and ask me if we shall not feature in Africa. And then people are like, look, Ghana. Yes, Ghana. I saw them Ghana, the, 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 the current guy who has the national record, yes. he was so motivated that he went and trained so hard and ended up with a nine. He broke, he broke uh, the national record of Ghana, which had stood for over 15 years. But where did he get the motivation? They took them for the wild drillers in Yokohama. Yes, I, they I went to them. Africa, mm. they, 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 they became the, the African champions, you know? And, and most of them also, what countries are doing? They're sending their top runners to the US. He was saying he has beef with athletes in the US. Last time we discussed it, uh, us as Uganda, the way we approach taking athletes to the US has been wrong. Mm. Our athletes struggle here, get their own air ticket, look for their own universities, they go, when they go, we don't even acknowledge their performances. We, we don't call them for team events. I remember Okot, Okot was a triple jumper. He came for all Africa. But by the time he got on the team, he had been so frustrated, he wasn't sure. They're telling him you have to pay for yourself. You know, like, we don't really help our athletes who are out there. So we still have a lot to do as ourselves as athletes, but I think also our federations. True. We only can crawl back into the space start the relays, get a good like 4x4, four four. get 4x4 four four team and say, okay, we have six people who can do 4x4, four four. let them train and let them become yes. seamless. And seamless. do both, do 4x1, four do 4x4, four four. You know, don't, don't promote only one, yes. take them to Africa Championship, yes, they may be last the, last the first time, but if the, I mean, if you're training and you know you have a chance of being in the top five, top five and you go for the relay, is your training going to be the same? Because I saw the Ghana guys running. The guys are small guys. They're not any different from our Ugandan sprinters in size. But the boys were running in good time. Right? Because four by one is about fluidity of how you pass through that battle and being safe in the zones of exchanging the battle. Yes, and actually talking of Ugandan sprints, the coach of, uh, of Tazana just told me uh, his race in 2018 in Uganda is what opened up doors for him in 100 and 200. He, he came here to Uganda. I remember I did, I, I, I did pick them, take them around and all that. By the Peter says he can't drive with me because I, I drive like a Formula One drive. I think I'm in the wrong spot. I should go to F1. But anyway, so the, <laughs> he, he came here 
ran, got motivated, went, actually that, uh, I think the, the next year he went and represented uh, Denmark in the U20, mm. you know, and since then he's, be, he's been inspired, he actually formed his own club, the TDK, okay. in Kenya, mm. and he decided to train in Kenya to show that um, you can do it in Kenya, which, which is what more of us need to do. Yes. We don't always home have stuff, like homegrown, Sonic. exactly. We, we need to start doing homegrown mm. stuff. We should, we should. About attitude, mental attitude. Mm. Yes. 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 The moment you here. put it here, mm. the rest is history. Yes. We have sprinters and, and, for, and we have very many sprinters have just not been uh, uh, recognized or even... No, we have sprinters who are turning up here every day. So we, that, well, that was the men. When we look at the women, okay, so if we look at currently, yeah, mm -hmm. we have uh, well, by them in the top five rank. Okay. So if 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 you put Shida, Jacent, Banura, uh, the two twins, you put me, uh, I, I call Skovia. Yes, I call Skovia. Okay. Mm -hmm. We train. I can guarantee you, we can break that national record. We can go to Africa and compete. Mm -hmm. You understand? In fact, Skovia was on her team, and they recently just ran a 44. But what what times are, are, are her team running? Most of her team are running 11, 9, 12, around there, you know. But when I'm running a relay, I'm a much better runner. In fact, I remember Annette Kawasindi, the time we did the relay, she told me, why don't you run, if you would run your flat 100 the way you're running the relay, you run really fast. But there's something that motivates you about the relay. You know, like, when you see the first person going, the second person, by the time they get to that button, the adrenaline you have is different. Like, the way you run, even the pressure of the running is not there. So you run a, an effortless race and run so well, and, and, and that's how you build people. If you look at uh, Geneva, uh, mm. she, she, she's an Olympian and a world champion medalist. Mm. Why? Because of the relay. And if you look at our... She even dangles her medals well, around. Well, well, well Asafa Powell himself. Yes. He's, he's a world record holder. He's a world, former world record holder. Current, yeah. he's still a world record holder. Okay. In the, in the, in the, the four by one. Mm. You can't but take you that see, away from him. But, but you see, he has so many gold medals, but from the relay. Exactly, was and actually, Italy, he never really um, was a championship. No, we talked about him a bit mm. earlier on. Yes, and individually, nada. Yeah. No. But as a team, Nesta Carter. Leave, Nesta Carter. Best, thank leave, you. Leave what, thank Nesta you. Carter. Nesta Carter. The best. Team Sometimes he would never even feature in the finals, stop in the semi-finals. But, but bring him on the reel to start that reel. You can't start with him. You can't start with that. When you saw Nesta Carter on the start Nesta line, Carter. you yeah. knew Jamaica is taking that. Mm, because his start was just powerful. You know? But like we were talking about preparation in the relays, in 2019 still, Yokohama, mm. Jamaican, the Jamaican uh, yes. the 200 meters by four. Mm. Shelly Han was there. Uh, Elaine Thompson was there mm. and a couple of others. Mm. And literally they were mwah. plus apart. But but the exchange of the battle. Yeah. Twice. Twice they messed up. Because like, they had not trained together for the exactly, four by two hundred. You know, the first person starts and then Shelly and Fraser like, you know Yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Very yes. quickly mm. over, you know the back stretch and yes. oh no that was a four by one actually not mm. two. Mm. And then somehow they cannot pass the button. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, really? And I was watching and I was like, okay, because I'm until Jamaica. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And no, they were, I, they were just doing a photo for the press. Um, they think they want to do a, a, a something on Musagala. So the, to adjust the portfolio. Port so actually, yes, the relays, we need to get back the relays. On our programs, they're not relays. Yes. You know? Why do we not have pro relays on the program? Because you see relays improve speed, eh? Yeah. It, they do. Because if I, if, I'm, if, if I run the relay right now, okay, I will definitely fly 11. Come rain, come sunshine. You understand? And then if you keep training, if you're running 11, in the, like if you're running mid-11, on the flat, yeah, mm. there are high chances that you will probably split a 10-9. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, it's if I go back again to Tarzan, he, he, he split a 9.9 .9 mm. at the World Relays mm. to get those guys to qualify. Mm. This season, the best he's run is a 10-3. Mm. 
You understand what I'm saying? Mm. There is, so a relay, and then going back as well, because we're told, hey, you know, individually, you guys need to run good times. So we're like, okay, fine. Zimbabwe was there, right? Mm. There is a guy in Zimbabwe on a fly. He had a 10.4 on a fly. Okay? And we're like, guys, like, honestly speaking, are you trying to tell me if you put uh, uh, Obuto, Obuto has an excellent start, so Obuto will be our starter. Mm. If you put Obuto, you put Tass Tass Tassis, Tassis there, yeah? Mm. Um, and then over there you put a, you put a Dome here, you put a court there, because a court is a 200 specialist. Mm. Are you trying to tell me we can't run 39? Exactly. They can, if they train very well and they get the fluidity. You see, it's about, uh, the, you know, the 4 by 100 if you remember the old days, it's about receiving the button without even seeing where the button exactly. is Exactly, and I have a passion. Understand? I have a passion for the relay. I have volunteered many times to train the relay team. That's why I, 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 I literally work with the, the women team. I, I need to first assess <laughs> you. Be so I, I, I might actually go with Ganzi because I know he, um, Coach Ojuang, yeah. Pano beat so much, where, where you run in a perpendicular <laughs> line. Coach Ojuang. Ojuang used to make us run down, <laughs> sprint down slope. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, down slope running, it makes you to run over speed. Oh, exactly. So, so it's actually good for you as a sprinter. Yes. I'm trying to say, I also have a bit of a No, no that does not uh, qualify you for the relay. <laughs> You still need to be qualified. At this point, I'm disqualifying you. You're good as the cameraman. As of now, please okay. be happy with that. The, the, the relay, we shall see. We, we, yeah, we, so from we history, shall see. From our history, if you actually see, uh, most of our sprinters who went to the Olympic Games, they went on relays. So exactly. On, Chakutema. Yes. Chakutema, she's yeah. right here. One she, one she, one she's, one the, she, she's one of the so current also. national record holders. Yes. The, the, the current national record holders. They went on relays. All, yes. Most of these the Olympians have gone on relays. Mm. So we need to change the mentality that as an individual you need to excel, mm. we need to, to work as a team. In fact, Nigeria, they missed the, the world relays, yeah? Yes. Because of visa and of mm. course, different issues that they have those ones they only have their own special issues but do you know what has happened the nigerian team women men four by one four by four are in america for a tour but you see to qualify specifically like to qualify for the relief and why did they go to america i think somehow maybe they sat yes, down yes. and they look at it yes. blessing okabari is there divine ududuru is there uh, in favor of of, of philly she, she she's there toby she's there they're top runners they want in the really in the u.s so what do you do? Because some of the, because of the NCAA, most of their runners might have not been able to join them. So what do they do? They're like, okay, we shall miss the world relays. And the visa issues as well pertaining. So instead of sitting back, they were like, okay, since we are not going to be able to go to the world relays, we shall still qualify. Let's carry these other athletes. Since these athletes can't come, we don't have the competitions. Let's carry them, take them to the US, get them into competitions, and make sure we what? We qualify. True. But also, what people forget, they, may, they can't be using the technical discussion or argument to say that we need to make sure Major Gamba can run 10.9 so we can do the relays. No. No. The journey of a thousand miles starts start with the first say, step. Yes. Well, let's start with Gamba running 40 seconds as she improves. You have to start. Let's just start. Others will never do it. You have to motivate Thank me. You. Just do it. Okay. Nice you have trip. just do it. Yes, you, you, we have these, these athletes have to be motivated. So let's let, let me take myself out of the hundred meters right now. Okay. We have a, a chain appeal, uh, Jacinth Banura. Mm. Okay. And uh, Claire, I haven't seen her run this season. Those are the those are would say those are the current crop of sprinters. Yes. If we got those girls and trained them took them for Africa. Fine, they may not do very well. They might end up running maybe a 47, uh, you know, in the 4 by one But I can guarantee you, because you gave them that chance, next time you take them, when they come back, the training they're going to do, the motivation they're going to have in training yeah. is going to be on another level. Yeah. And you might see all those, all those girls all those dropping flat. to 11 yes. in the flat, flat. Yes, because, because they are motivated. Because it's teamwork, it is ca camaraderie, yes, that you, camaraderie. And you have a bit more exposure. Yes. Exactly, and, and you know you have something to gain. Yeah, camaraderie, there's a camaraderie, teamwork, cohesion. No, it works. It works. Actually, we are going to we are going to be the pressure group. We need to have relays on this we on want this on this, e on this we event want list. So is that we, we do that or we, like, <laughs> we print banners and we, I think the next trial let's print banners. We want
Really? But when they, when they take us for writing, you know, when you write in Uganda, you might end up in Google. <laughs> but it's okay. We want release. <laughs> but yes, it's very true. Mm. Release is the way to promote mm. spring. That's, a, that's how you promote spring. And okay, fine. Let's not go for Africa, but let's start it here. Mm. Whereby they even reach a point and the, the organizers in the cold room specifically put teams switching that's each time exactly to yeah. see which team will work out. Yeah. You know, and you never know in 2024 we'll be talking about mm. uh, Uganda in, in the Olympics. Yes, whether you go there and get out from the first level, that's does really, it matter? You're there. At you're that there. point, does it matter? It I mean, like, okay, fine, let's go to saw, football. The, Uganda can just the, go to Africa and we are happy. Why can't we be happy when we I just know. qualify for I Olympics? Saw the, I saw the, uh, the, 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 the mixed relay that the, the four by eight. This one was called what? The two one by two the, by no, no, no. two by two by the four, four. four by the four by Oh yeah, the shuttle yeah, relay. The sh that, that one. It was interesting. And I saw there was just uh, three teams, and Kenya was one of the teams. By the way, Kenya is almost, in almost every relay. In almost every relay, they were there. And they got a medal. Mm. Oh, yeah. Kenya, they were there. And I saw them running with the, uh, the two mm -hmm. by two by four. Yes, mm -hmm. they were there. Mm -hmm. Kenya for them, they seem to be VIP. We need, to get, we, need, we need to get into the mix. We cannot keep lamenting and remaining here. We just need to do it. it the but the fact that they were in that uh, shuttle relay, I felt, I, I, I felt good. And you could see the athletes were really happy to be there. I mean, they didn't probably... But trust me, I, I mean they were like... Really happy to be there. And next time, they'll be better. No, I, I, I've been fortunate enough. Now, the fear has gone away now. Yes. Okay, so, uh, let's okay, see the 100, um, 100 meter dash. Women. Hit number one. one. I don't know the names, I can't recognize them from here. The problem we have is like the, the original start list we have is never. Oh, oh, it's, it's because not, people not, don't turn up and they have to kind of change the start list. Because I see there are only going to be two hits instead of three. Run for your life. A girl in line one and line seven seem to be going very well. Line one takes it. I don't have the stand list, but those are new kids on the block. Now, see that girl? Like, get them and put a relay for, as, the, as their youth, because you can clearly see she's a youth. Yeah? Put them together in a relay team. Let them get the let, As they are, let them start working together, mm. build together. Mm. What are you going to see? Exactly. By the time they're seniors, they know themselves. By the time they're seniors, Uganda will be on that world, on, on Africa side. I mean, Kenya. Yeah, uh, there are people like Milford, Ndoro, and all those guys. Trust me, I'll go to Kenya, beat them right, left, and center. Mm. But right now, Milford has a better profile than me. Why? Because she's a, a bronze medalist in Africa senior. Okay? I don't have that profile because Uganda only believes in individual mm. events. Mm. So when are we ever going to... It's the, 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 there's a reason why there's just a team event in athletics and the individual event. Mm. If I've not excelled at the individual event, can we also try the, 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 the real event? Mm. I remember when I was running, me, Justin, um, uh, who? Emily. Mm. That time, uh, 2009, 2009, I won the national championship. I ran 11-2. Justin ran 11-4. Emil ran 11-6. Where, where were they? Okay, fine. All of us were running 11. We, we went to Africa, to, to Nairobi. They brought in number that were going to run the relay. Somehow, when we reached there, they told us, oh, you guys have been withdrawn, you're no longer run, running the relay. Yeah, and that was when number won the Africa uh, triple, triple jump. Where is she now? She's actually coaching Justin right now. She's on working with Justin. She is in Uganda. She, she works in UCU. Um, that's where she is most of the time. But yes, she's... Hey, with... can I have more? Please. Relays is the, want, is the real so. deal. That's what's going to get us back into... It, it helps. In, into and actually, um, Kenya has a whole series of relays. They have about four series of relays to get athletes to qualify yes. for the world relays. Even At the start of the season. There was special relay which I saw, which was very interesting. The two by two. Yes, so the two by two by four, you the, could the have Halima yes. and Musagala yes. because it's mostly for mid, it, it favors the middle Aizu, distance, Aizu right? Yes, they do a 400, 100, one, like maybe one minute and then they go again. Yeah. It, it favors mostly the what? Yeah. That's why you see the Kenyan guy who, who run it is from 800. Exactly. Or even you can have Abu, you don't have to take who? Musagala. 
we can do these things. We have the people to do them. But we have the people doing them, but we also need the initiative. Mm -hmm. We just need to do it. How don't we have readers on, on the event list? But then somehow also, Okay, for the event list, that one I cannot excuse the federation, but for the for for, for the for the national teams, for the national teams, I would take the blame, especially like for Africa, Af all Africa and stuff like that. I would blame the National Council of Sports. Why? They give quarters. Now, athletics, your golden sport, that brings you medals, eight and every competition, not one, not two, more than three medals. Yeah, you come and you give athletics and say. Athlete C, and that's how they call us. Mm. Athlete C, you have 20 slots. Now, once you give 20 slots, you have already cut out relays. How? You have middle, we have long distance, boys and girls, right? So let's, let's just look at long distance. You're going to have 10,000, two men, two women. That's already how many? Four. 5,000. So eight slots have already gone to. 5,000 and 10,000. Only. Yes, already. Yeah? Yes. Already. Yes. Men and women. You have not yet even gone anywhere. And then, of which the 20 is plus officials. Mm -hmm. So you're cutting down that number by three, and you have 17 slots. Now tell me, when is it really ever going to go? Exactly. Things like Commonwealth Games where there are no qualifiers. Things like All Africa Games where there are no qualifiers. That's when it's the most capitalized. National Council of Sports needs to be giving us more slots. If they're able to take a football team, the money that it takes a football team of 15 people can, take, can take our relay four by four, four by one, each and every kind of thing. Exactly. You understand? And that's where Kenya beats us. Kenya will, 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 will invest money in these athletes, even if they know they're going to win a medal. But they know in two, three they years. They know that this gamba, in the next, three, in the next cycle, of the, when the Olympics comes in the next cycle. Yes, even, even the, 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 these Kenyans, like my, the, the one I'm saying, the four by one, mm. those girls have been running the relay for a very long time, since, 20, since 2015. Yeah? They have been in relays, relays. And then, Recently, I think 2019, they won a bronze medal. Consistency. Yes. You understand? It's not going to come out of the blue. Now, unfortunately, what we have is the first time when you go, you don't perform. But why no centers are Why did we take them? But that's not how it works. It's a starting point. Where we you know. You see, they, they want to get to the destination very quickly. That's the problem. And it's a Ugandan problem. You, you see me driving Mercedes, and you want to drive it tomorrow, so you end up going to steal money. You understand? But you need to know there is a journey to everything. Okay, let's go. Come on, okay. let's push it. Who are these running? I don't know. So the... I'm sorry that I don't have the start list, but that's a definitely a new kid on the block. The one, the one who was next to her was trying to overstride. Yes, she was trying to overstride. Mm. She wasn't like uh, get, working on the frequency. Mm. Anyway, so I was saying actually, when, when you're talking of medals, also, you know one of the reasons why the National Council gives us small numbers? Because they will give us small numbers, and you know who they're focusing on? They'll be like Kati, Mutwe Joshua, Musagara, Halima. They're targeting only the big people because those are the only medals they count. They don't know that actually we, they need to give us more slots. We put in those big people, also expose others, yeah. and that's how they build the that's medals. How you build the, and that is where that, that's, that's how you the biggest. The, the, the conveyor belt. That's the biggest problem we have. Then they will go to a sport like badminton. Okay, I know you're from swimming, but let's face it, our swimming level of competition is not yet that high. No. But swimming, you have never got many slots. But you go to swimming, they give them six slots. And you're like, excuse me. I know. You, you go to table tennis, they're taking eight people. And you're like, excuse me, what has table tennis done to Uganda? Not, no offense that they, they also need the exposure, but if you are giving out, you are cutting down our numbers. You only want the cream who have made the self made themselves. When are the others going to get the, the chance to be able to expose themselves? So I think for me, I think you, um, the sports in Uganda, since you are athletics represent, athletes representative, they, we, we need to start getting allocations by performance, not by, hey, you know, Gundi, Ate now, no, not by performance. If if we need to take 50% of the of the of, of, of the team, no problem, because we have earned it, we deserve it. Every athlete who has qualified, just like it is in the Olympic Games, every athlete who qualifies for the Olympics goals, even all Africa, Commonwealth, it should be that. Every athlete who has hit the qualifying mark, if the maximum to be entered is three, everyone should be taken. We should reduce on the number of officials who go, 
Okay, we were together in Delhi. You yes. saw what happened. We, we don't need to discuss it. Exactly. Mm? Where the officials are more than the athletes, we need. We, we, there are certain things administratively we need to change. As athletes, we are working hard to get to where we need to be. But administratively, a lot of things need to be changed. Too many officials, few athletes. But for me, my problem is also we, are, we don't we don't do proper planning because all these games that we are talking about right now. You can name for me the Olympic Games from now up to 2032. You know where they are going to be. Exactly. And on which dates. So you, why don't you plan backwards and say, okay, this Gamba, how old is she? She's 19. Okay. If she's 19 and she's running this time, let's target her for now, 2028, as an example. So you work backwards, you understand? We're always working in the 12th hour. Yeah. It's as if we've just said, hey, you mean next? You mean in the next six months we're going for Olympics? It's as mm -hmm. if we've not known. And then they start oh. looking for funds. So the governments also, the funding. You know, it's, it's, it's a more complex issue. The, the funding needs to be deliberate towards sports. It has not to by be. mistake. You know, I'm totally deliberate. It can't continue being by mistake. You can't be doing things by chance. No, right now, mm. most of the medals we have won and everything, they are purely by chance, without any deliberate investment towards them. So we, but that is not sustainable, you see. Because now the countries who are, the, the countries who are, who are investing deliberately are, 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 are ripping. Yes, look at Zambia. Yes. Oh. The, Swanas, the Kenyas, the... So the hit three. Come up here. Okay, this is hit three. This is hit three, but they look young. Yeah, the, the juniors, which is actually good. This is exactly what we're talking about. They are upcoming, but then if they see that the seniors have never even traveled or gone anywhere, how are they going to be motivated? Where do they even think that they can get the chance to, exactly. to participate or represent the country? There's something about wearing your country jersey, and they, you know, like when you go and you walk in the village and like, Uganda, and you're like, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. And it gives you the opportunity to sell your country as well. Oh, yeah. Because you're an ambassador, anyway. Always. Okay, go. <laughs> Run for your life. So, in lane eight, that's. Uh, Those are the women in three. Let's go. Nemisha in lane eight, taking that. From Kampala Kids. Actually, the other one was her teammate as well. And you can see they're enjoying it. Like exactly, it. they're enjoying it. They are still young. And we need to motivate them. Not like those ones. There were eight of them. That's, those are two relay teams. You know? If, if that program is there after, they definitely like can come back and make a relay team. And they come and run. This, this relay thing is a serious thing. We need to be doing relays. How, how will the kids ever get to know how buttons are exchanged? They can't. That is actually our national record holder still with an 803 in the steeple chase. Uh, I know he's coming back trying to to qualify for the Olympics. So, Benjamin, how is your preparation going? Uh, I mean that my preparation is just still down, but I have a lot of work to do on speed. Because now I can see I have a lot of endurance, but there is no speed at the moment. So I am going to adjust on it. So are you hoping to go for your third straight Olympics? Because I, I guess that's what you're targeting. Uh, I think it's not that. It will be the fourth Olympic for me. Ah, fourth Olympics, sorry, yes. not the third. Yes, I wasn't very sure if it was the third or the fourth. It's fourth. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite hard. Uh, that's, uh, that will be 12 years of running on world, world class. I think it will be, yeah, around 12 or uh, more. 12? Yeah. Because every four, 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 four times four. 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 So that would be the 16th year? Yeah, in athletics. And then plus the plus whatever, that would be 17. Be 70, around 10 years. So one of your best performances was when you won the bronze medal at the World uh, Junior? Yeah, it was World Junior in 208 before my first Olympics. Yes, and you, I'm, I'm hoping you're praying to get back to that shape. Yeah, I'm praying also to be in that shape and uh, got a medal before my retirement in athletics. <laughs> Well, at least you have a medal, you have a name. Yeah. So, uh, Benjamin, we wish you the best in your preparation and we hope um, 
Or you can make your Olympics or you can still make the Africa team. Yeah. You know, from Africa you definitely still have a chance to qualify for the Olympics. Yeah. So thank you. We, we hope someone can come and break your national record. I know you don't want it to be broken. No, but, uh, <laughs> but then you can there. improve your own national record instead. Yeah, but uh, records are there. Uh, to they be broken. said to be broken. Yes. Yeah, no worries. Okay, thank you, Benjamin. We wish you the best, and uh, we're hoping to see you back here soon when you're on yeah. fire. Yeah, thank you, Mildred. I hope I will be back on uh, six or uh, next month for Akibua. And, uh, uh, Akibua has always, you have a very good memory yes, with Akibua Championship. Memory, yes, like, yes. I, I, I have followed your career for quite a bit, and every Akibua there is something special you come and produce. Yes. So I am pretty sure you are hoping. Also, I'm hoping for the best on that day. Okay, all thank right. You, okay, thank you. So we have the 100 uh, women, the last hit, uh, Justin Yamahunge in lanes. In lane five, she has a best of 1206. She's definitely hoping to take that down. This time around, she's not run the 400, We're just doing the 100 and 200. So hit four, we have um, lane one, Oroma Peace, lane two, Adokrach Brenda, lane three, Oroma Emanuela, lane four, Jason Yamahunge, lane five, Ed, uh, lane six, lane five, Achen Rosemary, lane six, Banura Maureen, lane seven, Cheka Christine, lane eight, Apio Agnes. So the rest should be really between Banura and uh, Jacent. <laughs> this is the true race, ladies and gentlemen. I should be in that race, you know. This leg should Justin, heal very fast. Where is Justin? Justin is in lane four, Banura is in lane six. Banura always has this quick bullet start. You know these short people have? Yeah, Shelly and Fraser type of. Yes. Ah, ah Justin, she's out. Justin, come on. She's out. out. There's, they, 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 there's no debate about it. Get I told you, like, she knows Maureen has a very strong start, so she needed to get out yeah, of the block. Yeah, but don't try to cheat this game. Now you're out, you see? You see? Well, okay, wait, let's pray. Maybe they might favor her as she's the favorite, and uh, they might say the gun. Uh, I need, <laughs> needed somewhere. Let me come back. They might say the gun was the problem. Was it Jacent or Roma? No, they have to give her the red card. Yep. Ah. Yep. Athletics, they, 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 there is no favoritism. You, you beat the gun, you go. Yeah, it's a shame. But anyway, let's see what Maureen can do. And this is the pressure we are talking about. Exactly. That pressure, if you can't handle that pressure, because like Maureen, like we said, she's excellent at that start. Like she will literally fly off the first 30 meters, and if you don't chase, she'll be gone. You know, and that does put pressure on you as an athlete. And she's very petite, you know, like she's actually the shortest there. You can see her there in lane seven. Very tiny, you can think she can't run, but let her start running and you'll see the bullet that goes out of there, you know. Um, I, I bill her to take this actually. But Achen has also been running very well. So let's see. Let's see. Is it Achen or Apio? They confuse me. The twins, okay. One of the twins. The one who is two minutes older than the other? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, uh, that's what, there, there's a reason why I'm your senior. So, <laughs> so you see Maureen? Manura. See what I see what I said. <laughs> the fa her first 30 meters, if you slip, she's gone, and that's what she did. So by the time, by the time Apio came, 
this one had already, she already had the advantage. You must have a very strong final pick. No, that's for a big to catch her. Huh? Yeah. You must have a very strong final pick. Not real, not necessarily a final kick, but like your fly, what we call the fly, like the the, the, the speed you build, your maintenance of that speed. I guess you're saying the same thing. You're using a technical language. Yes, we have to, that, that, and that's the, the exact reason was. why you're not qualified to be the real coach yet, <laughs> until you learn the terminology. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, uh, we, we don't want that potato language of yours. You see here, we have people who are viewing who are strictly athletic lovers. So, yes. And those who are learning, eh? yeah. if they learn that potato language of yours, they, 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 they'll come and start telling us, you see this thing, no. We have to call it the right thing, the fly zone, you know, where you maintain the speed. But congratulations to uh, Banura. Um, Big shame, Jacent. I can guarantee you, Jacent is now going to turn all that to 200. 200. I bet she's even going to get the PB today. Like, she is going to come with that, you know, like that anger and. Uh, but you know, it's, it's better to do a false start here and you learn from here than going on the international scene. Exactly. And, it's, it's and really disappointing. A false start is the. You'd rather get injured along the way, maybe. Yeah. False start is really, really, really. Actually, I've never had a false start in my entire career. Oh, you never faced serious. No, course. I have. I've faced very serious competitions. I've competed at the World University Games. I've competed at the Commonwealth Games. I've competed at All Africa you Games. I've competed at Africa Senior. In our generation. What generation? What are you? What generation are you talking about? I, I, I ran in that generation where we were three top sprinters. The, the, one of the toughest races we had was that 2009 national championship. Justin, me, Emily, all of us uh, at that I'm point, we were, we were running 11.5. I'm glad all of you speak about the same race because I speak to um, Justin and she tells me, I, I was asked her once, what's the toughest race? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are doing a very good job picking your time, please go. <laughs> yes, continue please, you are saying? You can have a seat here. Yeah, um, where were we? You, one of the toughest races Justin has ever finished. Yes, Justin Baiga tells me there was that race, but you guys, you finished, and somehow she didn't know who won or who did what, because she says the three of you Yes, were like, it was a race. blanket finish. Was like, I had 11-2, okay. Justin had 11 and she says, she four. Says she Emil had 11-6. If it were possible, she was going to fly if she wanted she says she wanted to like jump and fly and you know that's <laughs> because but I, I guess but i guess i love those kind of races i love i call them showdowns and i love showdowns and it was the national championship so it was the creme de la creme you know <laughs> no full start no, no injury no nothing nothing everybody no, everybody ran and finish yes and that's a, that's the beauty that. that's the beauty of the sport that's mm -hmm. the beauty it, 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 you know, it keeps the viewer, you know, captivated. You, you in your toes. You don't know who has what. Who? I love it. I love that kind of tension. A big, big, big shame. Justin didn't run this race. Um, no, like, I'm sure she's, has, uh, she's going to bounce back in the um, in the 200 yeah, meters. Then from the long distance, they are different. Yeah, they, 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 okay, somebody is asking the difference of the spikes. Yeah. So a sprint spike, you can show that in the camera for the viewers to see. So a sprint spike, the sole is very flat because the athletes mostly run here. They run on the ball of the foot, so they have to bounce off. Uh, the middle distance, this part here, has a bit of cushion because they're not able to run on the ball of their feet the whole time, the mid and long distance. So for the, yes, they, they tend to run more flat footed. So they, they then need a little bit of cushion. Now the sprinter, if you have that cushion, it, it might encourage you to end up running flat footed. And that means every time you're running, you're breaking. And with sprinting, it's about spending as little time as possible on the ground with as much power as possible. On your toes after. Yes, no, not on your toes, on the ball of the foot. Yeah. The ballerinas are the ones on their toes. For us, we run on. A, that's the potato language. This man is teaching you. <laughs> these are these are, are spikes. I mean, this this is a what do they call this? Those are spikes. I mean, on your foot. This one, the ball of your foot. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's called the ball of your foot. You run on the ball of your foot, not on your toes. So Francis, people who you are around, eh? in wooden athletics, please don't teach them the potato language. Use the right terminology. Now see, you told him they run on the toes. Growers language. <laughs> okay, yes, that one. And now we see the men coming out for the uh, 100 meters. Yes, uh, remember today we have Pius. Adome. Adome Pius, the national record holder, who is going to grace us with his presence. And um, we hope he will post a good time. You know, especially, not just especially, but athletics is about time. It's not about just finishing first or second or third. Life is about time. It's about time. Yeah. Right now, okay, what we so want the most is time yeah. for us to qualify for uh, major events. So Maureen had a 12.32 in that uh, heat. But uh, I, again, I, I clearly know uh, if, ja if, yes, yes. if Jacent had run, it would have still been a much faster time, even for Maureen. Even for Maureen, yes. You know when you're running and you are ahead, yeah? It's just like in training. When I normally train with someone, same effort, faster time. When I run alone, I'm putting the same effort, but much slower time. You know, it's just, there's something about uh, when you run with people. There's a, there's, a, there's a big, big difference. So we see the men coming up, and uh, today Pitik is featuring in the 100 meters. Will he win it? Oh. He was a surprise winner. He's a 15-year-old a boy. Uh, he was a surprise winner in the 200 last, uh, la last time. So today he's running the, the 100, though he's mostly a 400-meter runner. Yeah. Turning 16. He's, uh, he's coached by the one and only, the one and only Mildred Gamba. You know, you know, like Rainbow International School. Rainbow International. Yes. And he's coming for national. Of course, why not? <laughs> okay. He, you, he, um, we, 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 actually, his parents are here watching, and that's this is the thing we're talking about support. Yes. Maybe his we. Are here watching? Those are the parents. Oh, there's someone in the race. Lady one. He wants to ask me for the questions. Lady number one. We've been here sitting. We have Mr. Aliakai Patrice. We have Mr. Aliakai Patrice. He, he, he was never a runner, but somehow his kids have the talent. I think they got it from the mom. No, I was also a runner. I used to run. How do you, how do you supervise him at home? Um, you know, he has to read books. He has to... Train, he he's doing his exams he actually currently. He supervises and now himself. He's, he's doing exams. He supervises himself. Okay. Wow. He has his own plan. He knows. Okay. No, actually, I can answer that. Uh, Pitiki, one of the reasons I decided to train Pitiki, because we went for the Kobe's Games first um, in, in, in Sheffield. Yeah. yeah. At that time, he was 13. Mm. He, of course, the training then is not that that good. He was actually running 800. He did the 800 and 400. He won the 800 in, in under two minutes at that time. And then he also did the 400. But then the time was so short, he, got, he ended up with the silver. So when he came back, he told the dad, you know what? I don't think I like the 800. I want to be a 100, 200 meter runner. So and I told the dad that I don't think 100 is really his thing, but we can definitely do two and four. So that season, we trained to go back to Sheffield. He ran, in the 400 last time he ran 58, which was a, champ, which was a championship record. So we, we, we trained to go, uh, to go back. He went and ran a 56 in the 400, wow. and then he ended up with a 24 wow. in the 200. Both of them, and then he did a 11 in the triple jump. <laughs> wow. You know, and the thing with him is, even this time when he's running, this whole time he was training himself during the lockdown. I just sent him the program because we can train at school and all that, and he will diligently follow his training. Actually, I just monitor him. I don't have to say anything. Tell him what he needs to do, and he does it, you know? So we have a, a designer, no sprinters are designers. In lane seven, <laughs> the designer winning. You know, when you dress like that, yeah. when you dress like that, you have to be sure you're winning. Because <laughs> 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 
When you're still there, you have to eat. Hey, so Francis, you were asking Pitiki's dad. We have Mr. Mr. Patrice Aliakai, the Pitiki's dad here. Um, yes, and uh, whose side is it? I think it's both. It's both. There's because both when, I used to, when I was in school, I used to run. But me, I used to do mostly long distance. But 400 up to cross country. Okay. Actually, I had all the school records in those distances. And then for my wife, she used to run 100 meters. Wow. <laughs> so when you combine the two, you end up with 400. You end up with PTK. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, his siblings, all of them were always there. Um, the sister went first, Letasi. She won the people jump for the, for the girls at that competition. And then uh, Ona, for she more of a footballer. Yeah. She scored for us a brilliant, I think that was, that, that's still one of the best goals in Kobe, uh, to, for us to win the girls' championship, U13, in Dubai, you know, so the whole family literally is sporty, sporty. but did you know Pitik is an excellent singer? Wow. Singer. Top. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, I know that very well. He's, he's my, bev, my, my favorite bass, bassist of all time. <laughs> exactly. So he has that talent, like... He can he's sing. He's talented. Yeah, he, and he's very he, academically also. He's very good. Excellent. Is he this week? No. When I grow no. up, I want to be like Pitiki. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my son was like, I'll be like Pitiki. <laughs> because he always sees him training, he sees him in assemblies singing, you know, and in football he sees him there, he's like everywhere. Okay, I make him play basketball, let's be honest, How he can't play basketball feel, though. What do you guys feel as parents? <laughs> No, you as parents, I said parents, <laughs> you as parents. What advice do you have to other parents out there to... Yes, by the way, because I know very many parents um, yeah. have this thing. I pay your school fees to go to study. So you cannot come back with an injury and you tell me, you know, nonsense. Uh, you know, I'll beat you up, <laughs> almost, you know. Yeah, so we've lost very many talents. Yeah. Mm. To because that. of parent, lack of parental support. Yeah, because the parent says no. Because they think go, yeah, yeah, but he, I think I have a job for you. The thing yeah. is that this thing is it's teamwork between three, four parties actually. The teachers, the coaches, the parents, and the student. You all have to work together and make sure that you should be able to, like the parents, your job is to monitor what's going on. Like you can see is the kid uh, over studying and not training enough or over training and not studying. So you try and balance them out and then you do that in conjunction with the teachers because the teachers will tell you about the performance in class. Then you can work, you can talk to the students. So it's really like communication between all the all the all, all the parties to coordinate everything, so that nothing slaps off. And then if you give them support, you turn up to their races. They see you're interested in the in their classwork. Uh, you're talking to their coaches. Then they also pick up interest. They become also more determined to organize everything. And you also tell them of the future. Like PTK, I told him even now. You're going to be doing all levels. At the same time, you're going to be having competition. <laughs> Starting now, at a younger age, you have to learn how to handle Manage all and balance. those things at the same time. Mm. Yes. So that's what has helped me to, to learn how to multitask, to, to focus. Mildred, who are we looking out for in this room? Um, actually, this hit here, no one I know. And I don't have the start list, so. But I know the person in lane to kick the blocks and the blocks flew off, so that's why they took them back before. <laughs> Too much power. <laughs> this time the blocks have stayed. But then this boy, is a, this boy in line seven, you know, he had an amazing start. That's the thing with short people. They have this um, power to be able to kick off the blocks. But unfortunately, they're not able to fly. Do you know, according to me, that the guy the best starter in the world up to up to this the, the Kim year. Collins ah uh, ah uh, Ben Johnson <laughs> <laughs> go on YouTube and wait uh, you know his start was very unconventional <laughs> you, you you know how we start you know it's one foot you know how we start um, you know you have the yeah um, okay depending which configuration you are mm. and then you you push off with one leg but you push off with both like as if as if he was diving into a pool ah. 
Go and watch, get the YouTube. We have our phones there. You bishop, Ben Johnson. Actually, it, it, it is him who caused no. the rule to change to, to point, point one. Of it's it. like driving, okay? Boom. No, it's like driving. It, there, there is a myth which says when you're driving an, an automatic car, you have to use one foot. Yes. Yeah? yeah? But I have actually tried it. When I drive with two cars, I am 99.9% too late. I'm 99.9% sure so I cannot cause an accident. Mm. Especially with my reaction, it is so easy for me to quickly react and break with my left, left leg, yeah. other than first removing this leg and this way. Yes. So a lot of accidents caused by uh, automatic cars is because of the time that lag minute. between this leg to the other one, and yet it needs a split. Mm. Uh, well, something that a sprint I can when understand. When we talk about that, we, uh, we have PTC okay. in this race. In lane okay. 7. In lane 7, we have okay. PTC and um, we just We've just been talking to his father, okay. and this is uh, something Mildred said last uh, the, the last time we were here. And you know, we complain of uh, not having people come to watch athletics. Yes. And then she was asking, it's not the responsibility of the federation solely to bring people here. Mm. And she gave a very good example of Pitiki, who was here, and there was like five people who came to see mm. Peter Kiran. So how many of these And guys? even right now, actually, um, he has his schoolmates and former schoolmates who asked for the live stream to watch him, exactly. particularly. So he has probably about uh, 200 people watching him, mm. as him, you know? Oh, ben Johnson. And he, he, he's not anything yet, he's not a star yet, he's, exactly. but he's so already pulling the crowd. How many of these guys have their families or siblings or what coming to work? Hardly, hardly. Exactly. But they didn't even go down. <laughs> so I'm still telling you, Ben Johnson was so quick that one time they had to change the rules. Actually, it's because of him that they changed the rule, that you can't be faster than one microsecond, point one of a microsecond, you understand? Because he was so quick that... He one time got over the blocks and and the machines failed. It was that quick. <laughs> no, seriously, you can't look at the YouTube video. That guy was amazing. Ben Johnson. Oh. Oh. And time vindicated him because later it came out that the race where he was banned, later, the few years, all those guys were also on, do, were on also drugs. On, uh, on drugs. Yeah, but, all of them. All yeah. of them. But all. That's, that's the same thing he kept saying, by the way. All these all years, he, he always, something. He's always saying. He just juiced up more than the other guys, but otherwise, all of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all of them. He just, went overdose. Mm. But you, I, you I, see, that's I, the I, other I, thing. I saw a documentary uh, on YouTube, and mm. they were talking about uh, Evelyn. I, um, what's her name? Ashford Evelyn mm -hmm. of the US. Yes. Who beat Floyd Joe like hands down so many times. Yes. But then. Then Floyd Joe one day came around at 10 for 9. Exactly. Ah! Unthinkable. So guys are like, well, we cannot talk about this because she's late, but. I know. But, but, but. That time is still there. Everyone ah. is struggling to get to that time, man. 10 for 9. Yeah. It's impossible. It's possible. Uh -uh. Yes, that's what we thought. Little did we ever dream of the 958, my dear. <laughs> to you wait. God, God has not stopped creating. <laughs> you, you bring someone. We don't know who. So who do you think is taking this one? Mm, I don't know. You're talking. It looks like Pitiki is taking it. Lane seven. Go through. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs a swimming cap because now the, the, air, the air was Boy. creating resistance. Wow. Wow. Cameraman, do you think Pritik needs a swimming cap? Don't you think the hair was creating resistance? Uh, no, he, you, you see, the thi oh, am I thinking like a swimmer too much? No, the thing is, like we, we said, that's his swag, you know, that's his swag. The system of me is always fighting with the mom to comb the hair. That's his swag, you know. Sprinters have swag, leave him, mm. you know. That is his swag. So for him, the hair is his swag. Maurice, Everybody has their own. Morris Green, so. <laughs> Morris Green, Otto Boldon. Huh? But you know. Those guys had swag. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Morris Green, eh? Mm. 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 Chains, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> Earring, man. Huh? But I'm happy. I'm the person getting past the time of disappeared. Yeah. Bolts. Yeah. Bolts, yes. Uh -huh. Of course, Bolt coming on board uh, changed everything. Yeah, didn't Bolt changed everything. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, is quick. Men and Once you get some good muscle mass, eh, yeah. you'll see. Yeah. But of course it's growing. That muscle mass is going to come. You know, the, uh, that's the thing with kids. Because as a teacher, I have seen the transformation in kids. In S4 equivalent, which is the Ugandan system, in S4, they are just like he is. Okay? No muscle work. S6, Boosh. they're all like huge with muscles and more explosive and, and then you're like okay what happened in, in, in just these few months you know yeah. so definitely with time and that's a, actually that's also the, the reason why the world athletics abolished the youth uh, competition because like as a youth mm. right now as the coach i would be pressured to take him to the gym yeah. yes. get him to do training which is not good for his development for his because, because you good. want him to run fast mm. so that's why they abolished the the youth competition and now it's strictly on u20 because after 16 then they you can take them to the gym and do give other hard trainings it doesn't have an impact what on do their we know here in this one? anyone you know the problem we are, we are blind and uh, i don't have a start yeah. list although i can see the the other young man who is how many years also he's 18 years also he's running well lately the, the, the guy who is half dutch half ugandan Actually, um, so I just got a text from my deputy head teacher. He's asking when the over 40 race is so he can come running. So yes, Mr. Francis, yo, it, it is very true. We need the, the over 8 race. Okay, I know Kakaire over there. You know when, you, when they finish the race and then you still have energy, you're like, maybe I should have used this energy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kid there, the yellow with the black. So Mr. Thompson, I think I think for the over forties, eh, we can organize like a, a fifty meter fifty meter dash. Because yeah. eh? we don't want we to don't stress want the hundred is stressful. We don't want arms to snap. No. Yes, there's a, there's also another kid. He's he's actually I think a triple edge mate. He's, he's at ISU, yes. rough, yeah. you know. That, that's also the next uh, talent that is uh, coming up, you know. Uh, actually, I, I, I was hoping they put the two of them in one pit. It would have been very good to see the two of them uh, run in one hit, even the 200 meters, you know. Because no, no, no. He's at ISU, yeah, and he's at uh, same generation. Same generation, though him is strictly 100, 200, but you know, um, these days 400 meter runners are challenging 100 meter runners. If you look at Shone Mila Ubo, she has a 10 9 mm. and a 21 early, and you're like, okay, excuse me, you're 400 meter runner, what are you doing here? Uh, speed endurance. <laughs> Mila Ubo is a very talented woman. Speed endurance, I, 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 she can I, play I, basketball, I, she can play volleyball, she can choose to play anything. <laughs> no, but, that physiology. but that's the thing, if, you, if you've run track, if you've run track to a certain level, to a national level, you can excel at any sport. Depending on your interests. Okay, depending on your have, interests. We have our, our piece, this, this here, who is the national Net basketball ball. Net ball captain. But yes, but she used to play basketball. Yes, she does basketball. And I think she was also the national captain, I don't remember. Yes. 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 But then she focused on, uh, yes. on netball. We had uh, Ibrahim Congo. The national handball captain, goalkeeper, and football captain in the national team. So. I mean, team sports are good, but what I really hated about team sports is I have to depend on other people for my performance. True. No, like seriously, there was a time um, when McHenry, they started, they, they, when they first introduced baseball. So they were like, well, I think they had an invitation to the US. They had an invitation to the US and they wanted us training every day. You show up for training and you're about 10 people. On the dog competition, there are about 50 people and everyone wants to play. And I'm like, why am I even stressing myself? Yet I, I already do athletics. My performance depends on me. So some of the reasons, sometimes why some people choose to do um, individual events is because you depend on you. You do not have to rely on somebody. Team events, I mean, if you look at even football, we have, we have generations of like Kabua, extremely talented, sure. you know. Okay. The 100 meters of exciting, all of it, there's something it brings out like some form of excitement. Yeah. Get off the blocks good and drive face good. The easiest good. race is 200 meters. That's the hardest race in sprinting. The easiest. And drive face good. So I'm billing Roth to take this one. 
Me too, unless uh, the rough rose rose with the yellow. It's the yeah. yellow vest. Uh, yellow another and another teenager. Th 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 those two are definitely the next generation of sprints mm. that we are going to see. And both of them have a very good work ethic, dedicated, love what they're doing, and they know what they want and why they want it. Let's go. Ralph, come on. Maybe this is a, a, a strong hit for him. Did get a good start. No. This start was very bad. And definitely, that's also a thing with 100 meters. Mm. Split second determines everything. If someone just leaves the block just by point something, ahead of and this goes back to the same thing with Jason. Jason knew that it matters. Mm. And I think why Sherry and Sherry Price is so confident, she has the best start of everything. And once she's gone, she's gone. You will catch her here. <laughs> Yeah, but she will fight to stay there. She fights and she makes sure she stays there. Was that hit for? Oh, the, the, the decathlete is over there now coming for the 100 meters. But it's actually quite good that they let him do that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I wish um, some of our Ugandan athletes can also study. I agree, do, I think I'm actually happy that. We, we, doing what he's doing. Yeah. They, they if organize events here on the trial, they do that, except they would need to request that they now start putting hurdles, because that's another thing we need to talk about. We cannot be a former world record holder in the 400 meter hurdles, and, and we, 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 we haven't feature anyone anywhere on our trial. Agra Wari still holds the record for 110 hurdles from 1960. Exactly. But, but, but how is that? Record going to be broken when it's not uh, it's not run. We're I am pretty sure if if we're not even attempting to we're not even attempting not, not even at school level. We're not even trying. It's, it's the last time I ran hurdles was in my primary school. In fact, even it, 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 it even stems down to our post primaries. Our post primaries also there are no hurdles. Kids don't run the hurdles. There were no hurdles. And we we normally do a gal empowerment. Collect so we Yes. <laughs> In his lane, he collected all the hurdles. <laughs> At the end, he was entangled in all the hurdles. <laughs> so that's how they would be. Pick one. The end, guys had finished the rest. For him, was inside the hurdle. Ah, Didi McIntyre was a very interesting man. So here we have. It's the first assist? No, it's not. no, it's not the first assist. Like I said, we are blind. But uh, in the other hit, we are looking at Mike Macambo mm, I'm, I'm um, like from Kenya. Here and the likes of those people. Of course, uh, I see a court Ben Sond over there in the black and uh, white. <laughs> but a court though. <laughs> He's uh, well. He gets lost. He gets mixed up in the in whatever he's wearing. Mm. So he, he looks like he's not wearing anything. And then of course we have we like, like, like our fashionista <laughs> who, uh, mm. who I thought had one. You didn't know he had. <laughs> no, no, not so. It was like an illusion. You know that the hand is black, mm. so he wears a white thing, yes. and it looks like he doesn't I have know, a hand. Yeah, you know. Um, These Paralympic guys taking these guys for. I I, I see Emma. There should be two Emmas on the on the. On the start list, but I say we are blind. Uh, someone's supposed to send us the updated start list, but I can't see it. So we are sorry, viewers. We shall not be able. But uh, but I see Adome Pia. Adome and um, and Okot are actually wearing the same with pink shoes. You know, pink is the is the new. Okay. Have I seen these athletes? Uh work on their blocks. Make sure that. They... And then uh, I see Isabri there in the Uganda. Okay. Oh, that's Isabri. Yes. Yes. In the last hit. So if they are putting on pink, for me I would come with lime green. Actually, I have my, my new spikes are lime green. Lime green. So you, you see me from very far away. <laughs> you stand out. Mm. And that's if you're doing well. You can like stand out it. and stand out when you're the last. So off they go. And the decathlete actually is not so bad. 
And we have a para athlete. The men are going. Did you see the para athlete? Yes, the men are going and they are gone. <laughs> <laughs> going, going, gone now. Who is the guy who won it in the green? The final hit of 100 meters. The final hit. The men are going. The men are gone. The men will go. The men are gone. <laughs> We see Adome, the current national record holder, um, just walking back in the hot pink. Why am I excited? I feel like I'm there. Let's just hope there's no... I think I need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. <laughs> here are spikes for you. Okay. Okay. Who has my injection? Who has my injection? <laughs> so I, I am sick and we have a boot or two. A boot or actually also one of those. Who has an excellent start? I am just hoping that all of them are calm enough. Calm enough? Not to call start. Exactly. Not to call start. You know, I'm on tension like I'm going to run. You know, my heart is pumping. My heart is pumping and I feel the adrenaline. And actually, if if Pius, um, or Kot, or Buto, Musa, they finish together here, that's a national record goal. If they all stay together yeah. and they finish together, that's the national record. And national record is 1043. Yeah. Johan turned down and work here, but anyway, you, can, you might get a 999 no, and get I'm, excited. I'm, I'm going to hear, of course, the gun red. So what I'm going to do, the first sound I hear is when I'm going to press the thing. I don't know. Based on physics, I know I'll be late on pressing the go, but. And you know, we need more of these races. Yeah, we race. have two Kenyans in there. Yeah. I, uh, in this race? Yes, yeah. in lane one and lane... Two Uhuru's, uh, but Kenyans are not... Uh, uh, who told you? Uh, we have just... Uh, Kenyans right now, they are the, the silver right, medal in the 4x200, right, 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 really. Right. What are you talking about? Yeah, a, a Kenyan... Ah. In, in Africa, the, a Kenyan actually is lead, has a, um, the, the, top, the, the top five times with a 10-0-1. Ten zero one. They have invested quite a lot mm. in, the, in the sprint. Yes, it's please not like don't before. Fall start. Please, please, okay. please. please don't fall start. Please help me. Yeah, it will be a, a huge one. So Emma did a PB last time. In left, he got a 1085. Set. Now he's still me set. Maybe I jinxed them by mentioning it. Please don't do a false start. I didn't see a false start. Did you see a false start? Maybe you saw someone, yeah, see a someone niggling. Maybe someone. This is 100 Anyway, let's just hope like uh, maybe it was an error on their side. Because, ah. like, honestly, there was no visible false start. And for such false starts, you need a replay. We don't have that technology here in Uganda. Yes, unless you know? going to. Unless they come to me now. Yes, unless they come to us. But even your angle of attack is wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah? We can actually tell. No, we, we, we have a better chance than the, than, True. than the eye. Than any, True. Other, any, other, any of them. Go. True. All of them, okay. all of them combined. True. But um, you know, actually, the, the, we need to think of introducing a slow motion in our, in our place. Because then the viewers are also thinking, so if we have slow motion replays somehow, then they're able to also judge and tell. Yes. So as we keep advancing, it's also something we need to think about. Everyone has been warned. Yes, exactly. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. 
In other words, DP, DP is the good card, DP. NUP is the bad one. Uh, uh, NUP is the no, bad, bad card. You no, don't, you don't no, even want to... NUP here? NUP, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When they show you NUP here, you're finished. You, you'd rather DP or NRM, NRM, but there's no NRM here. <laughs> we don't use yellow, we use green, we use DP. <laughs> No, no, no. It was it, the person who brought, blew that whistle was on error. This, there was no false start. But then that puts them on tension. No, puts them on more tension now, because now they're going to be quite cautious. But you see that for, they, they, you know there used to be the one start, one, one false start rule. And so what I would do, I come and I know you are always on tension. I come and disorganize the first one. I put a false start, and I know the next one yeah. you're going to be on tension and beat the guy. Okay. Is that ah. Rajab in the ah. middle of a court, a uh, sandwich between a court and. Uh, yeah, it looks like Rajab. Sandwich between a court and Pius. Or is it a Bhutto? It's a Bhutto. Okay, I think that's a very good one. So you have a Bhutto, a court, Pius. Okay, please help me and don't do it. <laughs> I mean, don't mess this guy's It's up. not Nalis who blows the whistle, it's Latigo who, 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 has the, who calls back. Mm, yes. See a Buto? Yes, miss that. Wow. Let's go! Yeah. So we have a coach and the Kenyan. Ah! Did you remember to stop? What were you trying? <laughs> He was timing, but somehow his, his eyes ended up following the runners. I was trying to see who's going to. <laughs> Adomi's legs were slow. I... Adomi's legs were slow. Yes, you know he has ever been in competition. For no, this, yeah, no, he's, it's, I think he's second or third competition of the season. Now, the thing is, it was the two Kenyans and Okot who took it. Um, the Kenyan took it. The Kenyan in the other lane, line two. Yes, the, the other lane. Then a court and then. Was, uh, silver medalist. But that was a good race. Oh, did you see Obuto? Obuto led them actually up to 60 meters. And then he kind of faded. He has that excellent start and. Uh, so you should work on finishing power. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Speed endurance sets. And, and I think. Uh, it's the fly. That's potato. Yeah, yeah the, 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 he, he, the, his maintenance. He decelerates yeah. very fast compared to. To the others. I like the way this boy has transitioned to the seniors. Uh, which boy? Aboda. Oh yeah, he's actually now, up there. Yeah, he's now competing in this. Yeah, he's he actually comes and competes. He's no longer like just putting him just for the sake. Yeah. I I, I would like to see his time um, now because last time he did a 10.85. So has he improved? And now it's 5,000 meters men. I think we are kind of in time today. Yeah, actually also big up to the competition director, Mr. Yeah. Kiwa Faustino. You see also with the live stream, everything has a positive knock-on effect. Because I was talking to him earlier in the, in the call room, and he was like, there's so many people do, who are now live streaming, and we also need to improve on the time lag. The time Before lag. we had a big time lag in our competitions, yeah. and you can really see his, his try to also reduce on that time lag, because you don't want the people watching online. To, he's actually over there in the white cap. You can probably zoom him in. 5,000, 12 and a half laps. Well done, I'll send you your time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Do, you want to, do you want to speak? Please come and speak to us. <laughs> what was the time? Okay. Yeah. Great. Actually, faster than the women's heat. Hmm? Faster than the women's yeah. heat. Yes. Pitiki. yes. Congratulations. You just won your hit. What does that make you feel like? Um, it feels it feels weird winning, but um, I enjoy it. It's fun. Okay. Because you led from from start to finish, there was no looking back, and yet you were in the on the extreme um, end. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't see anyone. So you chose to chase the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, so what's next? What do we expect? What more should we expect from PTK? Um, I'm looking to improve, just improve my times and be the best I can. Okay. 
That's a very good. Uh, so, do we see a hundred meters to a two hundred meters or four hundred? Because you seem to be a jack of all trades at the moment. Four hundred is my race. Four hundred is your race. So you're just working on the speed here. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Please go and have a rest. And good luck in your exam. Good, good luck. Oh yes, good luck in your exams. And the sky is the the sky is not the limit. He's the, he's his own limit. You are your own limit. Yeah. Comes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So actually, that's what we're talking about, parental support. He's in the middle of his exams, his senior four exams, but then his parents can his still friends. let him to come and compete. And come with him. Yes, come with him, come compete, with him, and then he goes. Now, our Ugandan parents, they, they will are beat. also Ugandan parents. Ah, okay. Leave. Okay. Those ones, they're not Ugandan parents. Let's just take them out, that, out of context that they're not Ugandan parents as of now. They would beat you. No, these ones are uh, national records. No, but them too. Yeah, we are just checking on them. Your average Ugandan parent would be saying, get back to your When you go back, they would beat you, then you'll be able to sit down or sleep. How do you waste time running? Why is it going to take you half to study? But we, like the dad said, it's all about balancing everything and being able. Okay, fine, you run a 1203. What, like, uh, 1203. But for him, as a 400 meter runner and as, a youth, uh, as an upcoming youth who hasn't really gotten the actual training he needs to do, that's actually quite good for him. Mm. Yeah, true. You know? True. For him, that's very good. And, and, and what that means is, if with the dedication he has and he continues progressing and he actually, because he's, he, he was still a bit young, you're not able to train him like a senior so now when he's 16 you start drilling him like a senior and you see massive drop um in time so th is this the 5000 men yeah we are going for the 5000 meters now Who do we know um, here we just say capture our village <laughs> <Captura group. laughs> Chip keeps so Chips. the person who is supposed to send me the the salary keeps delaying to who send me the update status. Who is the record uh, holder for the uh, Joshua Chepege? Joshua ah, Chepege oh, is the world record. Why, why, why so why are you ask? asking? Why do you even ask? Okay, anything to do five thousand, ten thousand. Don't ask. It's two people. So our Either Joshua Chepege, Oki Plimo, or Kipsiro. So our national record is also, also the world the record. record. Yes. Ah. Our national record in the 5,000 and 10,000 are, so are also the world records. What do you mean we are so mean? We, we, we have been, the only world record we ever held was the late John Akibwa, in the 110 meter hurdles, mm. who was among the first men to dip under 47. Mm -hmm. And he motivated the next crop of hurdlers. True. I discovered something Edwin Moses. Last, last time from him that Akibwa introduced the lap of honor. Yes. Yes. Introduced a lap of honor. Exactly. And he didn't know what he was doing, but from but the end on. Since then? We'll you know, do. sometimes you don't have to know what you're doing. You know? You know, sometimes things that come spontaneously are actually better than the things that we already know. So, anything to do with half marathon, 10,000, 5,000, two people. 3,000 is, 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 is who? Keep zero. So there are three people that we talk about when it comes you to three thousand. Keep zero still active. Uh, keep zero still active, but he's tried to to shift to the marathon, like Bekele. You know, the marathon is not an easy race. But actually, he hit the Olympic qualifying time. But yes, we had too many qualifiers, and uh, they have chosen three. I was, I was and, actually very happy. Uh, Yes, qualified. definitely. You know, yeah. D yes, unless if we're the defending champion. So if that had happened, the year Stephen Kiprotich, if that had happened at the Rio Olympics, we would have taken four people. Mm. Because then Kiprotich would have, uh, would have had uh, automatic, automatic qualifier. qualifier. That's why sometimes we find uh, Americans having four people in a race because they were the defending yes. champion. But that, uh, no, that happens only in world championships, not Olympics. Mm. Okay. Olympics, you still have strictly three. Let me add some more sugar in my body, please. Long jump, we still have a record since 1978. Uh, this guy is an Olympian, lives in the States. Fidel is in the Arachi. 
But this record is going soon. We have very many boys jumping, seven to, you know, around that area. This guy is in the States, he's a doctor. No, that triple jump record is gone. I don't know why it's not updated. That triple jump record was taken down by uh, Okot in the US. Okay. Yes, I don't know why that has not been updated, but he took down that record uh, for the triple jump. So that needs to be... Actually, some of our records are not updated. Do you know that I'm the 60-meter Indo um, record holder for Uganda? <coughs> it's true. <laughs> why is he choking? I have a 762, which is still the national record. Though it's not, it's not reflected. So you're talking to a legend. You're, 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 you're with a legend, so you should actually start. So you're you're huh? saying we're in the presence of greatness. You're in the presence of greatness. <laughs> Remember, you are national TV. Huh? So you're international TV. Huh? Uh, yeah, exactly. Why I need, I, I, I need to emphasize my greatness because you don't recognize it. And another presence of greatness, you're with Mr. Ganzi, who is an Olympian. Do you even know what it feels like to be in the Olympics, Mr. Francis? <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> From via TV. <laughs> no, I mean like live, live, live. <laughs> yeah, it's 5K. Those are vegan. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I know they also have a lot of pressure. I don't get the time. 5k, who do we know here? It will really be very hard on me to tell you who is leading. I do not know these people. Um, the pace doesn't look to be too tough, at least to my to my eye, it doesn't. Actually, for me, the field looks very junior-ish. Junior yes, I thought so. They look quite young, which is good. It means we have a pool to pick from. It shows we have a future. I like, I like the, the atmosphere of uh, long-distance running in Kapchora. Okay. I've, I've not been to Kapchora. I want to go to Kapchora. Like like you should. To do a training circuit with them, <laughs> then they bury me. Please, I'll, don't die I'll for that. It. It's something related, I would say, it's like a way of life. Yeah, All of a sudden, every young guy feels he should be... And this is the importance of having role models. At least for the last... Um, Two or so decades, they've the had enough. Did you know. In the time of. Uh, time of uh, Boniface Kiprov should be. Um, he should be the. He, that stadium should have been named. It should, the Don of Kiprov should have been named after Boniface Kiprov. Yeah, you know, the thing with Uganda is we, we recognize only when people perform, but Boniface Kiprov is responsible for the long distance where it is. Mm. He's a grandfather. He's their grandfather. They need to. They need. They, 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 they need to give that to him. Because after him, then everything. You see this guy at the back. That would be me, I think, <laughs> or was or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay, so the hundred meters. We don't have the wind ribbon yet, but um, the commentator. The commentator has said. The men have started moving as if they are not moving. No, the, the, the men are separated from the boys. I know. <laughs> but they said I've started moving. Okay, for the 100 meters, we had the 1049. Um, lane 7 actually won that. Yes, that's okay. Yes, and then Okot Benson with the 10 4, because lane 4, he equaled this PB. I mean, 1050, he equaled this PB again. Oh, um, Lane 7 won the race. Yes, lane 7 won the race. It, it was very close, that's why I told you, because a 10.49 and a 10.50 and a 10.57, that's a very... Uh... And then lane 6 had a 10.69, that was Pius. Yes, Pius with a 10.69, that's the seasonal best for him. You see exactly what we're talking about. So we have uh, Pius with a 10.69. Um, Emma, Emma, Emma had a 1080. You have a 1050 from Okot and a 1052 from from Tassis. What stops us from having a relay team at the Africa Championships? Mm. They are there. All of them are 10, below 107. What is stopping us from building up this relay team? You know.
that these two were good uh, juniors. Ah, I was wondering, I was just about to say, ah, uh, I don't think I think first time. So that means what is coming? Yes, you know, you know what is hotter than fire? What is hotter than fire? <laughs> okay, what is what is coming? That means by the time they separate them, eh? because if that run with the other ones, all these ones have been taken out because they would overlap them. The guy in the in the in the light field, if you could just turn to him, is he paralympic or he's just unfit? He's chilling. <laughs> you think running 5,000 is easy? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Next time you're running 5,000 meters, that's on the 22nd, eh? you're running 5,000 meters, let's see. If you'll even survive one the lap. The next trials at 22nd? Yes, they have actually adjusted the trials because um, there was a complaint. This was the last trial until June. And the Africa Senior, which was billed to happen on uh, 1st to 5th, this would have been the last chance for people to qualify. But then, then they were like, okay, where are people supposed to qualify again in between you know so then i think the federation reconsidered which is really good to see that they're listening to the views, the views and them. acting on them and that's the way to go yeah. you know uh, they have embraced the live streaming they have uh, adjusted on the timing in the call room so it's actually all positive so i hope they can also uh, uh, listen to the call for relays and um, put that we in. We are going to make black at Zohar. <laughs> we weren't really. Um, guns, do you, do you know anyone in police? We, we know Mr. Ngai Moko Ali. I think he can bail us out. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, and then we have Mr. Yamkama Godwin, even Mr. Kiyo Faustin himself, the police officer. So, I think we can we demonstrate. Yeah, we are very connected. So, we are definitely demonstrating, and no one is going to arrest us. You know? So. <laughs> So please, go make your placards. I think I should get kids, uh, I, I should uh, get my son to do for me placards and tell him this is your homework project. Do as many placards as you can. <laughs> we want really. We want really. <laughs> and then we should make recordings. Eh? And you know that music I was playing at the beginning of the stadium. Yes. Eh? Make it play. We want really. We want really the whole time. You know, you know, um, an athlete like, uh, like uh, Ali, I probably looks back at his career. He's coming to the end of his career. And exactly, and missed opportunities in the relay. Exactly, so many. This, that's exactly what I'm talking so about. Many. Missed opportunities in the relay. If you look at the, uh, hey, I'm forgetting his name. He has featured on every UK team. In fact, when he was there, there for the four by four. Yeah, he, he used to be in Sudan. So when we go to Sudan, we compete. He switched allegiance to to UK. He has been at Olympics, World Championship, World Relays. Why? Olympics. Yeah? I mean relays. Yes. He, he, he individually, he has a 45. But as a relay runner, actually right now, he's running 46 consistently. But he's on every relay team for, for Great Britain. You understand? So those are some of the missed opportunities for the likes of uh, Ngaimoko Ali. Even Opini. Yeah? Yeah, Ngaimoko yeah, Ali, yeah, Opini. Yeah. Uh, if, if you look at Dennis. Uh, appeal. All those are missed opportunities for these athletes to have excelled. Yes, of course, like our, definitely our 4x4 four four has de been given a bit more chance to compete internationally, but there's no point of taking these guys internationally if nationally they're not giving a, uh, getting enough competition. Then you know, really is a teamwork. They need to be working together, you know, for some time. And the thing about really is, uh, you know, you, you, yeah. you need... I was going to talk about that. Yeah. Actually, um, maybe just to switch, there is something that came up. Now, um, selection of the, real, of, the, of the marathon. We're talking about how we have many marathoners who qualified, including um, our own Kipsiro. Yes. Now, the Federation, uh, and with the marathon, you can run a marathon, you can't run another marathon in, in, until three months. So you can't have a trial for marathon, and there's actually controversy right now with Ethiopia, because Ethiopia, Bekele, is refusing to run in the in, the nas in, in their yeah, national in selection, national, yes. because he's like, it's too close towards the Olympics. I will not have enough time to, to recover. Why are you putting it now? So I think he refused to run. I think uh, there were some top runners who refused to run. But anyway, so the Federation had uh, Mutai, Solomon Mutai, and then you had Stephen Kiprotic. So Mutai was ahead of Kiprotic. But then they selected Kiprotic ahead, ahead of, of and I can completely understand why. This is someone who has brought you glory, who's a world champion and an Olympic champion. Yeah? 
even if it was me, I would have selected it. And that's why sometimes making a name is advantageous for you because your history can back you up because you have done it before and you can do it again. You know, so as we are working as athletes, we should really strive to um, to get there. And that is uh, his third straight Olympics, no? Uh, mm -hmm. Kiprotich, because he was at the London where he won for us the you know the gold medal. He went to Rio. He finished in the top 15 mm. in Rio, and then now he's going to Tokyo. But if, if you look back at his training now, he's actually much, he's performing much better than um, to, when he was heading towards uh, Rio. So you never know, he, there might be something, he might spring up a surprise, but okay, to be fair, to be fair, I don't expect a surprise with Kipchoge, but you never know, it's marathon, uh, anything can happen, but I would bill him for a medal. Let's just say, uh -huh. that's what I'm saying, the way he is now, he seems to, have, to be picking up his form when he won the, the 2012 Olympics. So you never know, he had injuries and all that and maybe he, might, he has overcome them and he's back to the Kipro teach we know. We will wait and see, but for me, my judgment is in trouble. Of course he's in trouble, lots of trouble. Uh, he, we know the machine from Kenya is going to try to run under two hours. We know it. I don't even need to enter his camp to know it. He wants to prove that they can run under two hours without... That's not protracted, you understand, as in open competition. See, last time, we ran it because there were scientific things. There was a lead car shining LED lights on the floor and was following the lights through. So someone can say he was being led on. But this is an open race. He wants to prove to the world that... And then there are these young boys, the Kitatas from Ethiopia, and all these other names you can forget, who are mean machines too, who are running way below two, 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 two hours each, which I don't think our man is, is. Even to make him run two or five, it's going to be quite a... Selected differently, but anyway. Yeah, it, running, but, hey, this guy is that, no, this guy is now that's the that's the that, that's the fire heat. That's why there's fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> the one getting, huh? hey, getting ready, you go there and you see how you'll be burnt. First lap, you're out. In fact, guys, actually, maybe you can try since there's another heat. Eh? Just go and run them one 400. 400 only, and see. Yeah, yeah, just be asking. <laughs> water, 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 glucose, yeah, glucose, water. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> when you're rolling on the floor, you're just saying, um, uh, and there'll be a lot. That is 12 laps to go. What do you mean 12 laps to go? I'm still going to What do you mean 12 laps to go? You guys are cheating me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, that would, that, that would be actually quite These things funny. things are easier to critique when you're not in the field. But when they put you there is when you know what hard work is. Yeah. Until you're in it, yeah. you cannot know what it feels like.
I know actually even with preparations, yeah? Right now, the Kenyans running here. So we have uh, Mr. Jo Geoffrey Kimani, who, who has been selected as the strength, uh, the, 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 the one who is coordinating the strength con program okay. of the entire team. Every time any Kenyan is running here, he is keen and following on their performance. Something we lack in Uganda, you know? Like, they, they know who their runners are, even if they're not close to qualifying, they're on the watch list, whereby they know, okay, for this year you've not qualified, for next year you are our target. And that, this is something also like, I think probably the Olympic Committee also needs to think about, like, assembling a team where we have a, a psychologist, uh, I, I saw the difference, they, they named like a medical commission and all that. The commissions are there, but they are not, they need to be out and visible. No, apart from you, I don't see someone who is the, like on the, on the medical team for the, for, for, for the Uganda Olympic uh, team. They should be here looking at the potentials and like, okay, you were close. What do you need to do? You know, the mental aspect in athletics plays a very big part, a very big part. And we really need... Uh, psychologists more into our sport to help our athletes because some of them in training they're amazing excellent outstanding yeah. Yeah. come to competition they freak out and they can't do it and yet if we if you have a psychologist who can get to them you could see maybe no 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 you know, feel like, ja, 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 ja. And no, 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 psychology, somebody who can actually, you know, talk you through and tell you these things are normal. Maybe you never know, we could have it from a 10-5 to a 10-1. Sure. But the other thing, we need to follow them That's exactly what I was saying. Like, I, apart from him, who has come here in the capacity of him having run as an athlete, a former 400 meter runner, he loves athletics. This is an Olympic year. We need to have the Uganda Olympic Committee visible here because athletics is our number one hope of the medal, followed by boxing. You understand? So boxing. Yes. The, the two sports we are sending, the, the, of all the teams we are sending, we are expecting medals from athletics and boxing. Two. Disciplines. disciplines. So these two disciplines, when they hold events, they have the, the visibility of the Athletic Federation, I mean of the Uganda Olympic Committee has to be visible. This one, no. Oh, someone looks like him. I will check on the start list. Someone looks like him. Walks like him. No, I don't think it's him. Where is this kid? Sam Kibet. Man, some of these kids, actually this is what we're talking about. Some of these Sam, kids... Remember, who is he? He ran very well for me in uh, Anoka Zone 5 in Rwanda. We went with him. He ran so well. He, who? Kib Kibet Oscar? Kib yes. There's a Kibet. He also ran in a cross country. And then There's a Kibet Oscar on the start list. But that's the thing with athletics. Actually, we were talking with Francis before. Um, to, main, to, to maintain relevance in athletics, it takes a lot of uh, dedication and hard work. Because yes, you might be good at something and maintaining it, even building up from youth towards uh, senior, it takes quite a bit. <laughs> okay, I think maybe what you need to understand, even for the long distance, even if they bend like that, it's already considered that you are in your yeah, starting yeah, position. But, but, but these ones were just going. Yes. They were just going. On your marks, and they were, they were running to take... Mr. Bijingo, I think he has crammed it that when, he, when you restart, you say stand up. So please, leave the, leave the old man alone. <laughs> <laughs> Our experienced uh, starter, Mr. Nalis Bijingo. I would love to see him start like maybe at Africa and all those uh, things. Do you have any stars in that? 
don't know. Well, we have um, Busindi David. Uh, the thing is, these guys have similar names. So you don't know whether, because I see Kibet Oscar. I don't know if it's the new Kibet Oscar or the old Kibet Oscar. <laughs> you know? So they have very similar names, but there's Kurong Moses. That one I definitely know. Uh, Kurong Moses, Rotich Maxwell. Uh, those are the names I, I recognize. There's Sherop, there's Sherop you know, Alex. You see a yellow guy in it? Yes. He has a stance of what Kibet I was talking about. There's a Chirop, that, yeah, there's a Chirop uh, Alex, uh, Chirop Sam, I've seen that name somewhere. But then I'm not even sure if it's the uh, actual I'm Chirop changing Sam. my name, I'm Ganzido. <laughs> it seems names no. bring long distance. You should, you should become Chep Gans. Yeah, Chep Gans. Yeah, Chep Gans would make yes. sense. <laughs> <laughs> there, there goes Jeb Gans. <laughs> or oh, Kip Gans. Uh, yeah, <laughs> one of them. Kip or Jeb. As you can hear, they are Chep Chep Chep. That is Kibet. That's me. So that's the, that, that's the original that's Kibet Oscar. Oscar. That's Kibet reading. I remember him. That in, in Rwanda from the beginning to, to the, the end. end. They thought they're going to catch him. But you see, his tribes are deceptive. When you look at his tribes, you can think he's slow. But then when you run with him, that's when you realize that he's fast. So his tribes are very deceptive. Compared to the others, you can see that tribes are fast. <laughs> in December, as you can see, <laughs> Ganzi, you'd be over there with the blue guy. Uh, uh, you'd be over there. No, actually, even not with this guy. You see the hundred meter start. That's why you'd be right now. <laughs> They'd be about to overlap you, and you'd be like, hey, hey, hey. You know, I'd be wanting now to cheat to, to cross over the bridge so that they they find me again. They find me again. Even when I cross the pitch. Yeah, we see your Tibet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the man is now ready. He's moved, because he has to move. I like the commentator, I like his... I know. The commentator, what did you call it? The potato grower's language, eh? Our commentator at the National Stadium I'm always uses potato grower's language, as Francis calls it. Yeah. Like, he, he uses absolutely zero... Yeah. Um, Vocabulary from athletics. Now he's saying he's fire fire. <laughs> this is a tight race. Because one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You have 22 people in the park. Yes. No. Oh no, they split up like. I think this one should have been put in the other heat. Yeah, they should have been put in the other heat. Because if you eat. Well, in Rwanda, we were together with Coach um, Asonia. I was a chef de so there was this joke between the. We were always joking with the Kibets. There is this song they like in Kaptura called Jubilee. I don't know what. There's a song which is well known in Kaptura called Jubilee. So, Coach Asonia used to always come in there. Hey, keep it jubilee! <laughs> so happy when you dance. Yeah, that's the thing about the coach. When you go as a coach, you actually need to know your athletes and be able to relate with them each individual. Mm. Uh, that is something we learn as team Uganda when we always travel. We have coaches who are like alien to us. They don't know us. They don't know what makes us happy. Like, and, and actually, that's why um, the one check the show I have appreciated with Bukis. When she went for Commonwealth, she endeavored 
to know every athlete in every sport and show her face for every competition, whether the athletes felt like, yes, actually, within Uganda, we have somebody who is supporting us. Previous games, you are shopping, the chef, you're, you're competing, the chef, the mister is uh, shopping. In case of Stephen Kiprotich, Stephen Kiprotich crossed, except the people from the Uganda Athletic Federation, there was no one from the Olympic Committee to cheer him on because they knew no one is winning. You know, how embarrassing is that? I've not been I've not been counting the laps. You get tired and not. He bet doesn't fear all speed. But you know sometimes when you when you overstep behind, not like that front park of about seven. If they lock you in there, you can't get out. So when you're at the front, you control the pace. They run at your pace. You determine how. If you're tired, you reduce the pace. If you if you've recovered, you can go faster. So you like literally control the race. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tibet, don't get tired. Tibet, don't get... Tibet is coming down. No, Tibet is resting. Did you see him signaling there? He signaled others to come and take over. I didn't see that. Yeah, he did. That's how they ran. So it's like, now it's your turn to do the work. I am resting. And then at another point, he'll come back. That's how it works. But then sometimes you may go back and stay there. Auntie, guys have night. Guys may have night. What do you want? My enzymes are... The body enzymes are arguing with you. They are arguing with me, seriously. You bring coffees in advance. <laughs> you bring yeah, coffees. Your budget doesn't include multiple ambulances and coffees. Don't fall so bad. Don't fall so bad. These guys are going to be scatter, man. Watching from Porto City, but I can view him here in the stadium. <laughs> he has been showing us some guys. Six They have five laps to go. Thank you for all. The but I'll try and respond to the comments as much as uh, as possible as we go along. Yes, the, Tony, this is definitely a Chebet contest as of now. It's uh, between the Chep. If you're not a Chep Chep, you're not in this contest. As you can see, the, the, the kid from Barara is already being uh, sent home packing. But with five laps to go, he might be left to finish. The rule here is uh, when you're overlapped before halfway mark, you have to, to leave. And uh, there's a, a rule with uh, long distance runners, though these ones you can clearly see they're amateur runners. When you're being overtaken, they're supposed to come into the inner lane, the outer lanes to allow the others to run, not stay in the lanes. Well, yes, they've started separating single file. So we have the times being posted as you watch. We can only post uh, maybe the, the top four, three or top five times. The results will be sent much later on. They'll be on the Uganda Athletic Federation website as well. So if you can be patient with us, you can get all the live results there. We are unable to coordinate the full results because we don't have the full start list, so we don't know who is who. And uh, the times, the way they come in, they don't come in automatically with the names because it's uh, people register and they don't show up. So then there's they, 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 a manual system of entering the results depending on who has shown up. So until we get to a level where people actually turn up for the when they have shown up and the hits are according to the way they are, we're not able to give you uh, the results as they come in.
So as, as of now, the program, um, after 5,000, we have the 1,500 meters and then the 200 meters. So we have two events to go. Towards the bell for the for the five for the five thousand meters. the stadium is amazed that um, the Ugandan is beating the Kenyan, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Just because you're Kenyan doesn't guarantee that you're going to win, even in France. Yes. I mean, we, 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 we hold the world record. You know? For, really. for both. So, he had better realize the Ugandan. So, we have the runner, um, Ali Chebet finishing up, celebrating. Um, I would love to see the time. It looks like it might be a fast time. shows you that um, the long distance running in Uganda is not going away anytime soon. No. It's kicked off and we are definitely probably going to become a powerhouse like Ethiopia and Kenya. Because, uh, for me, from the way I look at it, we're just talking about the chip, 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 this, chip, that, but for me, I think, like I said earlier, it's like a way of life up Kachora. So many young boys and girls are out there looking at, you know, Looking forward to becoming the next uh, people to becoming the next. And, and this is exactly what we're talking about, the role models. Yeah, in Captura, yeah. everyone, even including the the previous, they're all there in Captura. These people are able and to the, see yes. them. And that's why I was talking like sprinters, we lack that. All our role yes. models who have been there, have been there they've disappeared and they don't even want to be associated with, with the, sport. the sport. Yes, we do understand maybe there was something negative or whatever happened, but we, we, we really need you to be here. So, like, when I finish running and whatever, and I disappear off the face of the earth, people will be out talking, oh, you know, Melrod used to run, Melrod used to run. It's visible. Yeah, it's visible. I actually I remember the, the, the second, was it the second trial when I ran? There are certain girls I ran with, so she, they're in high school. So, their coach was like, um, I'm praying they can run 13. 
you know he was hoping they run 14 but because i ran with them they were so motivated they end up all running pbs and then later on they came the coach was like they're very happy they run with you they run pbs i'm not at my best but just my presence there presence. motivated them for pb for so definitely they probably heard about you in the past no they, they've seen me before they've, they've seen, seen me running so we need we need one we, we need our old role models who have been to olympics olympians and what to come be here uh, motivate people uh, you know encourage the the other sprinters just like the, the long and middle distance are doing you know exactly and and, and and that's the only way to grow our, our, our event. We can't be sitting and complaining and saying, oh, but sprints oh, are dying. Yes, what yes, have yes. you done is the question. You as you as a former sprinter or a, a someone who loves sprints, what have you done to promote the sprints? We can't sit and always bash the federation. We can bash the federation on certain things, but if we're not doing anything, we are, we are, we, we are as, as, as bad as the federation and, then. Okay. And ex exactly, how, how, how much is the federation expected to do? Please? The federation, is to, this job is to organize competitions and take care of the national team. Exactly. You know? The, 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 they are not going to, 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 to take care of... Oh. Um, and as we talk, um, I want to publicly acknowledge uh, Mildred is provided, I don't know whether it's breakfast or lunch, but it looks very yummy, looks very nice. To the whole body. Self-contained. Wow. Okay. It's boiled gonja and roasted chicken. If you're Ugandan, you definitely know what that means. It's like a delicacy, you have to... It's something you have on the road when you're traveling, you know? Going to Jinja, you know, Namawajolo and Madira are very famous for the roasted chicken and the roasted gonja. Gonja is plantain, just for those who miss, don't know what I gonja miss, is. I miss, I miss the, the, chick, the Madira chicken. The Madira chicken? The recipe is this. No, is there, wait. Is, is it chicken? That's the question. It's chicken. They say it's Carol. Nah, Carol is have no <laughs> Now, Mabira, actually, Mabira, we, we normally go for projects. So, we have a, someone who knows us, Mabira. We get out of the bus, go to, the, to, to him, I do that all and the time. then he roasts it, and then puts the paper in the chicken. I do that. You know? I do all the time. And then you enjoy it, and you're like, you feel like you're in heaven. For those who don't eat road, roadside food, I really feel sorry yeah, for you. You, you must, cannot relate, you, you know. You can't imagine what we're talking about. No, 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 they can't. They, they just have to... Um, Jemo. Assume. We are taking a commercial break to enjoy the chicken and gonja. I've already eaten this one. Mm -mm. Which one was I eating? Oh, this one. This yeah. one.
Okay, so the 5,000 meters, like we said, that was a very good race. We have. Yeah. Um, The top 10, all running 13. Wow. With um, the first one running in 1337. Uh, and then the second one in 1343. Up to the 10th, running in 1357. Wow, 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 wow. And um, if you look at Africa, uh, <laughs> qualifying time is 1412. So we have. Okay, so that means at 11, 12, 13, 14. Up to number 14, uh, they have well, all hit, hit the, the qualifying, qualifying time for Africa. Actually, number 16 missed by 0.61. Wow. That's the depth of the talent we have right now. In the yeah, this is exactly what I said. It's uh, becoming a way of life. Not just becoming. Just, it has become a way of life. Actually, have, like the you way just Kenya... Have to be, you have to be. You have to and it's You have to be long. If you don't run, then what do you do? Yes. And it's spreading um, from Kapchorwa coming down to Quen and all these areas. And I think it's a, it's a great, great, No, great, but they great, have great seen the success. They have and seen the success of the they, others. And the good thing, like you're saying, role models, these guys run, do whatever investments they have to do at home. No, but if you they look at um, Kipsiro, I think Kipsiro went back uh, when he won, when he was winning. He built a church for his community. He's, he has a different business in his group. Um, no yeah, actually, when you look at him, he's, he's actually an investor. He does large scale farming. You know? So he's employing lots of people. He's uh, he's doing things. He's done things that are literally life changing to in the community. So definitely, every little boy or little girl will want to be like that, and it's because of running. So I think I think you reach a point and you ask yourself, just yes, running. And then you when I got back to my home, but you see the problem. I grew up in the Lala district. My my father is from Lala district, so I get confused. Oh. I, 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 my, my father is from Nebu, so officially I'm an Alu, but I feel a Munyoro because that's where my whole life has been. You have grown up more. I have grown up and I've studied there, all my friends and whatever, I know him as Munyoro. So, and right now, actually, even our family, we've more of relocated, my, my elder brother and his family have relocated back to home. And that's where, like, we have, we're doing the farming and everything. So I feel more, I, 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 I'm, at, I'm in between. At the end of the day, if you see a Muzungu coming and putting up a community project here, and he or she has left their country, so what about you? Just a uh, simple, uh, simple <laughs> Nebi and uh, Bunyoro. Yeah? <laughs> nothing stops you from no, doing But I have an attachment to both. Exactly. And nothing stops you from proceeding back to Nebi. No, Every nothing. once in a while. No, of course nothing. Nebi we go for Christmas, mostly December. As a tradition that our father, late father started, so we follow it so up. So you follow it up, yeah. And, but, and 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 this is these are traditions that I think I, I really love. Uh, yes, we know Kampala kind of somehow swamped, collected us so much, and of course now many other districts. Nowadays, the jobs are everywhere. You you find yourself wherever, and I mean we all need to survive. Huh? So I think and I think such traditions bringing family together. To know each other. So the, my your question family, is, when I'm family, giving back to my community, do I first go to Nebu or I first go to Hoima? If you're giving back to your community. <laughs> because Hoima made me who I am. I am who I am because of Hoima. So that's your community. <laughs> you know, like primary that's school, your, Hoima your, public school, that's shout your out community. to anyone from Hoima public school. Nebu is your home. Uh, Nebu like, is your literally, home. Um, that's why I started my running from Hoima public school. Um, taking us for the national competitions and, and exactly. all that. So 
So when I'm giving back, I sometimes I'm like, okay, do I go to Hoima or do I go to Nebi? Because Nebi is like my home. And in Uganda, you are considered to be from where your parents are. Yes. Where you've grown up or the culture that has influenced you, they don't really consider it much, you know? And, and, and sometimes I think about it, I'm like, okay, so now... <laughs> Do you go anyway? Shout out to anyone in Hoima, Mwale, Mino, Mwale, Kumkuza, in the Mundu, in the Hanu, in the Hoima, Hoima Public School. Shout out to anyone from Hoima Public School. We do have a group, and um, we actually, my OB and OG, they're doing quite well. Um, I'm proud of that school of mine. Though the school is kind of, um, not the government school that really ignored, but I do wish that us as OBs and OGs of Hoima Public, we come up. This is exactly what we're talking about in athletics. Let's not wait for government to come up and do something. Let's come some up as uh, alumni and do something about uh, our government, prestigious government school. Government gets motivated to, 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 to give you a push. When you, uh, you know, like, it's easier, like for these uh, microfinance uh, loans and whatever the gift groups, they will not find you on the street and say, hey, you want a loan? No. No. They'll look for an organized group and say, ah, these guys look organized. Now, for you to get organized, it means you must start doing things on your own. You must have the zeal. You must have the drive in you. I want to do this. We want to do this. We want to succeed. Start it. Go on. Then government comes and says, okay, you guys are doing, oh, wow, great. So how can we help you? How can we, this is where we should. So what you're saying is, I should go to China. This the very, there are lots of circumstances, eh? You go to China, give them a plan and say, I want to stay there. Put for me one in Hoima, put for me one in Nebi. Then I've, I've done my job. I'm going back to both, to, to, to both communities that have shaped my life. Exactly. And then we, we, we start from there. So let's hit one of the 5,000 meters. 500 meters. And someone has gone off hard. <laughs> I can guarantee you he's not winning. 1,500 meters. 1,500? Yes. Well, uh, let's wait and see. I hope the next hit will be hotter. You know, the, the 1,500 has been a very contagious issue. The last, but then again, you know who, who, who has brought that motivation? My one and only Muna Baba, Mr. Msaga Ronald. Thank you very much for motivating these athletes. And we have a para athlete there who is trying to qualify and be with among among by the very qualified for the para. Um, he's the silver medalist from the Olympic Games. He's hoping to go one better, like he did in the World Championship with the, de the defending world champion in the yeah. one five. Let me come. Got it. And I'm pretty sure a monk might be running in the not, in the other heat. Oh no, he's a para, but he, he does finish among the top ten in the in, in, the, in, the, in the in the top heat. Which is interesting, and I think I like it that way. And I'm I'm, I'm glad that they give them the opportunity to to compete, you know, among uh, these non para athletes. But then, uh, of course, if they don't give them opportunity here, they can't co uh, compete because if you look at the para association here. The athletes are, okay, they are there, but um, I do not know what the problem is, if it's funds or lack of organization or whatever, but the, as the para committee itself, it organizes very, very few competitions. Because I also see another para um, right over there, uh, just think, going to cross I, the I, line. I, I want to straight away say, Mildred, I think it's a problem of, uh, of uh, organization, period. I don't think it's a problem of the athletes or anybody else. So the top three broke, broke, broke off and they have maintained it that way. Top five. Top five. Oh, yes. Simple, single line. Hey, but surprisingly, the one I said may not finish. It's still finishing. Well, anyway, this is it too. That's possible. Try to finish one.
with a very huge fan base, has decided to take matters in his own hands. He has decided. I can't believe it. I'm not certain if I want to bet that. <laughs> I thought you'd bet some money. You know, it's a weekend and I win some 20k and. <laughs> That's a very hard one, huh? But I think they'll have a decent time though from that. Because actually, the guy who started, he. Yeah, he started them off well. And, uh... Okay, so the time for the ladies was 4.27. Not very, very impressive. But at least it, it, you can see them. The, we, we have the para finishing there. The para athlete finishing. And uh, I mean, if, you, if, a, if a disabled person is finishing ahead of able bodied person, what does that tell you, Frank? One, he's good. Two, the other guys may not be good. <laughs> inability is not, disability, disability. isn't inability. Yeah. For me, that's what it tells me. So we shouldn't use the excuse of I'm disabled that I can't do this. So if you're able-bodied and you're just sleeping there in your bed wondering, oh, I, I want this fat to go on, they're not going to go away. Get up, go run, go do something about it. It's just not good. Stop skipping food, because what some people do, they're like, I will not eat lunch, I will not eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Yeah, when you are in a public facility like Nambole, at times you will find yourself having to chase uh, children. So there are children all over the place and uh, we don't know where they are from. No, but it's actually good to see them. There are definitely children from around the community. Yes. So you'll, before they use not to allow them, the state management will not allow any of those kids in. But allowing them in, even if they are roaming, you will find that in future, one or two one of or them two might be inspired in and like I like the way this person runs and they want to do it. You know, so I, even if they roam around and they might disturb and all that, but I, I, li I like that because th that's our future. Because I see a group of them seated over there, keenly watching, you know, and that's... So, best so meaning, if I were the announcer, I'd call them up. Hold a race for them. Like right now we're waiting. Yes, also like after that race. Call them up. Put them, boys, girls, because yeah. at that age, there's nothing. Run. Make them run. <laughs> and and because like last time, actually, um, Beatrice came, our general secretary, she came with a daughter. So my son was there. And they kept back, what, 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 run? Yeah, I saw that. They took them, no. they did about 60 meters. So I recorded that video. I went and showed, you know that I, I, I sent to some friends. So one of the, the classmates saw that like, I also want to go and run. So last, last trial, she specifically came to Nambole to also oh, run, wow. like Ibra. And that's how you, you inspire the next generation, you know? And I mean, this is Nambole. It's not, it's not uh, my job. Wall. I'll, I'll give you the green hair again. No, today his hair is not green. You see the one in the red? He's in red, yes. Yes, I, uh, he, he was he actually represented Sudan in the World Championship, so he's, I am pretty sure. He's Sudanese. Yes, yes, he's South Sudanese. Yes. I am pretty sure he's going to go for, for, for Olympics because there's no one South Sudan who has qualified yet. Yeah. He's their top uh, athlete. I am, I am glad that. I, I'm glad that attention in these trials has shifted to middle distance. In a way. And sprints. But especially the one fight, they, they have built some rivalry here. Why are, there's a, a cold war that has been growing. <laughs> you know, I beat you today, I, I wait for you the next time, I'll beat you. And then the climax of it all was, uh, 
Last try, Joshua was here, and Sagara was here. They both ran the one fight. If you didn't have goosebumps in your life, you should have watched the first. It was beautiful. I still talk about it. And for many people, we're watching Joshua on home soil. We've seen Joshua run, but on TV. Some of us have seen him run like even before he was, became the Joshua chief to gain. Yeah, so. I remember when we saw him in Colombo. <laughs> no, Colono. In Colono, Joshua had already made a name. Already, he, was already, yeah, he was already a world, world junior, junior champion. champion, champion. Yes. You know? Yes. So if you follow athletics, you would already know. He was, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I remember him telling me that uh, that guy is watch out for him. It was just an unfortunate incident for you Joshua. Know that, but you know, you know, you it's know actually that good it happened. Are actually running around yes, this so stadium. I was, I was about to tell you. So we are. The, the we time are yes. To run for the other side. Others are still there? Yeah. Yeah, they're they running around the whole stadium, literally. Yeah, so Joshua, Joshua was already a star by Kololo. And, um, I don't know what happened in that race, but no, it was just it, a... No, it's just, in, in athletics, anything happens. It's just it's like just, the way you run 100 meters and you're leading, you get a you know how much You know how much conspiracy theories we had where we were sitting? No, the, it's, 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 the, the problem we, is... We, we had... We, we, uh, the Kenyan guys had we heard the Kenyan guys had sprayed something on him. Uh, the, we had you, had, the problem so we have in Uganda so much is one. Talk. There is a lot of ignorance, including our own media. Thank you, media, for broadcasting us, but this is a fact. We need sport media training. So recently, actually, um, there was whatever that goes out. Shida was going to Zambia. Yes. I think I talked about this. The headline from our publicity secretary is Shida shuns nationals to go opt for Zambia. That was a very poor headline. Ask me why. Shida has gotten an opportunity invited to Zambia to be able to improve on her time. Because right now she's in the Olympics, but she has one leg in and one leg out. Her world ranking keeps dropping down. The last, before the trial started, she was at 35. Now she's at 40 something. You understand? Which they need 56 problem. people. Unless she runs a 51, 30, uh, 35 to guarantee to guarantee her spot in the Olympics by the end of the of the qualification which is end of June she might be out you understand so her being invited to go to Zambia was an opportunity that I headline think. should have been she get opportunity to represent Uganda just said headlines Nambole just and to light up Nambole. The, to me, the headline seemed like our national competitions here are useless. Useless to Shida. You know so that? she's chosen so now, to go there. What is side. going to happen to the people you're sending that out for a press release I who know. has no idea about, about, who will about just athletics? Who will just copy and paste. I know. You know? And I mean, coming from you, the, 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 the one in charge, who are they to dispute what you're writing? Exactly. So, because they believe that's, from, that's an in house thing. So, the, they will, the, your word is gospel truth. If you want to know what they call packaging of athletes, go to the UK. The UK, when they're going for the World Cup, they will have already won the, the World UK. Cup on paper. Both Britain. Even, even, even I see them when uh, during the athletics. Yeah. For them, they have a policy. So long as you finish in the semi-final, you make the semi-final, they have a local refund. You, they get put, I don't know if it's changed or not, but you get put on a local funding system because you made the semi-final. Now, our football, yeah. you see where the media is biased. It's yeah. not that they don't know, they are biased. Our football, they qualified just for Africa, yeah? Oh, they have qualified what? Joshua Cheptegei goes to the to, to Olympics, he finishes fourth. Joshua fails. Like, that excuse me. He is at the Olympics. He's in the top four. Do you top know what four. that means? That's the, that's we, the whole world. We only, we only made it to the next level. And there was praise and everything. Joshua goes to the Olympics. He finished fourth. And then you say he fails. Like, that is completely biased reporting. It has nothing to do with uh, training or anything. When, when, you, when you came out and said, if you weren't there for me then, you remember the, the media outside you got from Kololo, then you shouldn't do it. Exactly, because literally the media bashed him down sure. after that uh, Kololo the thing. Kololo. They bashed him down that sure. if Joshua wasn't mentally strong, he would, he would never have come back to run. Yes, and that's also where we need the psychologists. Sure. You understand? But I must I must single Joshua out. The guy, the guy is Superman indeed. The way 
is a claim uh, in world athletics is a superman. Because that psychological strength, yeah. it's not common, it's not something common. M many others would have, um, many other, but somehow he has a lot, he's very strong psychologically. He's very, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Don't just run but it was also a blessing in this guy's way. People believe in God, I know some people don't believe in God, but people believe in God, believe that everything happens. So Joshua, uh, having that episode in Kololo mm. has pushed him to even go to greater heights than probably what he had anticipated yes. for himself. Yes. So he wanted to prove everyone wrong, and that's that's why, like, of course, the cross country had to prove a point. Yes. And then with with COVID and him having the knee surgery and all that, yes. he now wanted to prove that, that I am. And, and now his target is to be the greatest, greater than Be Bekele, greater than Gabriel Slassi. Yeah. That is his target right now. Yeah. And of course, when he wins the Olympics, yes. yeah, fingers crossed, no jinx that he wins the Olympics. Yeah. If he wins the Olympics, he sealed his fate yeah, among the top. These fellows are trying to knock themselves. You understand? Because there's nothing else that he has not won. He's won the World Junior. He's won the Commonwealth. He's won the World Championship. He's won the World Cross Country. He has national records. All he's left with is Olympics. The Olympic, yes. And even if he just gets a medal in the Olympics, he will still be among the, among the great of the great. You understand? And he, he, he has the world record. Did he get a medal at the. Did, did he finish second yeah. at the World Half Marathon? Yes, World Half Marathon. So? That is the medal he was fourth. Was it second or fourth? No, he, he, okay, he didn't get a medal, he was fourth, but still. That is. Uh, Mayok, Mayok is not. Is not in the, is number five. Uh, like, you know sometimes you run and the body refuses to respond? Maybe that's what has happened. So it's a four, apparently it's a four-man race. It's uh, it's anybody's race. It's still anybody's race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it looks like it's a three-man race now. Now a three-man race. And then a two-man race. There are many Kenyans. Yeah, Kenya is in a lockdown right now. They're not yeah, going to be okay. I, 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 I saw in the media that um, the, federation, the federation allowed them to... Yes. This man is a para-athlete. Para, para you can see. They weren't sitting on the grass. Yes, and that's the other thing with like, you know, most, most viewers who, who will view and they're like, oh, this one came last. Now, someone in this heat who came last. Actually, I'll, I'll wait and compare the time. Someone in this heat who, came, who might have come last, except for the para, who might be faster. Than the... So, for example, if you look at the other heat, yes. we had the top the 16, yeah. top 15. In, or in, 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 in Africa times, in the 5,000 meters. Top 10, meters. all in 13. Wow. You understand? Now, the other heat, the, fa the, the first heat, the winner was the 14, 12, 25. So literally, you if mean I... The, 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 the winner in the, second, in, the, in, the first, in the first heat would have finished number, what, number 14? <laughs> number 14 in this, <laughs> in the other race. In the, in the, yeah, in the 5,000 meters. No, would have finished number 18. Number and, 18? Yes. Yeah. And yet, wow. Because after and number 18 was a 14, 23, 14. He would have finished number 18 if he had run in heat one. <laughs> so sometimes, most of the times, uh, for people who don't know like yeah, how they know. hit the heat and all that, yes, you're like, but you, you were last. The other person won their heat. Yes. No. no. It's not about the winning. It's about the time, the time you post. And it's only no. when you're... When you're going to do championship athletics? Uh, 
in championships, then it's, it's, a, it's a position that matter. Yeah. And then times matter for the best losers. Yeah. Because yeah. you run your heat, they're taking maybe top three yeah. in every heat and things like that. So uh, Times also matter. Yeah, but not so much when you're qualifying for the semi-finals and all. But anyway. Hey, you, what you, I talk about? Semi-finals. Yeah. Semi-finals. The, actually, if, if, you, if you follow um, athletics, Every yes, semi-final, yeah? If you look at most of the times, the times in the semi-final are better than any time in the final. Most of the time, not all no, the time. No, I'm times. saying, when we qualify for the Olympics, and we're in so many hits, then we have to qualify from our hits to the, semis. to the semis, to the final, okay. depending on how Basically, we with the hits, so, it's, a, it's a bit easier. How is, they put like, depending on how many hits are there. Most of the times it's top two. Yeah. 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 Take you. Are they the fastest losers? So now, uh, my, in sprints, my, my, my take is this is where the positions. Yes, are, their position. Takes, now, uh, take, in, yeah, in, in fine, in semis, again, yeah. There are moments when they need to take the best loser. Yes, that one is there. That is when they look at your the time. times. Yes. You know. But now in semis, for example, let's take the sprints. All the sprints always have three hits. Yeah, in the semis. <laughs> Three hits, do you know how many people they need? Eight. How many people are running? Uh, eight times three is 24, no? Yes. Yes. Out of 24, they need eight. You know how, how cruel that is? <laughs> that means automatically top two. You either blast. Automatically top two. Or you out. So sometimes you may find that you are number three in your heat, but you can't make it. Yeah. Why? Because number five in the other heat has a better time than you. So sometimes when you're running, you also have to think of running smart. No, for, 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 for sprinters, it's a bit, <coughs> I don't want to say unfair, but it's, 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 it's like, it's dictated. It's, it's, it's dictated, period. You go knowing. You go knowing. And you, 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 from the word go, I mean, it's your speed. And period. that's why people are always no, under so much pressure. You see the there's no saying, there's no, there's no saying I'll rest from here to here, then I'll... No. Rest where? Rest where? In the 100 meters, where are you going to rest? <laughs> so you have to blast from the word go. And we've seen this. There is this tendency for, for athletes to tend to relax, like especially the star athletes, you know? He runs, gives you, a, and then he's literally wants to jog the last yeah. um, No, in the hits, they seen, do that. Yeah, they do that. But I've you, seen, do you know why they do that in the hits? It's because they know the same is going to be fire. Yeah, yeah but also, I have seen, I have seen a scenario when um, person gay in the US, at one of the US trials, Tyson Gay literally missed out on qualification for the next because he gave, gave them a range and then he assumed they were walking probably. Then he slowed down too much. And then these guys are like, that, you know, they, were, they are fighting because of that. Seemed like, uh, and so, like, when he slowed down, two guys who are running neck to neck. So, and you know when you then you have to be the first when you're in, when you're in lane two and these guys are in probably lane seven and eight uh -huh. you, you can't see them you can't see them so you just see the others you, you, you just, so he was just chilling <laughs> and then he's you chill at the same line and he had to wait to see if he's but that same line was the same ball style no no the same ball to make sure he's clear <laughs> and then the other person who narrowly missed being ejected one day also was uh, uh, the other Jamaican. Joan. Black. Yeah, he also did. He, did, he does that and he, he forgets that his range is not like, you know, it's not that convincing. You know, but you know, you must play really safe. There's something written that. about your talent. There are people who come out and the exceptional talent, like the same Bolt. The same Bolt will run with you and he's running so fast that he maintains his float yeah? yeah yeah so for you you will look at him and think he has slowed down no he's not slowed down one bit he's, he's he's able to maintain his uh can i have a copy do you guys want okay, now here stand up is applicable <laughs> the 200 meters and the uh, the, the national records in the 200 meters still belongs to Justin Baiga? No, no, no. Up to now? 
the national record is uh, I, Shida Lenia. Shida Lenia. Shida Lenia. Shida Lenia. I, I have the broke, race actually, the, I, I recorded the race. Broke the record. Justin Biden. Yes. Shida Lenia has the record. And she also broke her 400 meter record. Actually, officially, Justin Biden doesn't have a record right now. Though the, the 100 meters. The one, have no win. If you follow the IS, the World Athletics rules, it's not recognized. You understand? Oh. Yeah. It cannot stand as a record if it has no wind written. That's why you see Mr. Mawere sitting over there, you soon see him um, when the camera zooms in. He has to take the wind reading. Legally, if the wind reading is minor, uh, above 0.20, that time is not recognized. Yes. Let me tell you something about this, uh, about this uh, athletes mm. in the potato growers language. <laughs> when you see these guys on track, mm. they actually look big. Yeah, look when you actually big. get close to them, they look very small. They are tiny. Yeah. Really tiny. Even the guy you see running 100 meters that is like a kanyama like Mm. Get close, to, get close him. to him, he's actually a very tiny guy. The, the, the screen, the, the way the screen also makes us bigger. Not easy. I don't know what it, I felt it. But they're somewhat big, that's really They're somewhat big. The Kenyan guy who ran, who did a solo run here last... Otieno. Moenga. His name was is Moenga. Moenga who? Which event? 100 meters. He ran... He not ran, No, not Not this, not this year. The, I think it was 2019. He ran and his Mwai. starter... Mwai. His, his, his starter had a... Mwai. A problem. Oh! A problem. So Actually, he, it he was... Re, uh, he had to rerun alone. He's actually coming on the 6th. He's coming? Yeah. Oh. He's coming to run... Uh, Moenga. On the 6th. I edited it for him. I edited the run. I sent it to, posted it to him and... Uh, you want to look so bad. He's a nice guy. Now Moenga is the, my typical example of a guy who looked really mad on the track. When Moenga came up there, because I called him, like, hey man, come and see yourself. And then he was this small guy, and he was talking like, he was talking like a very, you know, this, um, this child, and I'm like, okay, the guy looked fierce. And now he's looking, uh, da. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. Like on, when, when you see them on TV, and also with the speed uh, uh, they are putting. On, the, on TV, and you know, and then they, when they bring a slow motion, and then you look at all the, the muscles. muscles yeah. and the, woo! Train these girls how to use blocks, huh? But that's when the job of the coach. So this girl running, yes, she has won in about 26. But if I was her coach, I would not train her for as a 200 meter run. Take her for a long I'll take her for 800. And they made, but because her natural stripes. She, she has the stripes. Actually, I thought I was going, I thought I, okay, so you also have the eye of the eagle, like me. I am a coach. You think I would become a national coach without that eye? I watch a man <laughs> coach. In fact, international coach. <laughs> Because I saw her, you know, my, in my potato blower's language, you look at the, there are some athletes you see on track that seem to be very effortless. And yet the guys that seem to be very... No, she is effortless. Like, so that, that, like that, that, you see that like she's... And yet the, 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 the second girl was like... Her Dokoraj really, is actually a sprinter. She plays for 100, 200. Exactly, so she's uh, really pushing. And this one is simply just... Now, like, her... That one, that's, what, that, that, that's what shows you some of those generational talented athletes we say. That, is, that could be her. And, and with a, I mean, I didn't guess her when she was running. 
Annette would actually come and mix 2.400. That's an 800 meter runner. Yes, if Annette went on that start line, yeah. mm. she's winning it. 400 meters. You know, yes, when she went and won that bronze in the World uh, Juniors, juniors she, she was winning, she was running here 53, 400. Do you understand? So you, you cannot look, even Halima. Halima comes on the start line in 400 even now, she's in the top five, same as winning. So most of the time, talented athletes will still be able to come down. I mean, Joshua kept again. He ran a 338. Do you know what running a 338 is? <laughs> you know what it means to run a 338 in one fight? I think in Uganda, we only have Musagala who has dipped that or under that time. No one else, apart from Joshua. Joshua. Which Musagala <laughs> took over that dress like it's a department? <laughs> He owns it. 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 He owns yeah. Well, something else. <laughs> she, like, everyone at that day ran, you know? And, and, and so, like, even with Musagala, definitely he owns it, but as more people come up, yeah. it's going, going, he, 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 he will have to start running. Encroached. He will have to start it's running for his, yes, you know? He will have to start running for his life, you know? Yes. People are making a step for you, you know? And you know, the thing about being at the top is, it's like running the, in the last lane, eh? You don't see anybody in front of you. So everyone is working towards you. Exactly, yes. you're the target. So being at the top is one thing, but staying at the top is another. Yes, and you have to give respect for people who stay at the top. Exactly. Is this the final hit? No, we have another we hit. We have another hit, the hot um, We have Jacent, Banura, Achen, Apio. So we should clearly, um, and I think Emil is also in that heat. <laughs> and this heat is actually just for you. Yeah. These, are the, these are the next um, talents. That's a joke, Joyce. And then across Kozia. Remember I told you, across Karuma, we are danger see. That we, see, 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 see. <laughs> All that is the next talent coming. Across Karuma. Actually, most, I think more reason for putting up the thing in Nebi. Because hmm? <laughs> <laughs> when I go to China, I should talk to these guys and we go to Nebi. Then it's easy to pull these Gulu people, Arua people. Yeah, but, it's, but it's a fact. Look at Shida Lane. She's from West Nile. Mm -hmm. Nelonga Imoko Ali. West Nile. Okot Benson. Do you know, it's not, it's not even like uh, if you look at the throws, you have Lalam Joyce, where is she from? Abel Lucy, uh, the late Justin Aro. Uh, like, you, it, 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 it's very clear. Of course, but you Nelo, know, like, um, if there is not much follow up and investment yes. and facilities. Uh, yeah. Gets the edge because, uh, because of the availability, availability. of uh, facilities uh, and follow up. You are at the mouth, you are at the, you are the, you are the source. Of the source. Right up there, look at Netflix. Peace. Peace. Yeah, across the Nile. You know? Across the Nile. That was. <laughs> Definitely. And for me, one one thing I one thing I want to do. Eh 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 oh 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 yeah. In a Toronto. And then that's what baffles me. When you come to the national football team, yes, they are nowhere to be seen. And you're like, is that politics and selection? Mm, politics, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say politics. Is it they're not in talented in enough in football? In football, I don't want to. Talent, yeah. Yeah, but. No, I mean, I look at the five stars. Where they come from? Onduparaka. Where have they come from? You see my problem with those teams, eh? 
you find they have Ondu Baraka will have Sekaju of Yard. No, the, 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 no, they but have, they have that's just my problem. no. Be, do you know why they're doing that now? Because they're now in the national league. Yeah, and it's professionalized. No, 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 no. Ondu but, Baraka came when they first broke into the national league. Whole, they had a whole a whole team of, team of Arua boys. Oh, yeah, Adi, that's that's my point. You see, it's and the, first, what you're saying the now is is now is a bit. Anyway. So, you, you know, actually, that, with that we can also shoot ourselves in the foot. It's like saying the English Premier League should only have English players. Yeah. Once you go professional, yes, you cannot you control have that. Diversify. You have to diversify and open it yeah. up. Yeah. Like, this is the last hit. For the women. For the women. So we have uh, Oroma Emanuela, Katshawe Jafinta, Cheka Christine, Banura Maureen, um, Edena, Nanziri, Achen, Apol Apolot, Apio. Yes, and will not run. I think she. I think she had chosen only to run a hundred today. So I think I saw her. I saw her name only there. <laughs> it's a big shame, Jason, to not here. So um, I'm billing Banura. Let me show. That's uh, a peer and a chain. What? A peer and a chain. They're twins. Actually, because uh, you see them, you see them standing there right? in yeah, yellow. Exactly. Yes, they're twins. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just take. So that's a chain. The one who, who, who won, and then a peer is the one sitting here. Yes. So you see the color of the spikes also work. The neon spikes. <laughs> you see, I wish, like, I, or like we were talking in the morning, I wish and pray and hope we can have, we can have Nambolis everywhere. We start with every region. So we, we, we have uh, um, we have five regions. So we have central. We don't leave this one. We need a, a central region stadium. Then we have a western region stadium. Yes. We have a eastern region stadium. Then we have a northern region stadium. Then we have west Nile stadium. No, first we get there for the main region, which are five. And then now we start thinking of northwest. Is it west west? Oh, yeah. You see, one of the best things that FIFA ever did was to come out with um, the idea of the FUFA drum, the FUFA drum, yes. football tournament, which literally brings together the, region. the regions, our ancestries. And you look at the passion with which people fill the students with. You know, it's, it's, it's like a public holiday, it's like a, a national celebration declared. Uh, Lang team going to play against uh, a jolly team and then, boy, it's party after party after party after party. Now imagine we're having such kind of, um, you know, runs, and we have, you know. Uh, we have a 40, okay, let me say 20,000 uh, 20, seater stadium. Even if it's not as big as this, get, but with, yes. a, with a running. But actually uh, for me, I would, I would, I would, I would uh, build the National Council of Sports for this. Reason Thank being, you. now what we're talking exactly, about is exactly multiple sports. Yes. When you construct a stadium like this, exactly. it can host automatically three sports. Three sports. Athletics, football, football, football rugby. rugby. The only thing is when they're making it, because I, I know rugby tried to come here, but this, the way it was measured, it was strictly measured for football. So now when they're measuring it and putting the truck, they can slightly make it increase wider. it, yeah. make it slightly wider to fit rugby. So in the five regions we're talking about, the National Council sports what they need to put in their strategic plan or in their immediate plan. They shouldn't say government, government. They are charged with developing sports as the National Council sports. So we get the three federations we're talking about to come together. 
In that we are not three federations. We can get all federations. We construct something similar to Nambole, where we even include basketball. We have now basketball outside of the, of the stadium. Yeah? So you have basketball, football, rugby, athletics. Yeah? For the, for, for, for the start. And we go to oh, these regions, National Council Sports ensures that they work with the regions as well to mobilize some funds, not for them to fund it on their own. Mobilize some funds, but the bulk funding comes from National Council of Sports exactly. with the monitoring, and then we won't even have the issue of, of, of the World Cup being thought of being played being outside played of outside Uganda, Uganda because the National Council of Sports has have these stadiums mm. in the whatever. And in such cases, we can even host the Africa Cup of Nations in the different five regions, you know? We just need to make sure we improve on our transportation. Yeah, and allow, allow me to, 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 to welcome and acknowledge the arrival of, uh, of a, a former sprinter. <laughs> the ones we were talking uh, about. Who has come alone when I told you to come with uh, Joel or Tim? <laughs> you are most welcome, Mr. Joel is coming. He's coming? Yeah. You are most welcome uh, to the broadcast table. Yes, yes. If you can pass here and uh, yeah. that, that, that seat is clean. We have been talking about <laughs> it's, it's, it's bad, it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. Um, uh, um, you might hear the, the manager about his million things. No, but leave, leave the manager. Me what baffles me actually. Out of athletics. Okay? Our MPs. If there's anyone who can get this message to our MPs, I'm very sorry, they're very selfish. You are taxing me. Who earns one million? You're adding a hundred tax, a shilling tax on the little money I'm earning, which has to pay rent, school fees, food. Fuel, everything which is increasing. You have refused to tax your income. Yeah? Wait. You refuse to pay income tax on your income. I'm earning one million, I'm paying in income tax. You're getting allowances. We're paying for your fuel, for your cars. And then you have the audacity yeah, to sit down and say, we need to increase the income tax base. But you forgetting yourself oh, that no. if we tax yes. you, 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 you. Where the loan can cover about It can cover everything. Yes. But you are looking at removing any tiny thing we all have, but you forgetting you're, you're sitting on the biggest share. You're telling us government needs to borrow. Why do we need to borrow when we can tax you? Why don't we cut the, the, the salary? You, 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 you say yourself from exactly. Yeah. You say you're giving us a service. You're not giving us a. Service. You're a burden to us. I'm sorry to say, MPs yeah. are a burden to us. They are not doing us any service. Your job is to pass laws. And me personally, my personal view, each district needs to have one MP. No woman MP because no woman. the women MP have done absolutely nothing for us. Yeah. They have not. They, 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 as a woman, I'm speaking as a woman. They have done absolutely nothing for us. Yeah. We, ha we have the divorce bill that has been sitting there forever and uh, this whole we, it, this we should have one MP and that is it their salary cut by 80% they should earn like everybody else and then when they're in our shoes being taxed and everything they'll make better laws ladies and gentlemen watching thank you very much for watching our stream um, we in our midst now is a gentleman called Francis Omo, a former athlete, they are not clear. a former... A former quarter miler. You are not welcome, Francis. Thank you, thank you. You are welcome to Mambole. Thank you again. So Francis is now a rally driver. After running with his feet and the feet got tired, he decided to start running with the... The feet could not carry him as fast as he wanted to go. So he was like, let me get something that can carry me very fast. So, <laughs> so now, yes, now he, he runs using, other, using tires. Um, but good to, good to have you here, good to have you in Ambole. Yeah, thank you. Where yes. have you been? This is the gallery. I've been, I've been around. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. been around. Around where? We don't see you. Around the country. <laughs> Covid has uh, put people in corners, mm. so it is not no more association around you. We have not seen you uh, come to watch athletics in a long time. Until we called him today. 
No, I usually Until follow. Until we push, push into the wall. You know, the, the challenge with athletics has kind of... Can I say the motivation has died? Because for us, those days, eh, in our school days, before, sports day was an Olympic day for us. <laughs> it was a do and die. Now when it comes to the national trials here, it was also another do and die. Mm. In the university games, you see, I had Kamoga take two million shillings for his, his record. For his record. That's the record which is very That's easy to break. That's about 30 years. Yeah, it's very easy to break. Which record is easy to break? 400 meters. No, 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 no. It's With all easy. due respect, running a 44 you. point, an early 44 is a world-class time, so no, I no, disagree. It is not an easy you. record to if take down. Let me tell you. Then it can be broken. No, it, let it me can tell be you. broken, but Madam. we shouldn't say it's an easy record to break. It's a very easy record no. to break. Let me it tell is you not why. One, why do you say it's an easy record to break? The, the record of Kamoga can be easily broken if sports is taken back to the schools. Proper institutionalization of sports. We, we, we. But sports is there in the schools. No, it is not there. It is. You see, the, the challenge we have, probably you weren't here in this discussion, the challenge we have is former athletes like you coming to motivate us. You understand? That's, and that's what we're talking about. It's not that the potential is not there. The potential is there. But then we need people who have been there and done it to come and help us. You, oh. you shifted from athletics onto another sport. You understand? But it's still sports. Yes, it is still sports, but then you can't come and say, this is very easy to break. What have you, as you... No, let me... No, because for me, that's something I'm just asking. You, as you, who, who thinks that record is easy to break, how have you helped for that record to be broken? Let me, let me give you an example of the great javelin thrower. I don't know if you met Justin Aro. Yes, we even talked about uh -huh. him here earlier. Now, the times of Justin Aro, the Federation used to support. Hmm? I think the Federation knew all the days when there were sports days in these schools. And by the, that's how I also got motivated into, into running the 400 meter. When the likes of, of Asonia, Kamoga, uh, there was Bitoga, and uh, they had just come back from the All-African Games. So they came to, to school on our sports day. And there was a program highlighted for them, you know, to, to give the highlight of competition of the day. And I remember Joel himself. We ran together with the Joel in the field. By the time we got the pattern, I think Joel was somewhere at the extreme of the field. He, that was the kind of motivation we need to give to these young people. And you know, sports from the government side, what has government done to motivate these athletes? It is not there anymore. That's you why see, it was the, saying. The stadium is here. Uh, for us, we hire. We, we hire. We only pay about. We pay about three to five million shillings to Nambole to hold our 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 national stadium. about being big, oh. I think for him it's big. Uh, in terms of size? Yeah, like if you look at his size, yeah. he's good. He's not he as small as... Uh, he needs to just be toned down. Eh? He can run, but I think he's running. <laughs> you know the thing with running, different athletes have different running styles and, and uh, different things work for different people. So we, we, we can't use the same yardstick to judge. I'll give you an example of... Um, the Kenyan uh, 800 meters one, Rotich. Uh, Maxwell. Maxwell, yes. Rotich. His running skill style is such that he looks like he's Some convection. Oh, uh, yeah. He looks like he's joking, eh? And the way he... I always look at him and ask myself, why can this guy not... Even Chelyot. One time. He, yes, Chelyot. He's uh, bending forward. <laughs> Oh, well, the girl who won the... Uh, the 200, the, the first hit. No, no, no. Who won the the 5,000 meters? She beat Marceline. I didn't watch the 5,000. her hand 
Hmm. Looked like she was a dis. She was a, disabled. Eh? Yes. Yeah. She looked like a, no, I, she looked like a para 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 athlete. Para athlete. Yeah. Yeah, para athlete. But so that was just her. Her her running style. But you yes. sorry, you see how Michael Johnson used to run the phone. No, even Kirani, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kirani James, when he runs, actually when you watch his slow motion, his, his outer his, leg kind yes, of, there's a funny like, way yes, if he runs. Is, in fact, if you if he's very close to you, you can easily kick yeah, you. Yeah. The, yeah. So at, at the end of the day, different people were made differently, and it's up uh, to you, the coach, to uh, to model that person. And not necessarily him. model him. Yes. You have to. There's, there are certain things you can't change about someone, and you have to find ways of working around. Working, working around. Because um, Kirani James have world class coaches. Let, it's let, not like let, they're let, not let, trying let to change. Let them know what they have. Yes. What they are, because the coach, you are the mirror. You're yep. Like the, you're, the, you're the mirror, and. Uh, because some people don't don't actually know themselves until they see themselves on TV. No, it's just like even sprinters. There's a belief that um, you have to be a certain weight. And then there's a seminar I attended. They say like, look, you don't have to put your sprinter under pressure to tone down to a certain weight. If your sprinter is heavy, that means they have to in the gym. They have to be lifting heavy. They they have to be much stronger than someone who is smaller. Who is smaller. Yeah, because to be able to carry, to that, carry that weight, weight they need a lot need more a lot power to explode. So it's all about understanding that mentality. And I think also the challenge we have here is we are used to a certain narrative. Yeah, so I think Tass has had this because he, when he came, he was still young, growing, so he was lanky. So people advised him to order to go to middle distance. But Tass is one of our best sprinters now. So as coaches, we need to be very careful what we say to. To, yeah, to, 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 yes, on, and right now even the, the thing is changing. Sprinters are no longer bulky. That, look at Shida. That, yeah, they're no longer that uh, Look, bulky. Look at Alson yes. Felix. You yes. know, they're no longer bulky. So as coaches, we need to be very careful what we say to our athletes, and uh, especially the upcoming athletes, uh, especially with body. People are very, very conscious about how their bodies are and, and everything. Okay, hit two. Unfortunately, we don't have start lists. Um, the correct start lists. We. Uh... Is this era Mugisha still the? Huh? No, that's not the speaking. I think they also need to start using season times to group people where like the seeding is not so... Of course, definitely the last hit you can clearly see there's an effort to bring the best together. But these other hits, sometimes there's so much variation. Francois, if you check on the, on the IF calendar, our UAF calendar, hmm? yeah. the, the kind of competition they used to have, maybe because of COVID, now it's no longer held. Eh? What do you mean? You know, they we used to have those the, before the season, like the trials. They used to have many. They've had. This many, is the many, this many, is the fifth this, time we're here. The, no, be, before this one comes, they had. They used to have a lot of those other. We used to go to Kaveka, Lira. Where, those ones where, are there. Those are regional competitions. Yeah, they are coming up yeah, yeah, next coming in up. May. They are coming up. Covid disorganized things. Yeah, but, I know. But they are there. So the, the regional only, competitions the only, are still there. The only uh, comes and you know. And also the financial boost for these people. So Me, the only thing I wish to push the, 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 the federation to do is to either get more sponsors on board or um, engage MTN a little more. Because I've been in I've been in touch with um, somebody that is uh, well placed in in uh, MTN. Mm -hmm their department of marketing, I think. Yes. And what she indicated to me was that she thinks there is very minimal push from, the from our side. Because I was talking to her as someone from the from, yeah, from athletics fraternity. And then she said, but I think you guys have not utilized Oof. yourselves. No, that they are not. I asked her how. I said, you know, you have all these champions, you have these things. You you only come to light. You come. You come to light when these guys are competing, win a gold medal, 
Then call the police. You have you have, you, have, you, you, you have the entire country at the airport. You have a lot of hula balooing. You have parliamentarians. You have everybody talking. No, let's have okay. a fact. Our so, marketing so, department in the U.S. is dead, and it needs a revamp. Our uh, marketing department, our PRO department. If anyone is getting offended, apologies, but these are facts, and, and they she, need to be and pointed and out. And, and then, uh, the thing many is, they should hire professionals. Yes, marketing. they need to hire a marketing so professional to bra to, to rebrand. You just give him the brand. Yes, just like Fufa has done. Okay. Just like Fufa has done, yes. Fufa rebranded. Here comes another bit. And the para is in the lead. Oh, is a para is a para athlete. A para athlete is in the lead. <laughs> you know? I am pretty sure I, even if he comes, whatever person is coming. He's likely to qualify for the para for the para. And he's very likely he might qualify for the para. Unfortunately we don't have the para time. Watching the para athlete. Who won the race? The guy there. In the red the one was on lane one. From lane one. Okay, so James, you were saying. No, I was saying, Francis. Yes, I was wondering when since when did I can become James? Oh well. You so look like I'll a James. Be, oh, yeah, right. So my, my my take would be I would love to attach cash prizes here. An MTN can can. They can. The amount of money they spend no, on some of the things out of, there. Yeah, very, no, attacks, attacks, you give targets. Federation gives some targets. Attack, if, 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 if I know I run, if I run a time of ABCD, I have, I have two million shillings to take home with. Yeah, you can do this run progressive. Trust me. You can have a Records progressive will, time chart, yeah. Records will fall here Definitely. on a daily. Put yeah. up something like every time you register a PB, you call it, you yeah, get you this. Every time you register. Yeah, like, get, the get, there are so many parameters. And actually, MTN, it doesn't even have to be money. MTN is the main sponsor. So there kind of that kind shares. of locks uh, out uh, other sponsors. But we can still use MTN. They have shares. so many things they, they, they can, can give out, out non-cash prizes. And I know corporate companies love giving out non-cash prizes because it, 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 there is more visibility for them, you know? And so, if we went and renegotiated, and actually when we are renegotiating these contracts, we need a better negotiation. Nike is one of our biggest sponsors. It is, is our national sponsor. Yes. Nike ha organizes events in outside countries. You see corporate companies, if you're, if you're happy with what they're giving you, they're not going to push and say we can give you more. They will want to give you they the, will, the, they, the they, list. They will, sit back. That they, they, will, they will not volunteer. If you look at the money that yourself. MTN makes out of the MTN marathon, you know, <laughs> if we even say, okay, we, this is our event because it's, a, it's, a, it's an event owned by the Federation. If the Federation woke up one morning and said, we want another sponsor, just like um, the, the London Marathon. The London Marathon used to be sponsored by Virgin. All of a sudden it wasn't because they were like, oh, I think we've got a better sponsor. So if, if the Federation actually woke up and said, we want another sponsor, people bid to be the main sponsors of the, the marathon. And then you put conditions and say, 50% of of has to go to support our local events. Or else, you guys in your social corporate responsibility, you contribute to us this month. Now, why do companies have money? Every year I've officiated here at the corporate games. You should see the amount of money poured into fun games, or the bank, interbank gala. So you cannot tell me the corporate companies don't have the money. You know, so our marketing department, needs, if you look at swimming, unfortunately, Gansi has gone down. Swimming. Have sponsors, DSTV, uh, Reham, they don't give them cash. Uh, okay, they may give them cash, but they have prizes for the top. You know, DSTV, they, they may be bottles branded with DSTV, this, this. It, it doesn't always have to be a cash no. prize, but our marketing department and PRO, for example, this trial, okay, if it wasn't for the, for the UG athletes, you have the Uganda Athletes Forum, and other people, mm. individuals, going and trying to be aggressive on social media you know then of course you have like the, the uspas because you intentionally always 
tag them to anything to do with Uganda Athletics. So what they do, because they know now I can get information from Uganda Athletics here, when, when you tag them, they retweet. And that is how the information goes around. Yes. You see, uh, we, we are having more people on the live stream because you're tagging the people. If USPA retweets, you know. definitely know it, know it is going to every, uh, almost we, very many people. We have the queen of the you know? So yes, we, we definitely have a big job to do as UF. Before we blame government about, government has its own part, but as a federation, we have a lot to do. You are, most, you are, you are always welcome. Thank you. It's not an we are blessed to be greeted by the Queen of the World, Halima herself. Come, come, come here. You are alone. When you are in, you are, when you are in the charge of the world, anything you do and say is well. Yes. I thought you were going in front of the camera. I'm going to. Yeah, we, we, as we're just lucky to greet you. <laughs> oh, this is like an ambush, eh? <laughs> oh, hey. Halima, how are you? I'm doing fine. Where have you been? Oh, I've been there. We have been waiting in Goli. For the <laughs> uh, soon I'll be in action. You know, I've been on Gorilla training, but soon I'll be in action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. training, what it means is. You train alone so that yeah. nobody can gauge where your fitness is. So when you come here, mm. you surprise them you like surprise a gorilla truck in the in, in the wall. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's good. That's good to know. So we assume the gorilla training is uh, is working out well. Mm, there the time you were injured, have you healed? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah, I'm doing fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I don't want to say. I don't want you to preempt and tell us what you're doing, what you're packaging behind, behind the Gorilla Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for uh, visiting. Thank you very much for what I miss with your presence. All right. Thank we you, too. Thank things. you, too, for the job you're doing. We like it so much. Keep it up thank and you. be blessed all. Thank you. That was Alima Nakai, the world champion, world champion 800 meters. Um, yeah, it's good to... Interact with people you see on yeah. TV, eh? You know, you know, actually, after being here for some time, I'm even considering uh, becoming... Uh, no, 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 like um, going to the Olympics and uh, approaching Super Sport to hire me. <laughs> you do a good job. By the way, um, you do a good job. That's a public you secret. To and, uh, you know, I can just go into comment and I have free tickets everywhere, yeah. like... Uh, <laughs> By the way, it's one, uh, it's one career you can look at and perhaps, you know. You see, once you... And by the way, most of those now international media organizations, they, they're hiring actually former players. Yeah, because and and that's exactly yeah, what we're former, talking about. Yes, a former uh, player has knowledge. That's why, why I was calling his, his potato down, language yes. is because, yes, he was a runner. Yes. Well, on, on the side, we all know. Yes. But he, he, he could never even win a national <laughs> trial. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a school hit. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Are you hearing how these people are look, looking down on me? Wow. Isn't it a fact? <laughs> yeah, people have their own leads, you know? Yes. That's what we are talking about. We, did, we have not refused that he didn't run. He yeah. ran. We have acknowledged that he yeah. ran. But <laughs> the level at which he ran is what we are... <laughs> we just needed to be groomed. The opportunity was not groomed. Thank you. I wasn't groomed. <laughs> Don't worry. Bring your kid, uh, kids. I'll like, train them for free. Ah, they are not my, even charged. My, my, my boys will be bad news. Yeah, you know, but my son is also there. I, so. need, I need to take your phone. You Apart from athletics, do you do other like training? You, you physical? Will go through me if you don't want personal issues. <laughs> no, business. Uh, I am the manager. So we have the next heat coming up. Today you should rest on their people's feet. Wow. Look at the last guy. The last one. The last guy. The last guy. No, he also won his hit in the 100 meters. Yeah. yeah. Was it that is that? Is it that no, is that no, 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 no. The second. 
was literally flying in the corner. He's not in Serbia. Is he not from Makere? He did look like a big yeah. yeah. Francois. The Federation seems not to be between national culture. No. That, was, that used to be sponsored by the government. But yes, that, that, is, that is something we call under the Ministry of Education and Sports. All those things are no longer there. Even if you look at the coach, yeah, but that's changed. Yeah, you're asking the wrong people. For, for us, I just, yes, they, they are just discussing. You're yes, I know. For, for, for us here, yeah, we, we, we we complained about all those things. There is actually no support uh, to well, athletics. We got the Yes, there are national coaches who come from different countries, exchange programs. Yeah, all those are not there. Well, yeah, but, but it's still under the IOC program. Well, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. One of the 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 challenges, one of the biggest challenges, aside from, away from the federation, the Uganda Olympic Committee, the National Council, National Council of Sports. If you look at the last how many years, they have been in the hands of people that I don't think have been very much for, for sports. No. I don't think so. And that's where the biggest that's the, the biggest challenge Exactly. Happens. You will see NCS, look at it, look at those. Until William Blick came in, then you started seeing a bit of a change because he's a bit more interested in sport. Yes. So you are clearly seeing the first thing he did was restructure administration. He rolled out these sports administrator courses, which is one of the reasons that has changed FUFA. Oh. If you look at FUFA, uh, yes. I, I, I did a sports administration course. I was together with uh, the, P, the, P, the, the secretary to Magoko. Yeah. And every year, every time there's a course, they chunk out people like nothing. It's actually a requirement to work in FUFA to have a sports administrator course. Now, the, this course is so good that it literally teaches you Sports management. Yes. You understand? They have taken advantage of that. Oh, that advantage Magogo had is uh, Magogo went through all the trainings almost that FIFA had. Yes, yes that's true. So he's a real administrator. Yes. Live alone being passionate about the game, but he knows what he's doing. If you go to club, the CEOs, the coaches, they have uh, they, they have training and they are, they, are, they, are, they are given to have training. For you to be a part of world, you get So it's more of professionalizing the whole. We need to professionalize our sport now. Listen, next year, actually, the current. It's Mr. Tom. Let me negotiate. Have you ever been on that before? I think he's was a rapper, but I think he's background. I think he's a background. I, I think, background. Actually, with, with that, Mr. Dominic has done quite a pretty good job. No, our, big, our, big, our biggest challenge, I still want to, you know, our biggest challenge the right time. now, actually, goes back to the National Council of Sports yeah. and the Uganda Olympic Committee yeah. because they are the ones who manage us. The Uganda Athletic Federation is billed to get 350 million per year. When does this really? money come in? Yes, according to what government, you know, whatever. You know. The Uganda Athletic Federation and FUFA. Are supposed to each share get 350 million. That's no. Exactly. Do you know that is what the government so gave. You get Expectation this heat, the final heat of the day. Yeah. And the biggest. You have a cup and the final. But actually, I have to say for court, he, 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 he on Friday, yesterday, he just had first day for Malaria and he was on a candela. Wow. A yes. Wow. You know? So that's a big up to him. Because actually, he's now our number one sprinter currently. So, okay, Tassis has a better time than the 200. But uh, in terms of consistent performance, uh, he's definitely uh, up there. I'd like to see that, that time for the... Fires, 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 Adome um, has a lot of work to do to get back to his competition. Uh, two races today and he's not visibly seen. No, but he's in the top five. 
which is good for us. Because that means like he now knows he's not been competing for quite a long time. I think I'm not sure if he had an injury or something, but I know he's been training in Kenya and his coach says he's expecting better things from him. You know sometimes it takes a bit of time to go back to work. Obuto, Obuto seems to be uh, picked up an injury. Yes, and I think for me, my biggest challenge you have with Obuto is Obuto is a typical one of the family. But somehow, along the way, I don't know if people should call it confusion or what, he shifted to 200. You know? Obuto reminds me of Samuel Mawanda. Oh, I remember Mawanda, the cowboy. He would have the 200. Yeah, he's Samuel now in the US. Mawanda, he's in the US. But he was exactly that. That was his size, and it was good. It was good. Come here. Oops. So the women won in 24. Huh? Still just enjoying. I was expecting that. He left. Ah, you were too nervous. Yeah, we 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 are, we are going to start in here probably. We're going to start a... A what? We're going to, go to protest next time. Yeah, sure. come with me. We won't really miss. At three, what, what do they expect us to do now? You know, Where see, should we go? You know, <laughs> don't see how, fa how fast time flies. I know. <laughs> We've just uh, had the World Wings. World Athletics by World Athletics. Uh, Where is this going? It's coming it's back from the time. So World, World Athletics has um, just concluded. We had it, of course, for two, two days, and not many, not every country participated. Yeah. COVID, what, 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 all these issues. But at the end of the day, we have boys and girls who would have constituted good teams. Yeah. yeah. So, but, but, but you see, you you realize that at most of our trials like this, we don't. Never have, we rarely have uh, you know, winners, and, and you know it's a team, it's a team, team, it's yeah, team, yeah. team sport. Yeah. And if you, you know your top guys, yeah. you need them to start working together yeah. on a real. Because yeah. really, by the way, sometimes it's not about the strongest. Uh, no, 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 it's no. that button no, passing no, no, no. is very, 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 very important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. guys, drop buttons. The guys, is about it's, the it's, it's, it's the, the button is, is very, very, very important. So if you have them. Uh, consistently practicing, practicing and it? running you know it's one thing to, to do so many things during practice but it's another thing to actually compete come and com at, a co at a competition where you can be disqualified where you can you know so it's, 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 it's the one thing I know I know that um, I've had some coaches complain that there are some athletes who simply want to go and do a lot of the training train 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 but don't want to come for for competition you know you can be fit you can be everything but you need to come and well, sir, test did, yourself did you know why i asked about who is the, the charge of the ufc mm. one of the wildest proposals to own that stadium to own through own the government to own the to give like the what? management of the stadium the <laughs> but, uh, the, 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 the stakeholders the because FUFA is also there, so that one. FUFA is also there. We, what, what no, and FUFA will say Actually, we are more active than Me, I don't buy other. that one. Me, I am, I am advocating for the Federation constructing its own stadium, and I have to give credit to them. Yes. They are the kids in their strategic uh, plan. Yeah, I've seen it. Get a new a, a a stadium home. which is their own. Home. And why I don't advocate for this is because there are a couple of times our trials have been thrown out because there's a World Cup yes. or a, a, yeah. or whatever. So for that there's one, a political let, event let or this something. one stay as a government. But I've seen the UAF uh, strategic yes, plan. They, have one. they need. They're going to. They're working on getting their own home, the, which is purely athletics from athletics. January yeah. to January. To January. If you're coming as, if you're coming as uh, any other person, you're you hiring, the and revenue. you yeah, you can come and do your thing there, but mm. you don't inconvenience our. But at least they would have you on the calendar. You get it? Yeah, yeah. we have yes. you on the calendar. But you don't. Yeah. You don't even finish our. If you are higher, right, right, right for right example, now, if you are higher, we are like we are like, we are like uh, beggars here. Mm. You, 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 yes. Because and sometimes there was a time we, there was there were trials here. And actually, and you, you know, for me, what I would do. There was a crusade. I would wait before. for the political season, eh? Yes. And I go 
this guy, no? yes. I even put a pictorial view of how <laughs> you can come and organize your caucus very well in our place. Mm. Because I know 50 million is, is falling for the Federation, we can run the event. So you know we have to be strategic about it. So it's good that the Federation is thinking of getting their own home. And then, actually, we can even stop being beggars to government because we can organize events. The corporates that come here, do you know how much money they pay in Ambole? So much money. We give them half the price of, of, of what they pay in Ambole. Mm. And in that way, yeah, we, 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 we no longer even have to go to National Council Sports crying. Anyone who qualifies, even the real teams we are talking of and mm. everything, they are able to give you the, 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 the what? The opportunity to go and represent. So I hope it is something that can come up in the next three, four, five years. I will definitely have retired from running, so... But you know, I might just Are you still back. running? Yeah, she's still there, but she's running. But I was... Now, for, for this I, one, I had of a rest. I've advised that to retire. Listen, 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 I had of a rest to run in 2009, and when 2021... You get it? You're still running? Of course. Oh. <laughs> Video of okay. the, 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 the most recent one. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, she ran against some high school girls. But if I'd run in the in the in the big me, I told you. Actually, I'm doing this for 10 meters. And then I'll put my son ahead of you by 10 meters and I'm going to catch you. <laughs> so, uh, the times for this last... It was a 20.9. 20.9 for the winner. So, um, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for... We shall be live again. In the next trial. Next week. I'm told it's 22nd 20 20 of May. Oh, that is my birthday. Is it? Yeah, like seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. We are going to forget this birthday and on 23rd we shall remember this birthday. Yeah, they normally forget. But these days there's a craze uh, people have. Even when, you, even when you've not uh, remembered your birthday, Facebook is always on your case. Yeah. Maybe this thing over here is sending you messages. Reminding you how you're a good uh, customer. And I'm giving you 500 MVs for your birthday. For your birthday. Uh, so somehow you're forced to know your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about mine and Facebook. I'm actually going to ask you to post me. This is Lenny. Now, I'm no offense to people who send uh, happy birthday on Facebook. But I feel it is too artificial sometimes. Like people don't genuinely mean it, people don't genuinely remember your birthday. But because it is popped up on their Facebook feed or whatever yes. social media feed they're they are using, to. then they just wish you a happy birthday. I, 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 I prefer two, three, four people wishing me a happy birthday because they actually remember and because they actually care. So I I I, I, I disabled the feature, okay from last year, I disabled the feature on my Facebook. So if you if you don't remember my birthday and you think you're going to go to Facebook or social media, sorry. Take Java. Oh. <laughs> no, life, life of the other side has changed. Yeah. You have to accept to live with the technology. Yes. No, yeah. I, I, I don't refuse. You can I'm telling you, live with technology time. on your phone. Like for all my friends. You know, I have notifications you know, on my phone. Before we are forced by by default to remember yes. that this has to happen. I know. Because now Francis They are reminding the me now. Is is there, reminding uh, you, yes. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I, 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 I embrace technology but sometimes I also now, you, 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 take you a step back and ask.